Mic sick horn su Check he won su Check he won su Mic sick won su Check he He wants to.
Hello, mic test, mic test. Testing, testing, mic test. Check, check, testing, mic test, mic test. Hello, hello. Check, check. Mic test, mic test. Testing, mic test, mic test. Testing, testing, my test. My test, my test. Testing, testing, testing.
Test, test, 
Stack, stack. Uh, let's get ready to rumble. Today, PBA 3 xg fans, and welcome to PBA 3 xg Lakas ng tatlo. Today is the jolly good fellow, Coach Shelly Escobar, Mamaya Ella Gomez. Mga kasama rin po natin. At live po tayo sa One Sports PBA Rush at Pilipinas Live App kung saan isa lang po ang aming talent fee. Check, check, mic check, one, two, three. Check, 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 check. Uh, check, check. Uh, let's get ready to rumble. Hello, hello, hello. Check, check. Ako wala, oh. Sabi ni Papa Ronnie, game na. <laughs> game na. Game na, game na. Ha, ha. Cushiony, cushion, cushiony. Hello, hello. Check, check, Ayuna. check. Pero mahi, uh, check, check, check. Idol. Ani yan dito? G. Check, check. Significant changes in the lineup. Yun, no? Ganda na yung... Ayos. Ganda na natin, no? Nice. Dapat, pinapatulong. 
dala natin to sa maker nung sa lalim nila. Meron siyang libro ni Mayan. Yung kausap ko, parang ahente lang yun. Kausap ko eh. Quarker, so parang mabili tayo shades. Oo. Significant. Yung dating t-shirt ko na 3x na yung mukha akong ano. Kuma. Bagong conference sa po ng inyong paboritong tatluhan dito po sa may Ayala Mall Circuit, Makati, kung saan uumpisahan na po natin ang Season 3 Second Conference, Leg 1, Day 1 ng inyong paboritong PBA 3X3. PBA fans, magandang araw po sa inyo at welcome po sa inyong PBA 3X3, lakas ng tatlo dito lamang po sa Ayala Mall Circuit, Makati City. Kami po ang inyong abang lingkod. Chiki Brother Ben Carreas, kasama po ang uh, Charlie Goodfellow, Coach Charlie Escobar. Mamaya po, Ella Gomez, makakasama din namin Manning the side. Sa end, dito po sa ating uh, palabas ngayon para sa inyo live po tayo sa One Sports TV Rush. Ganyan din po sa Pilipinas Live App. And Coach Charlie, we were talking about it. Itong bagong konferensya natin, maraming bagong mukha. That's correct. Uh, Chiki, hello for everybody and uh... Usually, Chiki, in between conferences, not a lot of uh, changes sa ating mga lineup. But because of yung nakaraang draft natin, there's free agency, meron tayong, tulad nung sinabi mong, significant change sa mga lineups, sa lineups natin ngayon, Chiki. And one change is we have a new team para sa ating second conference. At kasama po yan sa mga maglalaro po sa ating leg one, day one, kung saan labing tatlong laro. 13 games ang inyong makikita ngayon. Uumpisahan niya na Coach Charlie ng Cavitex at saka ng Blackwater. Well, Cavitex, uh, one of the teams na intact ngayon na uh, Chiki. Well, di, uh, alam naman ng lahat na TNT will be yung ating winningest team pag pinagsama-sama mo lahat. Cavitex is right up there. Barangay Hinebra, nag-ingay nung nakarang uh, conference, uh, Chiki. So, yun ang mga teams na, I would say, yung top three teams natin yan. And to our PBA 3 x fans, you might be wondering, paano ba ngayon ang ating uh, division ng uh, mga iba't ibang pool natin? Dito muna kukunin yan sa ating tour points kung saan ang bawat laro, ang mga nagagawa ng mga kupura natin, meron niyang tour points kung saan mailalagay yes. sila sa top and all the way down to the bottom. Yan ang nangyari ng first conference natin, Chiki. This is the second conference yan. Cavitex up there with 490 points. Um, TNT, pinag-usapan natin kanina is uh, number 2 with 390. Barangay Hinebra, again, that's the top 3. 378 points para sa Barangay Hinebra because of those back-to-back -back leg championships, uh, Chiki. And take note of that those ranking, uh, yung 1 to 11, dahil ang papakita namin ngayon, yung grouping saman po, kung saan yung number 1, Coach Jolly, nasa kaliwa at snake format yes. ang ating gagamitin dito. Meaning, Cavitex ang number 1, TNT ang number 2 doon. So, we go all the way down to Hinebra. Then, Meralco San Miguel Pioneer. Um, yung sinasabi po ni Chiki na parang snake format dyan. So, yun pa. Ang, uh, nakikita natin yung bagong team, Makfa Solver, Chiki. 
and they will be showcasing their talents today. Mamaya, pang limang laro yan, oh, yung Magpa Solver. Ngayon naman, unang bakbaka na po ito, Cavitex Contra Blackwater Smooth Razor. At hindi kompleto ang ating tatuhan kung wala ang ating hype man na si Benji Santiago. Anyways, a very, very good morning, everyone. We're so glad to be back. PBA 3X3 is back. And of course, we're back here at the Ayala Mall Circuit. And of course, it's day one, leg one of the season three second conference. This is PBA 3X3, La Casa Tatlo. And bringing to you our first game for today. Introducing first, Cavitex Braves. From Bacola City, number zero, Tonino Gonzaga. From Santa Barbara, Pangasina, number seven, Mario Magat. From Daragal Boy, number 15, Jorge Napolis. From Baguio City, number 17, Ken Ighalo. Coach of Cavitex Braves is Coach Kyle Slau. And their opponent, Blackwater Smooth Razor. From San Mateo Rizal, number three, Wendell Comboy. From Imos Cavite, number eight, Hubert Cani. From Davao Oriental, number 11, Daniel Baila. From Alvar Batangas, number 31, Ray Publico. Coach of Blackwater Smooth Razor, Coach Junji Ablan. And our referees, Charlie Amparado and Clarence Bautista. Good boy to figure out. Even if the team see them as a contender, they are not yet the team to beat. They've always been the maid of honor for Talk and Text. They have a lot to prove. He is also hoping for the maturity of the players and their experience to show on the court. They have no excuses na sila at hindi na sila nangangapa as a team. He always tells them that confidence is not thinking we can win every game. It's knowing we played the right way so we know we can win any game. Our first game, Cavitex Braves versus Blackwater Smooth Racer in five, four, three, and three. PBA, the first of the goal. We love it. We love our jobs. Chiki, piggy back muna ako. Chiki, mabilis lang kung sinabi ni Ella, di ba? Kyle Slough, coach Kyle Slough. Kyle Slough of Cavitex. Hindi pa siya masaya. Number two sila ng winningest team sa atin 3x3. That's Cavitex, di ba? Everybody knows that the bar is TNT. Yan ang alam ni coach Kyle Slough. Yan ang inaabi niya. Hindi pa siya masaya. So he wants a... A very nice uh, second conference here, uh, Tiki. He wants to win it all, plain and simple. Kyle Slough and Kyle Tonino Gonzaga, Tiki. Tina mo no? And uh, he's down on the floor, unfortunately. But uh, si Tonino Gonzaga pinapagpag lang niya yan. Bali, bali wala. Timbang, timbang. 200. Ilan yan? Ilan? Ano ang touch? 205 yan. May get 200. Lapat eh. Lapat ng pangangatawan. Tonino Gonzaga the first. One. Four points na po dito ang uh, Capitex Braves. Bottom of the board is Blackwater, chicks. And they are on point talking about the men in white. Alam mo itong unang laro natin. Hindi ito parade of new faces. Ha? Ito ay uh, parada ng mga matagal na ng laro dito. Three entry veterano. Ano ang uh, veterano? Si Kanina, pinag-usapan natin top ng conference yung significant changes. May sinabi kang bagong team. Uh, Mamaya-maya, as the uh, games progress, makikita natin kasi we also... I don't want to say we lost players to the PBA kasi magkakasama naman tayong lahat dito. Pero diba, yung free agency, they're blocked from the 3x3, yung mga free agents. Merong mga players na gano'n at uh, pag-usapan natin yan mamaya at Chiki. As Kongboy hits the first two points of the Smooth Razors. For two ang ating talahan, namang ng dalawang cabinets. Kenny Gano, Tobe Kadagad, from beyond the arc. That's just a solid lineup. Um, Alvaro, 
Continue, Wendell. Oh, back to back. Naling at down ng konti. Uminom lang ako. Ngayon, ang bilis ng 3x3 talaga ang mangyayari. Chiki, Ken Ikahalo. Carlo Paminto, Pamintuan calls sa Jory Napoles. The 3x3 prototype. Because, di ba? 6x5. Galing sa upeta. The long arms. Di ba? Great range. So it's always up there with your Almond Vosotro says, your Sedurifa when it comes to uh, your scoring uh, chicken. 8x4. Kazutex na bang ng apat. Both teams shooting well at the early goings. Di ba? Variety of moves. Di ba? Left-handed finishes. Magmula kay uh, Jory Napoles. Raising to 9 points. Kagat. 10 points. Chiki, you want a foul? What do you, what, what, what do you want? I'm going to go down here. The efficiency is not as for Kavitex. I'm going to go down here. 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 Tama ka, Chiki. 83 points sa 83 percent sa 2-point field goals. Hindi nagmi-miss ng 2-point field goals. Napakataas nga. That is correct, Chiki. And that's the reason why they're up 10-4. Dito sa ating early going, 7-39 remaining. Doon po sa mga pamilyar sa 3x3. Unahan po ito sa 21 or ang pinakamataas na score makalipas sa ang 10 minuto. Wow. No misses from the two point. <laughs> My friend Chiki uh, is uh, wondering what's going on with this Cavitex uh, team. Hindi po sila nagmi-miss. Alam mo, I guess it, it speaks a lot about the off-season uh -huh. or yung pahinga yeah. kung saan uh, malatang no? all teams have prepared. But more than that, they are setting the bar high to, to, all, the, to all the other teams watching right yes. now. Tuloy napaka on point nung report niya. Niela, <laughs> diba? Niela, oo. Oh, dahil, uh, yun na nga eh. Boys down to coach yung Chiki dahil, diba? Overall, second winningest team in the 3x3. Pero they're like, sorry for this term, they're like hungry dogs. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Talking about Capitex Braves. Check this out. Ito muna yung uh, banggaan dito, kiskisan, kung saan mapipituan ng foul. Ang uh, smooth razor. Correct. Pero going back to your point, uh, ano? Hungry dogs, baby. Gusto mo ba palaging tawagin kang second best? No. Hindi. Okay. Uh, hindi ka naman naglaro para maging number two. Correct. And that bar, that bar is TNT. So gusto nilang uh, abutan or higitan pa yeah. ang mga ginagawa ng Almond Posotros and the gang. Speaking of which, no Almond Posotros today uh, for TNT. Jetre, we have six legs. And that uh, all important, the grand finals after those six legs. Diving basketball ahead of us, diving 3x3, Chiki, every uh, week ito. Alam nyo lang ha, ang uh, leg 6, November 20, November 20 and 21, hanggang November tayo, okay? So habang may foul dito, papasadahan natin yan para alam ng mga fans natin. So ngayon, Ayala Mall Circuit, next week. Monday, Tuesday, 23, 24, Ayala Mall Circuit Red. October 30 and 31, Halloween yan, Ayala Terraces Fairview. Tapos, November 6 and 7, Ayala Malls, Manila Bay. And then, balik tayo sa Fairview, 13 and 14. Then, Trinoma, Quezon City, November 20 and 21. Very nice. And that. Very nice. We are back. Dahil, uh, medyo nagpahinga muna tayo pagtapos ng mga new Asian Games. Uh, FIBA. Kapusta nga pala ang pangaramdam ng... Hari ng Asia. Ah, hari ng Asia. Kaya maraming nanonood sa atin ngayon. Okay. 13-4, Capitex up by 9. Once again, live po tayo sa One Sports BBA Rush at gayon din sa Pilipinas Live App. Look at Capitex Braves racing to 13 points. Malapat tayo sa kalahati ng ating laro. It's an all-important uh, bucket magmula dito sa Blackwater. Nag-ahabol sila dito, Chick. Yung kanina, third, Too easy. third field goal lang ang Blackwater rin. Eh. Tip in ni Ray Publico dahil dalawang dos ang pinitawan ni Wendell Comboy. Wow. Sabong sa ere and Publico was blocked. Kita natin yung power dribble ni Ray Publico dito. I always say this, Chick. Eh. Good things happen. Di ba? Pag yung atake mo ganun kalakas sa basket. So, he got clipped. Kanila pa rin ang bola. Merong foul dyan. Talamang segundo. Kita tuloy ko boy. Oh! And he has five of the six points of Blackwater. That's what Wendell Convoy brings for the Blackwater Smooth Razor Squad. This is sniping. 
At tawag natin itong ginawa ng paraan. Oo. Ni Jore Napoles saw the loose ball, picked it up, heard the whistle, threw it up. Pero ito yung buzzer beaten muna. Ang ganda. Naka-challenge pa nga si Tonino doon. Pero nakipasok pa rin itong si Yawentel Comboy. Si Jore Napoles, napakahirap bantayan. Pilipit na eh, di ba? Parang nakaliyad na papuntang kaliwa yung tira niya. Pinawag pa rin ni Dariel. Bahala dapat pinitao na ni Dariel yung uh, low percentage. Ang hirap nun, di ba? Lumilipad ka pa kaliwa. Parang ninja. Parang ninja. Ah, diba? Diba? Dapat. Wow. Yun ang mga importante doon. Di Wendell Combo. You lay in. Uh, brings them within eight. Cheeky important free throw ito. And this is the sixth point of Comboy. He hit the first two shots. Dalawang dos. Tip in by Publico and then sa is dalawang layup ni Comboy. Sa is ng 7 puntos. Exactly. Oo, oo, nga. Sa is ng 7 yan. Make it sa is pa rin. It will remain that way. But Daniel with the rebound. Comboy once again. Wala. Contra Pelo di Torino. Kick out to Napoles. Boom, it's good. One point, yeah. Nakatapak na sa guhit. Nakita rin natin yun. Ray, ah... Uh, Sorry, Napoles. May lakad, ah. May lakad ang tatong casting. I don't think they're gonna need a full 10 minutes here. They're at 16. We are still at 5 minutes and 14, Shiki. My goodness. For the benefit, benefit of our viewers, people or teams would like to hit the 21 mark as quickly as yeah. possible. Para meron kang pahinga. Correct. Diba? So multiple games ang nilalaro ng mga teams in a day. So... Yeah, laki bagay no, di ba? Nakapag uh, you finish it, probably in three minutes ah. and some remaining. Ang laki bagay no, nakapagpahinga ka in preparation for your next. Ito na, 17 points na sila. 10 point lead here for the Braves. Kani na wala yung bola, na-pick up, na-punta kay Comboy. Bakit long toss ba ito? Ayun na na. Chiki, that's coaching, no? Your sense of urgency, it's your very first game. Bagong kissing tayong lahat dito. Tik-tika na kagad ginagawa nitong Camtex. My, uh, my hats off to uh, Coach Kyle Slaw in inspiring this boys to a great start dito sa ating uh, second conference shooting. Because what you want to do is you want to set the tone. Yes. Yes. Set the bar yes. high. Uh oh Nobody bounced down. Uh -oh. Kenny Gallo. Couple more baskets para sa Camtex and this is over. Good Inside pass. to Publico. Very nice pass. So Perfect. two points. Two points sa si Ray Publico. Walo. Para dito kay Comboy. Oh my goodness. Oh, wow. what, what is going on? What is going on, Capitex Braves? 2010. Hindi Baka na... Hindi nag-miss from the two-point area. Excuse me. Go ahead. Baka nga hindi na umabuto sa TV timeout. Hindi na ka kailang ka oh. ng TV timeout, no? Ten points Eto already na. for Comboy. That's game, hey, baby. Oy! <laughs> Di pa tinapos ni Jory. And that whistle at the 426 mark means we're gonna go to our TV timeout. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With Cavitex Braves up by 8, 20, 12. Now, nakarecover na tayo, tayong dalawa. <laughs> Kwento, tayo nga tayo ilang konti. dos na pinapakawala ng Cavitex? Konti lang, apat lang. At hindi sila nag-miss. Four of four. Tapos doon kay Ighalo, isa kay Jory Napoles. Go ahead, uh, Chiki. Capitex Braves, Season 3 First Conference. Ito yung mga nangyari sa kanila. Diba? First yeah. place season nyo. Mga... Yung mga we were talking about them as the second win against the team. After TNT, Kyle Slau will have none of it. He wants to be number one. And we can see it now. Chiki up by eight. They can finish this sa kanilang susunod na possession. Capitex Braves. 426 remaining. Acting fouls ang Cavitex sa is. Grabe si Ken Ighalo. Tama lang na he, he gets a breather, Chiki, dahil hindi nag-miss si Ken Ighalo. So ito na. Pasok si Hubert. That may have they needed that, Charlie. They needed yes, that. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The problem is, it's a lock pass to Marion Magat, but Marion Magat is able to control that. Here comes Sanino, shot back at one, he throws it up, doesn't make it. So, tandaan po natin, next foul dito ng Capitex, free throws na para kay Blackwater. Napoles has it, humingi ng screen. 
They don't even have to rush here. Lots of time. Capitex Braves to end this early. Three minutes and 55 pa natitira. Itong delikado dito, Coach Javi. Blackwater with 16 fouls. They have to guard perfectly without committing any fouls. Otherwise, free throw siya para sa Capitex. Grabe yan. One foul. Dalawang free throws mangyayari for Capitex and they can end it right there. The ball is a second to go. Close it up. Oh, oh wow. and it's good. It's done. It's a two point shot. 22 13. Jory, the ball is set to chicken. I. Anong, anong free throw, free throw sinasabi nyo dyan? I will finish this with a two-pointer. Laking bagay nito. They're up to 22 big ones. And end this at the 342 mark. Grabe lang ang Kamitex Braves. Chiki. The game phase is on for Jorey Napolis. Kahit natapos na, ayaw pa rin mag-smile ni Jorey. All business. Look at those numbers, Jolly. We love we love what Jory Napolis is doing. Nine points, four rebounds, three assists. I have to make mention of Ken Igalo, Chiki. Hindi nag-miss. 100% uh, sa mga one-point one field goals. 100% then three of three sa kanya mga two-point field goals. At hindi naman uh, mahirap isipin ano, kung sinong best player natin. Jory Napolis talaga yan. Apart from the perfect shooting of Ken Igalo because he did a little bit of everything. May four rebounds, may three assists, the three x three prototype, Jory Napolis. 22-13, napunta sa Cavitex Braves, best player of that match, Jory Napolis. Up next, San Miguel Mirmen contra Northport Batampere in Pool P competition. Patuloy pa rin po ang ating PBA 3x3. Lakas ang tatlo dito po sa may Ayala Mall sa circuit in Makati City kung saan Pool B competition naman po tayo. Pero prior to that, ito yung mga kuponan na nandito ngayon, Coach Jolly. Looking at, uh, ayun po, Paul, uh, Pool B like uh, Chiki mentioned, TNT. TNT lang naman, San Miguel Northport and uh, Macfast Solver. San Miguel Northport ang maglalaro po ngayon. Um, holdovers are Ken Bono and John Apasibli. May mga bagong players sila, Chiki. First conference, recap ng San Miguel. Ayan po yung mga nasungkit nila. Nag-fourth place sila. Tapos, fifth place noong uh, legs uh -huh. two and four. And then, quarter finalist naman sila. 
no? And uh, so it's, it's, I would say, a little bit of a roller coaster oh, ride my. for San Miguel. Lots of room uh, for improvement, if you will. Uh, Chiki Paradit sa SMB and our friend, the boy Sizamar, knows that. And this gentleman right here, John Apasible, who loves getting rebounds, I think he has a record for most rebounds. It's a 3x3, some ridiculous number like 15 or 16, uh, Chiki. Go ahead. Hindi na namin papatagalin ito. San Miguel contra Northport will turn you over to our hype man, Benji Santiago. Well, this time around, another game coming your way. Let's introduce the two teams starting up with San Miguel Beer. From Antipolo, number one, John Abasibli. From Ilo Ilo City, number 16, JP Belenchon. From Cebu, number 22, Montberg Arong. From Ilo Ilo City, number 25, Ken Bono. Coach of the San Miguel Beerman, Coach Boise Zama. And the other team on the floor, Northport Batapia. We got this player, number four, John L. Bowser. From Tagbilaran City, number eight, Dexter Zamora. From Castle City, number 11, Green Capacho. And also from Castle City, number 26, J.R. Alabanza. Coach of Northport Batapia, Coach Michael Oliver. And the referees, Kenny Holly and Ovet Allegi. The San Miguel Beerman is prioritizing having a healthy lineup. Kaya Coach Boise Zamar decided on this rotation. They are now balancing their new players and their veterans. And of course, kung paano raw nila i-adjust ang kanilang lineup and ang kanilang gameplay per team na makakalaban nila. Here we go, San Miguel Beerman versus Northport Bottom Pier. It starts at 5, 4, 3, and 3, PBA, La Fast, La Tato. Maraming salamat, Ella, sa report na yun. And uh, going over again, Coach Jolly, sa mga malalaro natin. Undoubtedly, uh, uh, pinaka-veterano dito, pinaka-manapad, and uh, barometer ng man in the middle, it's KKB, King Ken Bono. Uh, that's a UAAB MVP, my friend. So, di ba, he can do it outside. Bukit ka niya sa may ilalim. Pero may perimeter din. You make us look so foggy here, uh, uh, Ken Bono, with the nice little ten footer. Kita mo ginawa ni Alabanza, no? Nagbigay ng space para hindi matras, pero tinirahan siya. Hindi makapawin si Alabanza. Oh, my. Pinapatira na. You know, you mentioned... Diba, it's very, very, very versatile. Diba, may, may merong range yan magmula sa malayo. Nakita natin Leo 9-10 footer. We know what he can do sa may bandang ilalim. So, uh, tall order para dito kay uh, Alabasa to try to contain number 25, KBB. Sabi ni Chiki King. Uh, uh, Big King Ken Bono. Uh, Bono. 1-0, the mighty beer men are on the board. 9.09 remaining. Pangalawang laro pa lang po natin ito. Out of the 13 games, we are in full B competition. Zamora has it. Pasok sa loob. Binitawa ng floater. Rebound, Bono. Kanina pinasadaan natin, Shingi, yung kanilang uh, yung mga nangyari sa kanila. No? SMB, this is one for Taro. Nothing sa kanyang uh, pabanda. Tira San Miguel. And we showed it kanina. Fifth place. Yung uh, huling leg natin. Hindi grand final sa Pasaya, no? Yung leg, huling leg natin. Yeah. Kaya, yun na nga. So, lots of room for improvement. Makapag-advance. Of course, always the first uh, uh, ang gusto mong ma-achieve dito is makapag-advance sa top 8. Sige, diba? Makapag-quarter finals ka, anybody's ball game sa day number 2. Tapla tayo, one all. Queen. Nakikipagdigdigan dito kay Arong. And foul ang itatawag si San Miguel. Sa mga holdovers ng uh, Northport, of course, uh, Queen Capasho. And uh, itong si uh, Dexter Zamora. John Alonzon, number four, played sa kanilang uh, sa on tour. Uh -oh. Capasho for two. Wala. And JP Pelletion. 
So may additional firepower from the outside ng San Miguel. Pero ang shot. Pag-pag-pag-pandemia, pinanunod nila ang JP Milenjan. He's been, di ba, he's been around for quite some time. And coming back through the... 3x3, tinahapin yun na 3x3. Bouson, defended well by Pelenson. Ganda naman ang pihit ni Arong, pero wala lang shoot. Fleet, ano, very light on his feet, no? Fleet scooter dito si Monbert Arong. Hirap mag-operate sa ilalim. Si Dexter, si Samora, dahil ang kalaban niya, S64. Napasible, inararo sila ni John. Napasible, sige. And look at that, yung banggaan ng ano, dibdib. Ni Zamora, tapos yung deltoids, <laughs> ni Apasible, basket. That's it. Ah, no basket ba? Ah, Kinta, no basket. Pero that's, uh, mga ako, yan ang, that's the correct play. Makita mo, di ba? Yun na nga, sinasabi mo yung side advantage ni John over Dexter Zamora. Inararo niya, pero a real too aggressive siguro. Kaya, uh, no basket yon. 7-18 remaining. Tangla pa rin tayo sa one. Bono tries it from the outside. Wala. So unlike the first game, mailap dito ang puntos sa second game. John has it. Oh, wanted to go high up to JP. Sir Mochiki talking about Northport has yet to see a leg championship. So this is what you're working for. Uh-uh. Tuloy-tuloy ang pag-improve ninyo, pag-e-ensayo, yung tweaking lineups. Dahil yun na nga, it seems very elusive para dito sa Northport. Yun na nga, hindi sila nakakuha. San Miguel nakakuha naman na yan, di ba? Several times, several nakasungkit na yan, several times. Eh, iba eh, di ba? It just... It just legitimizes you as a team sa 3x3 pag nakakuha. Kailangan makakuha ka. Kailangan makakuha. Pero madami pa eh. Mamaya, pasadaan natin lahat. The Blackwaters who had some nice conferences na rin. Pero di ba, ito yung mga teams na hindi pa nakakakuha dito. Since it's exception. You're right. You have to get that. Kailangan mo makakuha yun. That's validation. Validation yan. Correct. Capasho hits a two. Ayan na mga Northport, 3-1. Ito na, si Ken nagmapasakay sa loob, pero wala. This goes to show, Chiki, no? Na hindi talaga madali manalo pag yung mga high-level back. Parang, oh, magmula dito kaya naman sa... Man, we would say, no, in the vernacular, under the, under the kilikili shot, <laughs> di ba? It's my favorite. Kilikili shot. For one. Paano aking ino yun, eh, di ba? Paano? Oh, no basket. Naputukan ng uh, shot clock si Ken Bono and the gang. So, Coach Johnny, uh, observation ko lang ito. Parang ang ball movement ng San Miguel, not so much. Parang they're relying too much on that post-up. There's a few cuts here and there. Tama ba? That's a great point. That's a great point. Nakita natin sa international, di ba, na napakahalaga ng uh, may magandang ball movement guys, looking for open guys. They're always going to John Apasible and why not? Nakatapat sa kanya yung maliit na Dexter Zamora. Look very easy. They needed a basket. They're down against Northport. Uh, cheeky. And you mentioned that Get Ken Bono, a good passer, acknowledging that yung kakampi niya, a high advantage. That's just a very smart player in Ken Bono, di ba? He, he just knows, pa, bakit ko pahirapan ng basketball? Ayun o, di ba? Diyan na pasible. Lamang na lamang dun sa pipad ng ilalim, although we miss eh, the bonus free throw chicks. Zamora has it. Gets a screen for Bauzon. Labas dito kay Capasho. Another two. Wala. Same spot, different result para kay Queen Capasho. Second generation player, of course, anak ni Coach Glenn. Uy, nagpabaon. I saw that. Okay, everybody saw it. Six, oh, nga. That, uh, parang derecho talaga sa pangan ni, ni Dexter Zamora. Talagang naalog sa doon. Pero at yun, makikita natin pagkapihit. Boom! Alam mo, Dex, tawag ko doon. Dexter just continues to play on. Parang wala alam. Tawag ko doon, kakaibang right hook. <laughs> diba ba, Dexter, sabi nga natin, ay... Wala alam eh, no? Matibay din ito. Oo. Oh, matibay ang pangan. Parang... Wow, inararo sila ni Ken Bono. They needed that. Still down by two points, SMB 6. Uh, and Alamanza cannot give that inside track to Ken Bono. Bauzon goes for the two. Wala. 
So ito na ang San Miguel, they're down by two points. Belencio nuwing in a screen, gets one from Ken. Gets it out to Ken, Ken to tie. Not there. So good idea yun, ano? Ken Bono open for the two. Hindi na tayo pasok. So pasok tayo sa TV timeout. 5-3, low scoring game. Ano, what's happening here, coach? Contrary to... What we with well, we what we witnessed the first game, uh, chicken up a couple of Pangayari three under four minutes. Eh, tapos na yung laro yon, di ba? Kapitex, Braves, merong lakad. Eh, <laughs> sabi mo nga merong hindi di natin nakita, wala tayong masyado nakita ang kamarang ni Bobo at magula dito sa SMP. They're always going to Ken Bono to sa bandang ilalim. I'll probably try to use yung mga sniper na mga na uh, or even Mon Bertarong uh, from the two point area. Just, Moving that ball, trying to get uh, some open looks to the basket. Uh, it, it's not that they're not getting shots in you know, both teams. Diba? Meron eh. Ayo lang mahulog. Eh. Oh. Pero pa, pag uh, you go to. Pag pumunta ka sa one on one, it becomes too predictable. Uh, Chiki, eh, diba? So, mga thing. Quick ball movement talaga. And then, uh, yun nga, just hitting open guys, looking for high percentage shots. Alabanza. No lucky bounce. Rebound na possible. San Miguel down by one point. They can tie it with this one. Belenchon! Ganda ng spin move na, no? Hindi lang naipasok niya. J.P. Belenchon. Sa Morhasis, out of Capasio. Two ball. Uh-oh. That's gonna be two free throws para dito kay Quain Capasio dahil uh, Ken Bono clip siya. The uh, Ken Bono. And hindi makapaniwala si Ken. Tinan natin dito. Umangat. Ay, sumabit. Sumabit. Meron naman talaga. Pwede Kasi diba, na. kahit anong sabihin mo, if you jump into the shooter, tapos uh, he, is, he is within that cylinder, yes. tamaan mo, tatawagan talaga ng foul. Oo. Oh, yan yung consequences dahil consequences na sinasabi. Kailangan, I don't know, yung pag-closeout mo, Gawin mo ng lahat para mailagan mo yung shooter. Yan ang inaalagaan natin, yung uh -huh. shooter, eh, di ba? So, yun nga, natapakan ang bahagya ni uh, Gwen Capasio. Tinetesting niya pa nga yung kanyang uh, paa, yung kanyang angle do, dahil he tweaked it a little bit. So, dalawang free throw ito. May pasok niya magiging two possession advantage, three point lead, cheeky, it's if he no, makes both. It's yeah. no joke you go head on with a 10-wheeler. <laughs> Uh, di ba? Siyempre. I-check mo talaga kung uh, tinamaan ba ang uh, karburador ko <laughs> dito dahil <laughs> head on yan. Ang ganda lang. Gusto ko yung analogy ng mga kochi na. <laughs> eh di ba? Parang ano? <laughs> Parang ten wheeler trend. Parang Optimus Prime. Ayan. Okay. <laughs> Ken Bono. 6-4. North Pole up by 2 to tie. Big Boom! Kick. It's good. Speaking of Ken Bono, the game just like that. Apat ang minuto dito sa darong ito. Both teams with four fouls. Samora, konting tulak. Hindi na pass. Kapasyo for two. Boom again! Loving that spot. Wayne Kapasyo has hit a couple of two-pointers from the same area. Araro team of the world. <laughs> Paso. It's Ken Bono. Paso ang bully basketball ni Ken. Okay, JR. JR, Aras. Hindi ba yung tulak si Aras. Huhok siya. Wala. Meron siya niya, eh. Di ba? Those little jump of moves ng mga big men. Talking about Alabanza. Kahit na may outstretched arm si pa rin niya JP Belenchon. Tabla tayo sa 8. 3.12 to go. Here comes Zamora. At patuloy yung pakikipag-kiss-kissan niya. Pagmasahe ni Monbert Arong. Dito kay uh, Dexter Zamora, the two-pointer of Dwayne Capasio. Papasok po yan at ito yung atake. Ito si Belenchon, the left-handed. Finish is good pa sa kanya. Extra step from Capasio. Gives North for the one-point lead, 9-8. Napasible. Ah, caught with his hand inside the cookie jar was Dexter. Both teams, uh, five team fouls apiece. Have to be able to manage ang mga team fouls mo, di ba? You don't want to get into a penalty. Oh. 
Delicado yan. Pag umabot ng pito. Tama. Dalawang free throw. Wow! Stretching move. Magmula dito kay uh, Stretch Lea. Magmula kay Mon Bertarong. Tabla tayo sa 9. Fall away by Capasho. Wala. Niluwa po sa tira ni Gwen Capasho. That's his job. Get rebounds. Offensive rebound na kuha niya nun. Magandang putback uh, dyan na pasible. Good setup job for Bauzon. Rebound. Gustong kalawitin ni Capacho. Eh. Yung physicality niya nun. No? Created yung uh, possession na yun. Itong si Monbert Arong. Kahit malaki si Gwen Capacho, nakikipagtulakan siya doon sa may ilalim. Tuloy, last touch pa doon si Gwen. So, bola ng uh, ni Amon Bertaro ng NSFB. Itong game na to, hindi ko na magkilang yung bangkaan. <laughs> sa sobrang dami. Di ba, nagka-cancel off sila. Yeah. Yung, yung type ng bangkaan sa mga viewers mo natin, ito yung tipong nag-iwala yung kaluluwa sa katawan. <laughs> <laughs> Grabe naman. <laughs> kasi, ang lakas eh. Alam mo, ako, when I come to this game, to our 3x3 game, Shiki, I'm always ready for iba physicality nito eh. Diba kasi, iba, iba. Kumbaga, nasa confined space lang kayo. Diba? Di pa, di pa nga po half-court yan eh. Diba? So, nasa confined space kayo. Hence, yung sinasabi mong physical and pugpugan, And look at the fouls. And dami pagkaan, only five team fouls each. Because our referees are allowing them to play. Diba? Basta wala na mga Hanshu and Bandish. Which is great, diba? Okay, mga tiki-taki na mga fouls. Hindi na itatawag yan. Only the glaring ones. Last touch looks like J.R. Alabanza unofficially. Ako naman, parang si Mon Bert. Tingin mo. Baka kontra ko lang. Hindi, tira mo, tira mo. Kasi parang siya yung sumundot eh. Pero mukhang nakapwest na. Well, style ni Mon Bert. Arang nandun na parang siya na maglalabas. Kahit naman tayo, kahit anong liga yan, di ba? Kunyari, sa'yo yung bola para yung officials, yung referee, ma-persuade. Tama, tama. Pero, dito kasi may... Um, We're actually smart. Actually... Capacity tayo ng review. Makita yung possession, di ba? <laughs> si Monbert nakapwesto na doon style. Tingnan natin. Gwyn is saying siya pa-collect ng ball. Minsan da, may, punt, may punto yung ganun. You're first to the ball, ko-collectahin mo. Oh, And then mo. may makikilap. Gwyn, mo. Gwyn collecta. Mo. Ah, may point si Gwyn. Ah, sorry, si may Alamanza. point si J.R. Alabanza. Oh. Sorry, Gwyn ang nagko-complain. Para kay J.R. Alabanza. J.R. collecting the ball. Siya yung alam si Mon. Magka-gather eh, di ba? Oh. So, tingnan natin ha, kung ikaw sa puti, ako sa pula. <laughs> Nanalo ako. Ah, manalo ka. Manalo ka. Okay, okay, okay. Interesting call, no? Kasi yun na nga eh. First ka sa bola, tama na sinabi mo, gagather ka, kukolekta ka eh. May makikialam. Di ba? Pero well, did not go that way. Naku, hindi na ipasok ni John Apasible. Now, look, um, back for play. Chance for Northport to tie or take the lead. Zamora for the lead. No. He gets his own miss. For the tie. It's good. Wow. Sarili niyang miss na kolek na niya. Itong si Zamora. Puts it back. Up and in. And Montbert Arrow going back to work. Gives the lead back to San Miguel. 11-10. At si Alabanza. Nahuling. Ogil staying sa shaded area. Chiki, only the second game of the day, and we're seeing a lot of physical action here to sa ating 3x3. Kanina na yung first game, offense, kita natin. Dito, pagkaan. Di ba? Pisikalan. Bono has it. One-hander. Wala. Di ba ni Capasso? Chance again for North Port to tie. 1.15 remaining in the game. In and out lang yung tira ni Ken Bono tie, no? Nice one. And Salapanza fails to tie it. Capasso, wala din! Zamora. Game yun para sa North Port. Jair Alapanza and Queen Capasso. Under a minute left to play. Dexter, dancing. In and out, JP, wala! So Dexter Zamora has to hit those, Shiki. Bono. Mano Mano. Kay Alamanza. One-hander. Good defense by Alamanza. Dapat kay Capasho. Sorry, Shiki. Dexter Zamora, 0-5 from two-point area. If only hit one among sila. Capasho, wala pa rin. 
28 seconds to go. Santi Gil hanging on to a one point lead. Bono looking for a cutter. La Basque Belenchon. Shot knocked down to two. Belenchon. Good defense by Capacho. Oh, it goes in. <laughs> I suppose that's it. Ang hirap ng uh, itiniro itong J.P. Belencio na ipasa pa rin. Sa mga na tatay! Oh, wala! wala. Oh, oh my goodness! That shot of J.P. Belencio. Uh -huh. You know what? Hindi niya, hindi niya may papasok, kaya sinundan niya eh. Nagulat din siyang pumasok eh. Tinan mo to. Apeg, iit siya niya, hahabulin niya, eh pasok eh. <laughs> wala na pala akong iyo, offensive rebound, sabi niya. And that gives them a nice two-point lead here. A little frustrating para kay Dexter Zamora. Zero, zero of six from the two-point area. Aray ko, aray ko. Indeed. Ganda pa naman ang kanilang start. <laughs> And, Kaliwa ata pinantira doon. Totoo. Sabi ni, oh, may smile na si uh, diba, King Ken. Di ba ang uh, Northport, uh, Chiki Racing 2 a 5 to one Parang ganun eh, yung uh, start natin. Ang ganda, they, pretty hot was Queen Capacho. Pero inunti-unti sila ni uh, King Ken Bono. And don't forget yung mga incursions ni Montford. Di ba yung mga drive yes. ni Arong? That's game right there. I'd call it uh, cheeky that right. makes it a two possession difference. Kung hindi niya na ipasok ka, di ba, a chance uh, sa may two point area to probably tie the, go uh, the ball game if you're North Court. Pero dalawa pa nga yung binasok ni King Ken Bono. Plus the back up, but uh, Capasho hits the two. And uh, unfortunately, kulang ang oras para dito sa North Court. They're gonna count that if I'm not mistaken, but we'll wait for the final verdict. Chiki, that's a huge win para dito sa SMP. Pero I know my friend, Coach Boise Samar, will tell his guys, guys, we have to start better. We have to start stronger. Mamontik pa sila dito sa Northport Batang here. So, di ba? And what a game, no? Uh, what a game. Dahil uh, both teams, they struggled in the early goings. But parang San Miguel, no? Struggled. Pero after 10 minutes, nanaig dito, 14-12. At ang uh, best player of the game natin, sino ba? Walang iba. Walang iba. Kung hindi si Ken Bono, 7 and 3 rebounds. 4 of 11, kanya mga field goals. The versatility ni Big Boy outside, inside, King Ken Bono. Chip. Best player of the game for San Miguel, Ken Bono. Or KKB, kung tawagin namin. Dalawang naro tapos na. Up next, we got Barangay Hinebra San Miguel going up against Pure Foods TJ Titans Pool C competition naman po tayo.
very at, uh, festive atmosphere here in Ayala Mall Circuit in Makati. Kung saan nagre-ready na ang dalawang kupura natin, ang Hinebra at ang Pure Foods. Pero sino pa ang kasama nila dito? Coach Charlie apart from oh. the two ball clubs. Ito na yung sinasabi nating significant change sa mga lineup. Chiki, pero bago yun, Pulsi, Barangay Hinebra, Meral, Coter, Firma, and Pure Foods. Ito ay Barangay Hinebra contra Pure Foods. Dito sa larong ito, as we go along, we will tell you these changes sa kanilang lineup. Recap muna. For Barangay Hinebra, San Miguel, nag-first place ng legs 1 and 2, third place ng leg 5, at uh, nag-fourth place sila ng grand final. So, also a roller coaster kind of journey for Hinebra and a lot of uh, new faces here. Oo. Oh, well, Ubalde was uh, with them, uh, as, and also as JJ Espanyolo dun sa kanilang mga reserve list. Pero sila na ang uh, parang pinaka-core ng Barangay Hinebra. No more Gumaru. I don't see Kim Aurin and Ralph Koo is uh, nakapirma na. Shiki. And uh, the introduction of our players uh, to be done by our hype man, uh, Benji Santiago. Here we go with more! And into our next game, the two teams on the floor. Let's introduce Barangay Hinebra San Miguel. From Quezon City at number one, JJ Espanola. From Isamis Oriental, number 12, Nicole Ubaldi. From Cagayan de Oro, number 15, Ralph Salcedo. From Digo, Stavo del Sur, number 42, Leon Martel. Coach of Barangay, Nebra San Miguel, Coach Kurt Collier. And they're going to be going up against Dupin's DJ Titans. From South Cotabato, number 10, Christian Rodrigo Bella. From Calamba, Laguna, number 20, Christian Bunya. From Louisiana, Laguna, J.R. Flores. From Guagua, Pampanga, number 25, Martin Gozo. Coach of Pupin, CJ Titans, Coach Tony Boy Espinosa. Our officials, Shane Spies and Carlo Vergara. Maraming bago para sa Barangay Hinebra ngayon. But to them, new faces, same concept lang raw. And this is where they get their confidence in knowing their system. But they are also paying extra attention sa kanilang shooting. Dahil ang nawala sa kanila ay ang mga shooters nila. Kaya everyday, the players pay attention to their shooting. At pinapapunta sila ni Coach Kirk sa venue to do extra shooting. After all, it's the points that win the game. Once again, this is Barangay Hinebra San Miguel going up against... Pippin CJ Titans, it gets going in 5, 4, 3, X3, PBA, La Paz, Natato! Ito na, tatluhan na ulit tayo mga kapatid. Ginebra contra Pure Foods and immediately a steal by Rodrigo Rivera and a failed attempt. We know what he brings to the floor. Rivera, Christian Bunyag. He's back at the fall dito para sa, para sa Pure Foods Titans uh, Chicks. Ang laki din, ano? Laki. Six, diba? six, legit, mahigit. Alam mo, Chiki, testament din kay Kirk, Coach Kirk Collier. It's a good thing and a bad thing na magaling siya na coach. Duma, yung mga players na dumadaan sa kanya na napupunta sa barangay Nebra, kinukuha lahat. <laughs> There's no more Ralph Kuhn. Nakapirma na. Gumaro's about to sign a contract na rin or, or baka has signed na. Uh, Gimaw rin. Ang napakagaling na offensive player. Wala na rin dito. So, he'll handle these players. Ang galing niya. Back-to-back -back, uh, leg championships na nakaraan. Kaso nawawala sila kasi ang galing. Ang galing, that, ang galing ng ginagawa niya sa kanila. That's a testament of the program of uh, exactly. Coach Kurt, di ba? Yes. Na, Pumuhusay yung mga panalaro. It's a good thing and a bad thing, no? Napapa, I mean, di ba, ang ganda ng exposure ng players through him. Uh -huh. Nawawala sila. Pero well, life uh, goes on sa basketball. He has this new group na, di ba, challenge na lang para sa kanya. Pagalingin na na rin itong mga players, new players dito sa Barangay Hinebra. Christian has it. Titira ng long jumper. Wala naman ang sa rebound. Nasa Hinebra ang bola, Ralph. 
Salcedo. Yeah. 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 Salcedo will be the holdover. Uh, nakasama ng mga na-mention natin ng mga players na di ba kumuha ng mga ilang mga championship na nakaraan. Lodrico Rivera will bury a two-pointer, Chicks. Tablat, binawi yung dos ni Martel kanina. In meantime, Martel gives the lead back to Ginebra. Ganda nung galaw na yun. Ah. Chemistry, chemistry, chemistry. Bagong mga players, di ba? Hindi pa masyadong matagal magkakasama. Tulad nung uh, Martel, pero Ubalde will get a yeah, back-to-back lane para sa Barangay Ginebra. Drop by two. 5-3, 8-24 to go. Mabilis ang palitan dito. Check this out. Ito yung galing yeah. sa pasang ni Ralph yes. Salcedo. Exactly. From down under. Uh -huh. Yan ang nadat na gagawa ng isang magaling na veterano, di ba? Offense siya agad sa a nice rebound. Kick out ka agad sa isang uh, nakapwesto ng uh, two-point uh, two shooter niya. Smart move. Coming from Gozo. Pero, naka-apak yata sa baseline, ano? Stepping na ata itong si uh, Martin Gozo. Walang minuto, sampung segundo. Lamang na dalawang parang kay Nebra. 5-3, pangatlong daro po natin ito. And full C. Kanina, Chiki, meron kang na-mention. Ah. The game prior. Uh, roller coaster ride. Yes. Yung SMP. Mahalit tulad din natin. Ma Pwede rin natin yan ibigay na description sa nangyayaring uh, kampanya ng Pure Foods Titans. Ano? Hindi, hindi nila mahuli talaga. Eh. They had Joseph Ariobo in the fold. But of course, ang galing Joseph Ariobo. So he has gone on to... Uh, And congratulations, to, uh, yes, Of course. Balik, balik siya uh, sa itaas. Always room for improvement para sa kanila dito to... Again, try to get uh, to the top eight muna. And then it's anybody's ball game come day number two. Just the, the money game. Ang tawag ko dyan. Bukas po yan. Dito rin. Di ba? Yes. Dito rin. Tuesday. Back to back tayo. Huh? Oh, kiss-kissan sa inalim. May foul muna na itatawag dito. Might be on Ralph. Ralph. Or Barangay Ginebra. It's Christian Bunyag, no? Uh, oh. that's, that's, that's PBA size. Maglagay lang ng... Uh, Konti. Ako, I would say, konting karne pa. Si Bunyag? <laughs> yeah, Oo, diba? Christian Bunyag. Kasi makakatapat niya na yung mga big boys dun sa may bandang ilalim. Um, so, yun na nga, diba? Jockeying for position. Konting ano pa. Konting mas. Konting mas. Yan. Now, Salcedo is on the line. You mentioned this uh, young man's name, the veteran from yeah, Barangay yeah. Ginebra. Siya na lang ang talagang uh, parang pinaka-core na naiwan dito sa Barangay Ginebra. Ralph Salcedo will miss a, uh, a free throw. They're up by two chicks. Bola ngayon ang Pure Foods. Bunyag has it. Bigay dito kay Rodrigo Rivera. Christian. Si Pagpanggaan dito kay Ubalde. He lost it. Nice actually. Si <laughs> Ubalde. Pero they get it right back. Pure Foods Titans. Christian again. Oh, another steal by Ubalde. Dalawa. <laughs> Napikit. Nasar na ata si Rodrigo Rivera. Dalawang beses na siya ginaganon ni, uh, ni Ubalde. And si Ubalde, tinamaan niya ata sa kisser. Nainis na eh. Nainis na si <laughs> Rodrigo Rivera kay Nico eh. Parang nilala, sinusundot-sundot na niya lang. <laughs> I got your number. Oo, oh, diba? parang ganon eh. Huli kita akin. Martel misses it. Ralph gets the offensive rebound. Another chance here for Inebra. Espanola to the corner. Got flipped by Ira Flores. Kanilang uh, bagong player sa Pure Foods Titans yan. JJ Espanola. Yan magaling yan. Payups. Payups. Slash knife. And Tsaka, JJ mo naman, diba, Espanola. I've, I've always been a fan of... Uh, Lefties. <laughs> Mga south po. Uh -uh. They have this... Meron silang form na... Oh, basta maganda tignan yun. <laughs> basta bira ako pa. Kita lang kaliweting hindi shooter. <laughs> bira. Huwag <laughs> ka na lumayo, di ba? The trigger man. Oo nga. Alan kay Dick. Oh. That's, the, that's the best in the business, boy. Pangalawa si JJ is good. 7-3. Coach Jolly na mga hinembro ng apat. Numero 18, mga bagong mukha para sa Pure Foods uh, Titans, mga alam po niya. Eh. J.R. Ruff Flores, Ruff Flores, there you oh. go. Ruff Flores. Love pass to Ruff Flores underneath. Chicken wings against Salcedo, it worked. Requires control, Chicks, dahil di ba, 
pag talagang malaki din ang pangatungan, mahirap. Kasi pa, pareho ka yung timbang. Pinabangga ka rin pabalik. So nakita niya yung uh, kanyang advantage eh, sa konting sa, sa timbang against the Ralph Tancedo. 7-4. Ginebra up by 3. Third team foul for Barangay Ginebra called on that last sequence. Bola pa rin na Pool Foods, TJ Titans. Na kay Christian ang bola. I say Christian Bunyag all day sa may ilalim. Seal, seal, seal. Pwede, di ba? That's a huge body right there. Nicole has it. To Ralph. Back to Nico. Shot lock down to a second. JJ throws it. Wala. Wala ang pagandang opensiba doon ng Barangay Hinebra. Wala talaga siyang uh, open line to pass it into uh, Nico Valdez. So, init siya na lamang ni JJ Espanyola. Still a two-point lead para sa Barangay Hinebra. Nalimas eh, no? Nalimas ang kanilang team eh, no? Gumaru, Aurin, Ralph Ku, no longer in the lineup of Barangay Hinebra. Wow! Martelo! No, that's uh, Papa, JR. Paparamdam sa atin. Uh -oh. Mga bagong player ng Barangay Hinebra. Meantime, for the lead, Espanyola fails to do so, but I got to, I got to see that two-point shot again of J. Adam Flores. Ba? Hindi, ang ganda ah. nung ano eh. Ah. May smooth touch from the outside, tinan mo. Yan ang maganda, Jump no? Step. Yeah. Oh, oh. Very nice. And I love the camera work uh, right <laughs> behind <laughs> the player. Diba? Sakto eh. But the thing is, he showed us uh, some moves underneath. And then now he's showing us his nice range. Rafa Flores. J. Espanol will complete a uh, bonus free throw up by one Barangay Hinebra. JR tried to dance his Good way in. Okay, tamo yun. Beautiful, I like it. I won't be surprised if the other coaches would be marking him already. Correct. Malapad pa ang katawan, eh, no? Easily a 210-pounder here. Rock Flores. Check it out again. Recovered from that dribble. Goes for that two. The nice release. The nice release. Sheesh. And the backspin. Uh -huh. Oh, but still down on the floor is... Ralph Salcedo, yes. Holding on to his face. Ang tinignan ko yung action ni Rock Flores on the side, eh, trying uh -huh. to get that loose ball, but... Let's check it again. Kung makikita natin yung action sa may shaded area. Sila nagkakatapat eh. Um, Rafa Flores likes playing underneath. Tumata. Yan ang pinaka big man nila eh. Sa Ralph Salcedo na. Sa barangay ah. ng barangay ng uh, kapuna ng Hinebra. They can't grip. Accidentally ah, by the left uh, elbow of Bunyag. Bunyag. Kasi nakataas eh. Oo. Oh. Pagbaba. Oh, napuruan si, ayan, napuruan si uh, Salcedo. Pero alam mo, itong taga Cagayan de Oro na ito, matibay ito, si Ralph. So, oh. papagpag lang na yan. Ooh. Christian Lodrico Rivera, twisting in mid-air. Plays with a lot of energy, uh, chicks. Ang Pure Foods, lamang na ng dalawa. 10-8. Wow. And it will mean a free throw here for Obalde. Or should I say two free throws? Oh, oh, Obalde, oh. dahil pit na ang fouls na uh, Pure Foods, pero meron tayong TV timeout. But one of the players that is sorely missed here uh -huh. by Baraka Hinebra is Ralph Kuhn. That's a lot of things on the floor. Two-time leg winner. The, yan yung nakaraang uh, conference nila, di ba? Yung first and second leg pinanalo na because of this gentleman right here, Ralph Kuhn, not to mention Kumaru. And Kim Aurin, again, wala na po sa lineup now, pero, yeah, giving uh, Barangay Hinebra a very nice first conference there with those two uh, leg championships, uh, Chiki. Earlier, we saw Ralph Salcedo checking his tooth. Yeah. Oh, kung andun pa. Kung pa. Kung bu pa. They're down by two, Chiki. Malalaman natin kung hindi na yan nagsasmile mamaya. So, pasok ang una ni Ubalde. He has one more. Sa kapakanan ng ating mga manonood, pag umabot ho ng pito, ang team foul ng opposing team. Yan po, yung numero pito na That's nasa right. red sa may bandang kanan. Dalawang free throw na yan sa kapila. Ngayon, so, masakit eh, di ba? Pag umabot Just ng like sampu, Correct. dalawang free throw na, ball possession pa. Oh. Ah, yun, pag umabot ng sampung team foul yun. Pero masakit, so, na mapunta ka sa penalty, di ba? This is only a 10-minute uh, game. Yes. So, 
Kaya masakit ang mga two-pointers. Masakit ang dalawang free throws. Just like that, Ubalde, Nico Ubalde ties the ball game. Ten apiece. Fourth team foul of Palangay Ginebra. Kaya nasa free throw line si Christian. Pero isa lang ang kanyang ibabato dito. And he knocks it down, giving up your foods a one-point lead. Total of five points for Rodrigo Rivera. So, Barangay Hinebra able to manage the uh, four-team foul slam. But Nico Ubalde will hit air nung pagkakataong yun. Wow, but he gets it back. So, tatlong uh, subok yun, ha? For Barangay Hinebra and Ubalde is obviously upset at that lost opportunity. Uh, we saw how Christian Bunyak just grabbed that uh, rebound every time. He has to do that. Chiki, yan ang trabaho niya. Secondary na lang ang points sa kanya. With that frame, he has to control the boards para sa Pure Foods Titans. All day. Kailangan. Haba, eh, no? Oh, laki. Oh, Bugbugin niya, sorry. Bugbugin niya sila lahat. Dahil that, uh, diba, you're looking for that advantage every time. Eh. Yan ang basketball. Eh. Yan ang sports in general. Diba? Yung naghahanap ka ng advantage mo. And I can't blame you for using that term because in your heyday, pag meron kang ganong advantage to your opponent, talaga eh, quote-unquote, bubugbugin mo. Not in the literal sense of the word. You know, but, you, but you will impose your authority Correct. inside. Eh, lahat tayo, pati ikaw, dumaan tayo sa mga bago tayo, mga naglaro sa mga schools and mga uh, yung uh, matataas na leagues. Lahat tayo naglaro sa labas sa mga ligang ano. Ako, 6-2 na ako eh. Pagdating ko, nantitignan ko, wow, ako pinakamalaki dito. Oh. Na-excite na ako, na-excite yes, na, na ako. Yes, na, top, yes, na. Diba? Kukunin <laughs> ko na lahat ng rebound. Mamamiesta na ako sa may bandang ilalim. And this is what I'm, I'm hoping to impart dito kay Christian Bunyag. Diba? Bogbogin niya silang lahat. <laughs> Let's see if he'll be able to do that. But he's on the bench right now, taking a breather. Laman ay sa mga coach, 12-11. Espanyola will check back in. And... Upo muna si Martel. Push people around. That's easily a 220-pound frame. That's number 20, Christian Buñag. They're on defense now. And he's against Ralph Salcedo, the versatile Ralph Salcedo. Shot clock down to four. Ubalde. Takes it, doesn't make it. Down low to Christian. Bangga kay Ubalde, wala. Tenacity to si uh, Rodrigo Rivera, pero a little too much. They get it back, though, through a uh, Rodrigo Rivera steal. <laughs> elbows. <laughs> Nakaka-frustrate kung si Nico ka, pero these elbows are flying. Raf Flores. Pero yung nakita ko kay J.R. Raf Flores, pagkuha, sabay kagat labi. Magkasang <laughs> ididiin. Alam mo yung ready na siyang dumiin. Tapos parang yung mukha pa niya parang, oh, ano ginawa ko? <laughs> Playing that innocent look pa. Pero that's how you do it. Sa may bandang ilalim, ilabas mo yung mga, sabi mo nga, yung mga chicken wings na yan. You want to make yourself big, cheeky. Di ba? Yan ang basketball. Eh. Big, tall, wide. And yes, that sir. you can get an advantage from. Yes, sir. 12-11. There are the kids pure foods. listening to us, lalo na yung mga aspiring na magka 4 5, mga aspiring big men. Make yourself big. Kahit 5'10 ka, pero di ba, your arms are out. Yung, we, uh, yung parang la, laging naka, naka spread yung mga pamo. You're making yourself big. You're occupying a lot of space sa mga, sa mga sami patang ilalim. Make yourself big. Not so good news here for pure foods. Coach Johnny, dahil nine team fouls na oh, okay. ang TJ Titans. Yung sinasabi mo kanina, mukhang magkakatotoo. That's only their, uh, their their downside here. They're up by one, which is great. Pero ito na naman yung dalawa eh. Talagang kanina pa yung kanilang iskisan. <laughs> kanilang iskisan. Pinebra missing a lot of uh, gimmies. Three minutes ago, Coach Martin lost it. Picked up by Christian. Wala. And you put back the other one. No basket na. Oh, tumunog na bago pa ma... Bago pa ma offensive rebound ni uh, Bunyag. So, itong gusto kong tingnan ngayon. Will Hinebra take advantage? Just take a look at this last sequence by Rodrigo Rivera. Wala na. Uh, Pumutok na yung ano, shot lang. 
Dinigtik ba sa loob ba kay Nebra? Or hindi? There you go. That's the answer there. Na isa niya si Rodrigo Rivera nung pagkakataong yun. Babawi ba? Tap na tayo sa 12. Ayun na nga. Bumawi nga. Rodrigo Rivera pinawian si Nico Ubalde. Doon rin sa may ilalim. Oh, babawi na naman ba? Mati pa, no? Labas kay Martel. Martel. Blocked. Oh, and... I thought JJ Espanyola had a good touch on that ball already. Si J ba? Oo nga. Isan yun lang. That's all it takes, eh. Di ba yung... Just a... Just a piece of that ball to Satumitira. Sayang, and nandun na siya sa ilanim. Could have gone for the reverse. But they lost it. 13-12. Pure food sa Panaisa. May time out tayo sa 2-18 mark. And let's talk about another player na wala na dito sa Barangay Nebra. Kim Aurin, who played really well for Barangay Nebra. Yes, terrific offensive player right there. Kim Aurin, we looked at him. 34th overall na pinik. And on si Kim Aurin, well, it's no secret, uh, Chiki, they're fair game. Kahit nasa 3x3 siya, naglaro nung, uh, ay, na parang kay Hinebra, 3x3 siya. Pagdating sa draft, they're fair, fair game. Pwedeng bunutin ng <laughs> kahit uh, sinong team. And I think he's in talks with uh, TNT. He got signed, actually, by, by TNT already. Yeah. So, ito na. Kailangan ng Hinebra. Kim Aurin. Kailangan ng Hinebra ito to tie. Two minutes ago. Shot na ka to. Salcedo. Could not tie it. Pero mahaba pa ito. 150 remaining. Gozo gets a screen. Ra Flores. Pinapatay yan sa labas. Two to shoot. Ra Flores goes for the long one. Good defense there by Ralph. Uy! May foul on Gozum. Oh, wow. I didn't quite catch that. I was looking at Raul Salcedo and uh, J.R. Raflores. Pero nag-start nun eh. Good defense oh. by Raul Salcedo. Tapos ang ganda ng box out naman dito. Oops. Oh. Is it the wow. hold on the... Siguro prior... Yung hawak ba? Oo, oh, okay. that's the only thing I saw. That's the only thing possible. Pero hindi naman grabe yung pagkahawak. We'll see, we'll see. Ah, kaya ito, free throws nga para kay Martel. Interesting. At dalawa, well, I, the dalawa reason why I ask that sa'yo, Coach Shari, because we've seen a lot more Tataka siya, eh? heavier contacts. Kaya nga eh. Oo nga eh. Or baka we missed it lang dun sa slow-mo. Baka prior to that, baka may hataw before he grabs. So, sabi ni ano, ball don't lie. Sabi ni Martin Go, ni uh, Goz. 0-4-2 oh. from the line. Pero bola pa rin ang parang kay Hinebra. That's uh, the good thing for them. Kahit na wala sila naipasok. 1.35 to go. Lian goes in. Wala. Picked up by Espanyola. He will go back to the line. Slack concentration magmula kay Martin Gozum. Nasingitan siya, di ba? JJ Espanyola just grabbing that rebound. Trying to put it back in the process. Itong problema dito. Yung 11 fouls ng Pure Foods na kanina mo pa sinasabi. So, two free throws, JJ Espanyola. Plus ball possession. Imagine that. Pero kanina, 0-4-2 sila, Coach Ali. Oo nga. Ah, pero si Espanyola yan, boss. Iba. Iba to, iba to. This is a possible four-point swing if he makes both, and then there's a two-point basket para sa kanila, or a three-point swing kung single field goal lang. But those two free throws are enough, enough for Inebra to take the lead, 14-13. But for Pure Foods, mahaba pa ito. Correct. 1-28 pa ito. One and a half. This is the three-point swing, di ba? That's a three-point play. Para sa tight, that's the two free throws. And then the bucket. Oh! Back-to-back good plays coming from Martel. Offense and defense. I hear you, Martel. Sinusupalpal mo. Six foot six. So, napasigaw siya doon. Masarap sumupalpal ng mas malaki sa'yo, Chiki. Totoo yun. Ito, ma-chechefon niya si Christian Bunyag right about now. Boom! The reaction. That's gold. The reaction is gold. <laughs> Espanola gets a rebound. Hinebra looking good here. They're up by two. JJ 
kontra Pelo. Kinapit ang kanan, wala. Nako. Hits his head, pero he'll get right back. Oh! Gozo Tyson, Argentina. 48 seconds to go. Salcedo, hinihingi ni Lian. Down low against Chris. Lian, kick out. JJ, for two. Wala. Doors wide open for Pure Foods to try to steal this one from Barangay Hinebra. And I am literally sitting at the edge of my seat. <laughs> Pero multiple possessions pa to, Chiki. 38 seconds pa natitira. And these are just 12 second uh, shot clock uh, possessions. Rodrigo Rivera inside oh. the Bunag, or Bunag rather. So foul. Good foul. Good foul given up by Rob. Wala pa sila sa penalty. See the importance of having strong forearms, Chiki Diba pulling that to your chest, putting it right back up. Hawak na niya eh. Christian Bunyag could have just bullied everybody dyan sa may bandang ilalim. Rodrigo Rivera has hit 23 seconds on the game clock. Four to shoot. Chris dancing. Oh! oh! Angle breaker! Angle breaker by Christian! Woo! That might be the move of the day. Ocho puntos, Rodrigo Rivera, a miss. Seven seconds, Kozu Masin. And a foul was given up here by Barangay Nebra. Wow. That will send Martin to the line for two free throws. Wow, if they will be able. Look, at this is the pretty move. The spin cycle. Magbula kay Rodrigo Rivera. What an ankle breaker. If they will be able to pull this off with 11 team fouls, bigat yun, bigat yun, di ba? Laki ng problema nila with those team fouls. And this, this will be the icing on the cake. There's Jojo Operana on your screens. Bossing ng pure foods. Oh, si Joe, manilibre yan. Pag nga, bossing eh, bossing. <laughs> Crucial free throw to. Coach Shani. Martin on the second free throw. Uy, he missed it. It's open. Windows open. JJ for the tie. No. And... Naipasok. Wow. Ubalde, pero one point shot lang yun, Coach. How did they do that? Despite 11 deep fouls. Pure food still winning at Chicky, 17 to 16. What a game huge, here. Huge win. In spite of, as you mentioned, having 11 deep fouls. DJ Titans getting this one, 17 16. And the other best player of the game, si Nati Limo. Rodrigo Rivera, Christian Rodrigo Rivera, 8 puntos, 3 steals, 6 of 13 ang kanyang mga field goals. We love yung kanyang energy. They held it together. Again, the spiking 11 team fouls, getting that all important W. Pure boots, Titans, uh, Chip. Crucial yung ankle breaker na yun. Me uh, Christian, and they got that one, 17-16, our best player of the game, Christian Rodrigo. Rivera. So, may panalo na ang uh, Pure Foods. Talo naman ang Palangkay Nebra. So, tatong na runaw tayo. Up next, mga kapatid, huwag niyo kakalimutan. We got one more Pioneer contra Blackwater sa aming pagpabalik.
back here in the Alamo uh, circuit. Para po sa continuing coverage ng inyong PBA 3XT, lakas ng tatlo. Bisitahin natin ang Pool A dahil yeah. may uh, bagong maglalaro na first That's game pa lang nila ngayon. Yes, uh, makikita na natin Blackwater contra Pioneer ito. Chiki Blackwater gustong pumawi dahil uh, kanina, ang kamay kani kanina lang. First game ng ating uh, day one, Kabitex, eh, hindi kinailangan ng buong sampung minuto. Uh, talagang uh, winasiwas, tawagin natin itong Blackwater. So, babawi sila ngayon na uh, Chiki. Mga katibays, nag second place nag quarter finals din sila but again you know we've been mentioning it at uh, running the risk of sounding like a broken yes. record here all teams won't be happy with the second with the third with the fourth place they want uh oh they want to be number one tama ka pioneer uh, one of those teams uh, chikina intact reggie morido and the gang titingnan natin G uh, game uh, first game nila dito sa ating uh, day number one pioneer contra blackwater will turn you over now to benji santiago and now moving on to our next game for more of exciting PBA 3X3 basketball action for all of you. We got the two teams on the floor right now. Let's introduce first Pioneer in Las Tusil Katibas. From the lock, number six, Reggie Moreno. From Calatagan, Batangas, number 10, Enric Kaunan. From Arikina City, number 23, Ken Moko. From San Pablo, Laguna, number 28, Dennis William Moore. Coach of Pioneer in Las Tocil Catibas, Coach Lester Del Rosario. And the other team, Black Water Smooth Razor. From San Mateo Rizal, number three, Wanda Comboy. From Emos Cavite, number eight, Hubert Connie. From Davao Oriental, number 11, Dariel Baila. From Alvar Batangas, number 31, Ray Publico. Coach of Blackwater Smooth Racer, Coach Junji Ablan. And our referees, Clarence Bautista and Oveta Leggy. Just an injury update for Blackwater. According to assistant coach Noel Zorilia, listed as reserve si Christian Bernardo because of his grade 1 soleus strain. And Patrick Hamison is still nursing his hamstring strain and is yet to undergo surgery. Kaya nasa practice players list pa raw siya. It's Pioneer Elastosil Katibais versus Blackwater Smooth Razor. Action begins in five, four, three, and three. Pelibie, lock us, stop the floor. Bounce back, bounce back. Yan ang gusto ng Blackwater dito dahil Pool A ito eh, di ba? Yes, yes. Eh, tatlo lang kayong nandito. Tama. Hindi ka pwedeng matalo ng dalawang score. Correct. Sorry. Was about to say, di ba, with the disadvantage pagka tatlo lang kayo kasi dalawang laro ka lang, mas zero two ka. Goodbye ka na for uh, day number two. Classification game ka na lang uh, bukas. Pero kung, kung, kung nandun ka sa yung taga-apat dun sa pool na B tsaka C, Meron pa. may chance eh. Kahit, ko, oh, eh. Kahit yung kanya, nakapanalo ka ng isa, then natalo. Kasi three games each, eh. four teams eh, di ba? Ah. Three games sila. So, eh, kung may kaparehas ka ng one win and two losses, eh, we will just go to the scorecards, di ba? Yung uh, accumulated scores na mga bounces. Well, you still have a chance as the reverse play in Ray Publico. Well, now, make it. We're saying uh, back, back against the wall of Blackwater as Publico scores underneath. Nothing to take away from uh, the smooth racers. Ano, dahil may galing din naman itong mga ito eh. Diba? Pero, mahirap lang gawin with that thought in mind na 0-1 ka. Tapos, medyo veterano rin yung kalaban mo. Vidya Moore, Mokot, Morido. Paborito natin, Reggie Morido. That's a sweet, sweet, eh. sweet release. Di tawa mo nga, Reggie. Ay, hindi. Atake mo na si Reggie Morido. But good ah. start here for Blackwater. They're up 3-0. Then you were talking about the lineup of a Blackwater Razor. Uh, uh, you, uh, that's Hubert Kani. That's Hubert Kani and uh, Wendell Comboy. Two of the deadliest uh, shooters deep sat in 3x2. Wendell Comboy has 
some type of a para mga T-Mac type of records dito sa atin 3x3. Something like the ridiculous 8 or 10 points in, in, in a very short span of minutes. Uh, Grabe naman yung kay T-Mac seconds. Eh. Pero si Hubert <laughs> Cani, parang 10 straight points in a span of about 2 or 3 minutes. Meron siya ganun in, in past conference. Naalala ko, I was calling that game. Grabe ginawa niya. Now, Blackwater off to a good start as I mentioned, 4-1. Yeah. Pero ito, nakaagaw dito si Dennis. And Enrique, wait, he did it here. Enrique Kaulan, uh, one of those players, Chiki, na very obvious. Bagong salta siya, 3x3, nakikiramdam eh. Parang, ay, parang so-so na talent lang itong si Enrique Kaulan. Pero hindi, And ha? then na-relax. Yan na, di ba? Meron palang range. Grabe palang rebounder. Magaling na player pala. Pero bago yan, sabi ni Wendell Comboy, ako nga pag-usapan niyo, huwag yung mga pagsino-sino pa. <laughs> Stolen by Wendell, naka-Hubert ang bola. Blackmon run by five. Kane for two. No, Publico gets the rebound. Comboy ulit. Well, Hubert Kane, we were talking about him earlier, very, very streaky. Uh, Kenneth Mokon knows that. So talagang hand in face siya every time. Ayaw niyang maumpisahan. The uh, Hubert Kani in the district. Niya. I would always hear this from you, no? You take the good with the bad. As Kaunan oh. earlier, if you're okay, combo, you know. Means that if he's, if he's hot, oh. si Wendel, can I have a big enough begin? Tama. Tama yun. Oh. Diba? And, and, and sometimes he might be over dribbling or what, but you take the good with the bad. Yeah. Mausay. Eh. Coach Norman Black sabi, oh, 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 it's, a, it's an easy sport. Huwag niyong pahirapan. Kaya tama yung sinabi mo. Mainit ka, bigay mo sa kanya. Bola, di ba? Plain and simple. May, medyo feel niya. So, see if they can go to Wendell Comboy on the other side as we see a nice lane magbola kay Ken Mokon. First point by Mokon in this match. Oh, magaling din to eh. But Daniel lost it. Picked up by Ken. Daryl uh, Pahila sa, sa D-League, BSP Jimmers, double-double palagi in terms of points and rebounds. Katibay, so we'll keep that ball. Panibagong 12 para sa kanila. Score natin ang smooth racer pito, ang Elastasiel, final Elastasiel, Katibay, dalawa. Waiting for Hubert Gani to fire up his two-pointers, make them... And then go on a streak para sa Blackwater. They have a nice five-point lead here against Pioneer. Imagine mo sabay pumutok si Hubert tsaka si Wendell. Kaya nga eh. Very hard to stop. Dennis, kick out. Oh, nice pass to Morido. Could not line up a two. Mokon, ginamit ang kanyang size. Pinadaan na siya ni Hubert. Sige na, laki mo eh. Laki ng kaka mo eh. Pinadaan na siya ni Hubert kanin ng pagkakataon yun. Comboy missing it, and Hubert opting not to save that ball anymore. Nice four-point lead for the Blackwater Smooth Razor. Pagtatarong yung mga tao, yung mga bata, pati hindi si Nave ni Hubert, kasi delikado rin eh. Pag si Nave mo yun, baka mapunta sa ibang kamay, magiging three on two, not to your favor. Tama. Mokon goes in, nasunod lang, he recovers. Mokon again, libre pasahe, binibigay kay Comboy. Uy! Morido scores. Second serving sa kula kay Reggie Morido. Ganda ng up and under na sana ni Ken Mokon. No? Hindi luwa lamang yung kanyang tira. This is what they can do all day. Ray Publico is an athletic big man partner. Malakas tumalon. So, ilap ng ilap yan. Papunta sa kanya. He makes them pay. Nung pagkakataong yan. Nice four-point lead. A nice long pass. And a nice finish mag wala kay Publico. You know what? Apart from the pass, I was applauding dun sa decision-making ni Ray. Oh, yeah. Nandun ka na eh. Tapos, naramdaman niyang may sumagi sa likod. Yan na. All the way to the cup na. Bibitawang ko na ito. Saka yun na nga. May... May talon siya eh, athletic siya, di ba? So, medyo matagal sa era yun. Saka may hang time. May hang time. So, the finish, the three-point play para kay uh, Publico. Morito underneath, scores Sorry, again. Two-point play. 9-5. Ang mga smooth racer, lamang pa rin sila ng apat. 6-48 remaining in this match. Wala pang team foul sa black motor. Don Enrique to Reggie. And it's going to stay with Pioneer. 
ng 8 sa kanilang shot clock. Nice four-point lead para dito sa Blackwater. Smooth razor na po ang pangalan nila ngayon. At uh, well, first game lamang ito ng Pioneer, eh, diba? pero always great to get a W na haagad. Vinya Moore will miss, Chiki. At yung uh, bantayang Vinya Moore, uh, Dennis Vinya Moore, Dre Publico, isa yan yung gusto kong hinapangan dahil Gandang matakas, matakas lulundag. Hindi pa mga athletic. Yung tipang halos parehas, no? Yung, yung Woolman nila. Malalaking uh, kahang. <laughs> oh, malalaking tao. <laughs> <laughs> Convoy asking for a clear out. Takes it over Enrique. Wow. Oh, he nails it. Wow. Isn't that just a thing of beauty, Chicks, no? One dribble, stepping into that nice two-pointer Wendell Convoy. Ganda. Sinasabi natin, may range din yan, di ba? Enrique kaunan, pagdating sa 3x3, parang kala natin, so-so player. Hindi pala. Magaling. Wendell Convoy, quick cut. Three points for Saganya. I'm seeing a totally different Blackwater in this game. They are very fluid, very smooth. Well, so we said, uh oh. Oh, and he nails it from downtown. Gives Dennis William Moore a stare down, Chiki. Oh, Bagaan. Between Cowboy and William Moore. And. Shot in a gig in the wind. It's five straight points, Chiki. Oh, it's. This is from downtown, Chiki Wendell, Convoy, Malayo. Alam mo, I would say, halos nasa guhit na yun, di ba? Nung side. <laughs> nung nung, nung paglawan ano, ng outside. Pag outside, oo. Oh. Hindi guhit ng two-pointer ang sinasabi mo, eh, di ba? Guhit ng, uh, ng out of bounds, ang layo nun. Kadrap remaining. Irangay Kani. Boom! Wow, and he na. joins in the two-point party. Ito na yung sinasabi natin yung dalawang deadly players ng Blackwater na yun. Now Wendell Convoy and Hubert Kani. Morido tries to get it back. Wala. Well, that's motivation enough, Jiggy. Diba yung pinag-usapan natin na pag ma-0-2 ka, out ka. Ito na si Reggie Morido. Oh, sorry. Hubert Kani. Hubert Kani pala. Nalito ako doon ah. Bok. Mock on inside. Wala. Can he get it? He'll take it out. He might take it again. 18-7. Up by 11. Nelakat, nelakat. Black water, smooth razor. Uber. Can he do it? Oh my goodness. They have somewhere to be. Gugutom na yata si Uber na siya si Wendell. 27. And chance for us to catch our breath here. Grabe ginagawa ng dalawa. Inumpisa ni Wendell Convoy mukhang tatapusin ni Hubert Kani with his deadly two-pointers. I would have to say this. Bakit ganito ang sense of urgency ng Blackwater? Remember, in that first game earlier, talo sila at naka-13 puntos lang sila. Tama. So, kinakailangan nilang manalo by a big margin. Correct. Yes. Dito sa darong ito. Saka yun nga ay yung, uh, di ba, tatlo lang sila sa pool nila. 0-2 is automatic out. You will not make the top eight tomorrow. So that is enough uh, motivation for them to win this. And looks, ganun na nga mangyayari. 20-7, four and a half remaining. Convoy steals it for the game. When they'll spin, oh, that's game, he baby. goes up oh. low. Oh, look at that. Baila. Baila. Wala pa rin. Wow. That spin was so quick. <laughs> spin cycle indeed. Galit na galit. A black water smooth razor. So 4.17 to go. Reggie. Bigay kay Ken. Ken goes baseline. Take out the tennis. Two ball. Oh. Wala. Uy, blind side. Publico goes for the win. No. Good luck. Ito yung matchup na gusto mo. Sinupal pa niya William Moore si Ray Publico. Two ball. Wala pa rin. William Moore. It goes in. Oh, despite the nice, the nice defensive stance of uh, Publico, naging pasok pa rin. Then it's William Moore. Publico has it. Shot knocked down the three. Ray goes for the reverse. Hey, he game, gets baby. it to drop. That is game, baby. May bonus free throw pa yan. Alam mo, ipapatira sa kanya yan. Chiki. That's right. Oh. Ititira niya pa yan, kahit natapos na to, supposedly at 21. 
It was right there, bago pumito, basket counts, bonus free throw, Ray. Wala na. Ah, hindi na, ah, tinapos na. Ah, okay. Pero maganda yung punto mo kasi kanina, they need every point they can get their hands on, Chiki. Right. Pero, yun nga, tinapos na to at 21. 21-8, our final score. Wow. So, Blackwater goes 1-1, habang ang uh, Pioneer, unfortunately. I mean, sorry, sorry, that's right. Ang Pioneer nakakuha ng unang talo nila, pero may isa pa silang game, di ba? Best player of the game, sino? Wendell Convoy, mga kaibigan. Dahil, yeah. eh, yun na nga, napaka, di ba? Once he got started, tuloy-tuloy na sila. Six points lang, pero came at a crucial time. Doon sila biglang umalagwa when Wendell Convoy started. 6-2-2 two two ang kanyang mga numero. The scorer para sa Black Water Razor Sharp Wendell Convoy. Eh, nakaka-apat na laro na ho tayo para sa leg like one day. One up next, we got TNT Triple Giga kontra ang bagong kapunan Nakma Silver Tech Central sa aming pagbabalik. Sama-sama tayo, matalarok ang piso natin. tayo dito. Back here in Ayala Mall Circuit in Makati para po sa continuing coverage ng inyong PBA 3X3 Lakas ng Tatlo. Chiki Brother Ben Reyes with the Jolly Good Fellow Coach Jolly Escobar. Pool B, let's take a quick look here, Coach uh, Jolly. Well, pareho nilang uh, first game uh, today. Chiki TNT and they're called Makfa Solver. Sila TH tumalip po yan, TNT. Just reminding you that the no almond vosotros today. Wala. So interesting, titignan natin how the, uh, they're, they're gonna pull this off. Ang may grind ito sa paraman dyan. Pero nandiyan si Matt Salem para sa TNT Chiki. And we'll show you our new team, ang Macma Solver. A week ago, uh, nagkaroon sila ng media launch sa my Quezon City kung saan pinakilala mga manalaro ang yes. coaching staff. Pati ang mga may-ari, ano? Kung saan uh, uh, sila ay very excited to be part of this partnership with the PBA uh, 3x3. Nico Salva, the rest of the gang. Ito yung tinatawag nilang The Bear. All right. See Brando Ramirez. Like uh, already. Let's see. Now, let's go back. TNT Triple Giga, yung kanilang uh, recap lang, Coach Ali. Napakadaming mga champion. Ng <laughs> I think it's a total of about 13 leg championships. Para dito sa kupunan na to, it's about five grand finals champions. Dami na pera ni Alman Busotros sa mga pangyayari yan. Dahil... <laughs> 
Winning a lot. They're the winningest. <laughs> Dito sa ating 3x3. Kanina pa natin siya pinag-uusapan. Okay. No almond vosotros. So it's up to uh, Gran Mendoza. Samboy de Leon. Ping it si Mignano. Holdovers para sa PNT. And they got a sweet shooting match sa ilim, di ba? To uh, complete their, their four there. Okay, we'll turn you over now to Benji. TNT Triple Giga contra Magma Solver Tech Central. Well, you on board. Definitely, we know you won more. That's why we still have more. Introducing the two teams we have on the floor for our next game. First, TNT Triple Giga. From along the ball, number eight, Ping Eximiniello. From Nueva Ecija, number nine, Saboy Del Yon. From Malabon, number 25, Matt Salem. From Davao, number 29, Graham Mendoza. Coach of TNT, Triple Giga Coach, Mao Belen. And they go up against Matt Fossil, Tech Central. From Lubao, Pampanga, number two, Brandon Ramirez. From Bungi Locosote, number seven, D.H. Tumali. From Antipolo, number eight, Nico Salva. From Quezon City, number 32, Yudian Andrada. Coach of McFarsolva Tech Central, Coach Anton Altamirano. And our officials, Kenny Halleck and Clarence Bautista. This is the debut game of the newest team, Makfa Solver. And according to coach Anton Altamirano, we are a new team but we are very experienced. And he hopes it shows on the court. Alam niyang mahirap ang first game nila going against TNT agad. But coach said that their core is intact and they want to build their chemistry further today with their new player, Brandon Ramirez. Coach believes that his size and basketball IQ will be an edge for them. They've only been practicing for a month but their familiarity with each other is giving them them that edge. Here we go. TNT Triple Giga going up against Mac Basolva Tech Central. It starts in five, four, three, and three. PBA. Knock off. Stop the floor. Thank you, Ella. Say your uh, report and I'll pick it up from that. May bagong player ang Mac Solver. Bago na ang team. May bagong player pa sila. Uh -huh. In Brandon Ramirez. And they call him the bear. Maliit lang siya, no? <laughs> <laughs> Anong wala mo? Timbang. Okay, timbang, timbang, timbang. 225. Easy. Mga 6'3", eh, di ba? 225. Ang lapad ng pangangatawan. Chiki, yan na. At Ayan, na. Ayan na. Ayan na. He made his presence felt. Pagkaribaw, nakala ko matitiflate yung bola. <laughs> Ang ng mga braso. Brandon Ramirez, remember the name. Yung kanya mga team, eh, oh, Ping Eximiniano with a nice two-pointer there. Chiki, kanya mga kasama are all 3x3 veterans. TH Tumalik, Salva, Nico Salva, and the Yuti Andrada. Ito na, inaararo si Grian Mendoza. Pero he will miss itong si Brandon Ramirez. 3-2 ang ating score. TNT, triple giga. Lamang dito ng dalawa. Samoy misses it. Tumalik secures the rebound. Yan ang idol ko eh. TH Tumali plays both sides of the floor, of the ball. Nicely, di ba? Opensa, uh -huh. defensa, shot blocker yan. Oops. And <laughs> Nasagi ng mali ng konting braso lang. <laughs> Ramirez missing okay. the game. So, dalawa pa rin ang bante ng TNT with 8.35 remaining in this game. I'm waiting to see kung may range yung Brandon Ramirez eh, if, he's the full, if he is the full package. Oops, misses a couple of gimmies uh, chicks sa may ilalim. Siguro nandun pa sa adjustment. Eh, konting ano, no? jitters uh -huh. pa, bagong-bago pa. Pero malaki, malaking bata. Brandon Ramirez, numero dos para sa Macpa Solver Tech. Galing, ano, galing Toronto, uh, Canada. Okay, uh, Canadian, okay. Mendoza, two ball. Uh. Oops. So, magdadala mong isip ka rin makipagsabayan sa ere. Si uh, Matt Salem, nagpukang 
titila po doon, but he's fine. Dahil, yun na nga, this is a wide body in Brandon Ramirez. 3-1 pa rin, triple giga. May kalamangan ng dalawa. Bola ngayon ng Macrosover, Tech Central, Salva. Goes in, fall away against Matt Salem, and it's good. Sa kanya lang ako nakatingin kay Ramirez. At maganda naman ang nakikita ko, gusto niyang nagsisil. Di ba? Alam niyo gusto niyang gamitin yung kanyang malapat na pangangatawan. And I think kaya niya yung weight niya, no? Oo so, nga, hindi. Diba? Looks li uh, light on his feet. Ito yung magandang uh, atake nung, uh, sorry, yung magandang fairway jumper ni Nico Salva. Again. And I gotta inject this na uh, sa butihing asawa ni Nico, si Carla. Congratulations on their newborn baby. Oh, congratulations, uh -huh. the Salvas. Ito lang October, pinanganak. Ryan Mendoza doing Ryan Mendoza things. Big two-pointer. Just recognizing now we're lying. I mean, the score is not good for Sotros. Try to pick up the scoring slack here is Mendoza. Ever since the Monday, the Ryan is known to be a the bad dead shot from that range. Tapos pag na close out ka naman, dadaan ng kanig Ryan Mendoza. Uh oh, Mary Salem has some problems here, pero siya nagwagi ng punto ngayon. Di na ipatok ni uh, Big Boy yung kanyang jump hook. Pero meron deliberate, ano, no? deliberate effort to to give it the uh, give the ball to Brandon. Uh -huh. Ay, mga veterano mga kasama niya, and uh, di ba, they know na kailangan ma-relax siya on the floor. Try to get him some buckets here. Woo! Nico hitting that two ball. They're only down by a point. Three points are ready for Salva. Ryan, nice in out dribble there. Takes the two ball. Wala. Swapping uh, release din itong eh, kaliwete ulit. No? Ryan Mendoza, di lang naipasok yung uh, huling, huling two-pointer niya. But drop by one, TNT, TNT, triple giga. Seven of five remaining. Dito sa ating pakti magdaro para sa araw na ito. Laming tatlong daro po tayo for today. Leg one, day one. Salva goes in. Wala. Second point there for the Bear. Scarming out space sa may bandang ilalang. The offensive rebound and the put back. Brandon Ramirez. Wow. Uy. Offensive no, foul. Ah, hindi na ilabas. Ah, hindi offensive foul. Uh, hindi clear. Well, uh, baka you're watching us for the first time. Kailangan meron kang dalawang paa outside of the two-point area. Ito, wala na. Hindi na natin inabot dito. Pero yun yung senyas ng referee na yun. Uh -huh. Hindi nakapag-establish ng two feet si Pingek, si Minyano, outside the two-point uh, area. So, no basket. Back was over. They have a chance to grab the lead. TH, nice fake, but Eximiliano is all over him. Oh, ah! Oh, oh, oh. Caliwete! Contra oh, Caliwete! Oh. My goodness, I'm good. Ah, pero naisan siya ni Pink Eximiliano ng pulto ngayon. So, one point lang yung pinitawa ni TH. Smart! Well, hindi na niya mahahabol. Basta no two po. Oh, my goodness. Tito Salva. Salva with five points. Back was over up by uh, two points here. Eight-six. And TH to Malib, no? Fires up a nice uh, step back two pointer right here. Ah, to na katapang ba? Ah, katapang one point na for the edge. Eto ang malinaw na two pointer magmalawang magkulang hindi ko salva. Ryan failing to hit that two. Six oh five remaining sa ating karo. Lamang na dalawa dito ng Max Solver. Tomalin against the Leon. Oops, good hand. Recovers. Salva, fall away. He's feeling it, but he missed it. Salem for two. No. Good board. Samboy was there for the cleanup job. Samboy de Leon just being active. Heads up basketball offensive rebound at saka put back. Palaking screen. Ang kailangan ni Puta ni Salem. Wow. And Nico Salva hits another two. Total of seven points. I'm looking at Brandon Ramirez. He's winded, cheeky. Mukhang pagod na siya breathing through his mouth. Hindi rin talaga biru ang ano. Ang larong 3x3. Salem inside. Do I cut it? De Leon, De Leon. Oh, it's good. And he'll get a bonus free throw. Maipasok pa rin, ano? Pilipit na. Itong si Samboy De Leon. 
na ipasok niya pa rin yung kanyang tira. Two points ready for Samboy. Ito yung magandang pasok mula kay Maricel. Somehow, getting that up and in is Samboy De Leon. So, ganun kabilis. Hindi na mo, may chance ang triple liga na maitabla ito. Oo. Ganun kabilis yung action. Ganun kabilis ang action din. Minsan nga, meron na akong gustong ikwento, pero ay, hindi na kasi yung dami na nangyayari on the floor. Napakabilis na mga pangyayari. It's 10-minute games lang po ito. Or 21 points, one or the other. Tied at 10, 5-0-6 remaining. Salva. Whoa. Oh my goodness. Oh my he is <laughs> possessed here. <laughs> kami. Niniko Salva. Shop na puntos ba, Roy? Nine points. Oh, nine of the uh, 12 Magma Solver Tech points. Ito na naman siya, pero gets uh, blocked by a much shorter player, Ping Eximiliano. So 12-10 in favor of the Tech Central. TV time out tayo, enough for us to try to revisit the yeah. first five minutes on uh, how this match has transpired. And so far, so good. Dito sa Pakpa Solver, Tech Central. But Chiki, you're playing the number one team in uh, the 3x3. Go ahead, Chiki. And that's uh, the owner. Yeah. That's right, Maria Cristina Fernandez Antonio. Siya yung MCFA. Ha? Siya yung Pakpa. Okay. Doon sa team name. Mabless, mabless ako mamaya. Yung Solver. <laughs> okay, boss. Yung uh, kanyang business partner, si Erickson Solver. There's the Macpa Solver side. I like their spin, ha? Meron pa silang dalawang muse na kasama dyan, ha? Macpa Solver, chiki. Kwentong takbuhan tayo, October 22. Sa my Bridgetown and Destination Estate, Pasig City. Anong gusto nyo? 3K, 5K, 10K, or... Sa so dog run na lang ako. <laughs> Ano yun? Kasi siyempre kasama mo yung pet mo. Ganun ba yun? Tama. Or, hindi <laughs> alam ko naman sila na, lang. Not no? unless ikaw yung pet ng dog mo. <laughs> yun ang mangyayari. Kasama ko, kasama ko. Ako yung nakalish doon. <laughs> Pwede na yun. Biruan lang po. Two-point uh, Macpa Solver lead. Uh, Chiki. Well, just recognizing that, again, TNT, the winningest team sa ating 3x3. They're the number one team. They play with a lot of character, uh, Chiki. Kaya, di ba? May kita mo, may size advantage ang Macpa Solver. But TNT is right there, just down by two, Chiki. I mean, check this lineup. Matt Salem, sweet shooter. Di ba, Ping Eximiliano can't really struggle anywhere. There's not a lot of size there, Chiki. Wala si Lervin Flores, di ba? Yun yung gusto ko sabihin. Wala kang Flores, wala kang Almond Vosotros. Oh. Malaking bagay. Wow, what a play! Between Salem and Eximiliano. Four points ready for Ping. 4 remaining All in the game. day, all day, post up, Mr. Brandon Ramirez. Nana na nagasa sa may ilal. It's gonna be free throw. A free, a eight free throw para sa kanya. I cannot wait for that day as we see the pain incursion when Ramirez will battle KKB. Look at that. Look at that. Punong puno yung TV. Diba? <laughs> King Ken Polo, tsaka King ito. King Ken Polo, what a matchup. Na, yes, yes, yes. Or, 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 or. Um, Kids. Sino pa mga big boys? Ma madami. Pero hindi ganyan katangkat. Sila ito ni Nino Gonzaga. Eh. Oops, di na ipasok. Parang yung ano eh. Parang linebacker eh, no? Parang NFL football player is Brandon Ramirez. Look at Ping Eximiliano. Suddenly, the, the lead on the TNT side. Brandon tried it from the outside. Wala. TNT there up. 13-12. Tumitira din magmula sa labas, ano? Brandon Ramirez. Has yet to hit the one, though. Samboy against CH. It's going to remain with TNT. Terrific hands. DH to Mari. Hataw, hataw, hataw. Pero walang foul. Diba? So just playing defense without fouling. 2.5 seconds of shot clock ng TNT. So may timeout tayo. And you're looking at the TNT um, huddle here. Kanina na kita ko si Grayan. Gusto palta na itong si Ping. Sabi na, teka lang, isa pa. I'm feeling it. Isa pa. Give me one more possession. But let's see if they will stick with that. But I have to say, next to me niya, no? Dati walang shooting. Nakahanap ng shooting sa corner. Ngayon, hindi mo pwedeng bitawan from anywhere. Oo. 
Siba, real talk. Spain didn't have that shot before. That's true. Tapos sa kanilang but... corner three-point shot. Well, uh, para sa akin, alam mo, mas na M, ang galing dumipensa eh. So yung M, di ba, we think of Ping Eximiano as a defensive player. Meron naman. Pero, yun na nga, from time to time, you let him shoot that. Tapos, ngayon, anywhere on the floor, hindi mo pwedeng bitawan. Hindi na pwede. And I'm saying this is a matter of fact, dahil nakakadalawang dos na siya. Oo. Di ba? Kuya Roy, nakakadalawang dos na si Ping Eximiano sa dalawang ito. Correct. Two out of two. There you go. For 100%, Ping Eximiano. So again, if you're watching us live, tatlong platforms tayo. One Sports, PB Rush, and Filipinas live at The Bear. Nothing Bear. Down by only one point. Kanila pa rin ang uh, bola. Shiki Makpa. Ayan na si DH to Malin. Scoring prowess. Tabla tayo sa 13. 3.15 to go in the game. Samboy takes a two over Brandon. DH gets a rebound. Ramirez from Ipan and Dos. Oh! The we, Bear with a two. Yes, sir. Oh, we like him already. Okay. Gusto so maglaro. Oo. Oh, oh. Pero mukhang, di ba, he sees his advantage. Malaki siya. So, loves playing underneath. But, merong range. Brandon Ramirez. Maganda yung flick of the wrist. Very nice. Very nice. 15-13. Back pass nice over up by two. Yeah. Hand off to Tomalip. Salva has it. Shot back at five. Uh-oh. Malakas ang pasa. And that will go back to TNT. Well, if, you, uh, if you're Mark and you want to spin this into a positive, you're still up by two, no? So, sige lang. Mag turnover sila doon. Just trying to get a defensive stop here. Uh, reminding you na first game ng bawat ko po na, uh, Chiki, di ba? Yes. Sampo is scoring uncontested in that one. Tomale. Crossover. Step back. Two ball. Oh! Second time he did that. A step back. 17-14, De Leon. Missing it. Salva has it. Nico to TH. TH attacks. TH to Malib. Different, talaga. TH to Malib. His total is just four points. Pero ito yung magandang uh, pasa sa kumakat na Samboy. Pero ito yung sweet na sweet ginagaya nung katabi ko. Yung kilas. Oh, ganda. <laughs> iba eh. Iba eh. Ganda kasi tignan eh. Siya may tanga ng bola chicks, oh, DH to Malib. Goes in, goes back out. Inside to the bear. Wala. And the Palanza rebound, it's gonna go the other way. Kanino bola? P&T. Uh, ah, interesting. Oh, yun yung pinag-uusapan natin two games ago, di ba? Magka-gather si uh, Grian Mendoza. Nakialam si Nico Salva. Bola ni Grian Mendoza. Bola ng DNT. Eximiniano, two on two from beyond the arc, out to Salem. Couldn't drill the two-point shot. Wala nang dalawang minuto. Eximiniano at the corner. Almost, but not quite. Cryan. Derecho, boss. Derecho, boss, from our angle. One-point difference, Chiki. 135 to go. They go inside. Rakines, Baka. Wala. Chance for TNT to tie. Pagod to si Brandon Ramirez, look. Mendoza, wala. 122, TH has it. Salva. Goes up for the one-point shot. No. Kapit, walang bibita. Uy, delikado yun. Naapakan ni Grian yung bola. And nakikita natin what Brandon Ramirez has to work on, Chiki. Tukot na siya, nakahawak na siya sa kanyang mga shorts. And, di ba, ang galing na player niya. Pero if he can't play the full 10 minutes, then yun, magkakaroon ka ng problema. So, conditioning, para talagang makapaglaro ng buong laro siya. At, di ba, yung effectivity niya, at least the whole game. Makes me wonder, is UTN injured? Ah, interesting. Kaya, oo nga. Nine minutes ang ginagdagaroon yan. Yung warmer niya, hindi niya sinuhubad yan, no? 
Kaya pala, walang palitan. Kapit, walang bibitaw. Tap lang tayo, 17. Salva. For the lead. Go! It's good defense, Max Nelem. Nasa TNT ang bola. Isang boy, pasok sa loob. Gives the lead back to TNT. Ganda ng control. Nilustad si Nico Salva. Salva, open for the lead. Yes! 19-18. Wow, the crowd. The Magma side goes wild at one point. Did anybody's ball here, my friend? Multiple posi uh, possessions, 31 seconds pa. And Samboy will go to the line for one free throw. Nico Salva, kahit nagra-rush out si Ryan Mendoza, walang problema. What a ball game. What a game. My goodness. Whew. Big free throw para dito kay Samboy De Leon to tie the ball game. May nakita akong nakakatuwa, Chiki. Oh. Ang uh, gi dating Gilas player na magaling na RDO, naghahatid ng tubig Aba. para sa mga bata niya. Aba. Over at TNT, di ba? Talk about commitment, di ba? Oo. Oh. Dapat sumaludo sila kay RDO pag tumadating si Rani Del ng ganun. It's a team effort, di ba? Yeah, exactly. From the players, exactly. up to the coaches, up to the utility guys, everyone, everyone. Tabla tayo sa 19. Unang baka 21, or sinong lalamang? Si Nats Matigye, pinapato niya lang sa Andy Sigrado yung mga pasa ni Brando Ramirez. Although okay lang, kanila pa rin ang bola dito. 27 seconds, we're dead block, Chiki. 7.5 on the shot block, bola pa rin ang Macma Solver Jack Central. Tumali pa ko ng hawak ng bola. Nico has it. Nico. They go. Interesting. Go to the new guy. Goes for the win. No. 18 seconds ago or 17.8. Then Nico was telling him to stay there, di ba? Malapat ka. Jang kita hanapin on near the basket. At yon ni karon ng miscommunication yan. And here's the character of TNT, uh, Chiki will be on full display. Dito sa 17 seconds na ito. Here's the thing, Charlie. Magma Solver cannot give up a foul. Oo. Dahil pag nangyari yan, dalawang free throw ang ibibigay niya na sa TNT Triple Giga. On the other side, TNT, they have two fouls again. Oo. Doon mo makikita, di ba? Yun na paulit-ulit tayo, pero di ba that's... That's what happens when you're the winningest team. There's a reason why they're the winningest yes. team. They, they have so much character. They know what to do in situations like this. Talking about this TNT, they're called Triple Giga. It's very apt no, for our VX3. Triple Giga. Sila ngayon, TNT Triple Giga. Bola nila. 17 seconds. This is what they do. Chiki. Dito lalabas ang champion pedigree. Exactly. Ng TNT. Tabla sa 19. Ryan, will he go for the win? He goes for the win! No! TH gets a rebound. TH has it. TH for the win? No! Inside to Brandon. Mahupusa pa ng oras! And we go! Two overtime. Our first overtime of the day, baby. I have nowhere to be. I'm fine. Okay. <laughs> but our friends, Kaliwat Khan, and their faces, I love it. <laughs> So, look at this. Hook pass. Di na kasil ng maganda. Natapek. Anybody's possession. Sampo de Leon. Maubusan ng oras. Overtime. Ang ating unang overtime para sa day number one, uh, Chinx. Ang kwento dito sa overtime. First to First shoot. To two. First to two. Yes, sir. Two points. First to two, sir. Ganun lang, ha? Ganun yes, lang. sir. Tapos, tapos, kung sino ang may possession. Nung start ng game, pagdating sa OD, yung opposing team ang yeah. may possession. Interesting, no? Kasi sa beginning ng, ng isang laro, di mo na rin may isip yun eh. Kasi madalang naman tayo mag-overtime, eh, So, you will get that uh, that possession. So now, which was TNT, so now, back pa yan. They go to Ramirez. Salva for the win! No! So now TNT has a legit chance of getting this one should they opt to go for a two-point shot. Yes, sir. 
nice heads up play magmula kay uh, Samboy De Leon. Nakaharang na siya doon kay Big Boy uh, Ramirez para hindi na masave ang bola at uh, make sure of this possession. Looking to end this with a two-pointer. TNT. Kryan. Again, Siko. Bigay dito kay Samboy. Samboy with a fake. Goes for the win. Wala. Dama na sa rebound. Samboy has it. Bigay kay Kryan. Kryan, one-point shot. Pasok. So, so. One at a time. Ano sagot ng Makfa? TH, step back for the win. No! Ramirez scores. Pero Any, unahan sa two-point score. Yes, sir. Score. Yes, sir. Any basket wins it. Any basket wins it from either side, Jigs. Mendoza goes in. For the win. Yes! And Ryan Mendoza gives it to TNT 21-20. Overtime win. A one-point win. But coaches will say a win is a win. Again, the character oh, yeah. of TNT Chiki on full display here. Nagawan na lang ng paranto. Pero yeah, a win is a win, Chiki. And we've been mentioning it, Ryan Mendoza. He is known ever since yeah. collegiate days, the amateur days. To bury shots like that. Hindi mo even tong yeah. mamang ito. He is gonna train. <laughs> full display, baby. We saw it. Ryan Mendoza, Samboy De Leon. And the rest of the TNT got what a win. Game number one, para sa kanila best player, Jigs. Pero, ang napili natin, si Pingek si Minyan. Di ata nag-miss from the two-point area. Chiki, six points, three rebounds, two blocks. Pingek si Minyano from the two-point area. It's two of four. What a game. Pero collective effort, I would say. TNT, Jigol Giga, what a win, para sa kanila, Jigs. Ah, nakuha niya best player up next. Pangalit na laro natin, Meralco kontra Terra Firma sa pagpapalik ng inyong PBA 3x3. Lakas ng takto! This is your CX3. Welcome back. And uh, magtatapat po ang Pool C. Um, Chikim, this is Meralco contra Terra Firma. Mm. Kasama po nila dyan ang Pure Goods at uh, Barangay Hinebra. Meralco and Terra Firma, first game pa lang nila dito sa day number one. Chikim. Interesting. Sabi mo nga, diba, two pools with four teams uh -huh. each. So, mas ma magandang chances no, para umadvance ka sa uh, money game kung tawagin nga Correct. natin. Meralco muna, recap. Second place nung leg two. Una ka lang, Contrencia, third place ng leg four.
Tapos, third place naman nung Grand Final. So, it's a good run, yes. actually, for uh, the Meralco Bolts 3x3 team. Yes, sir. At hindi uh, naman natin masasabing talagang may shake-up dito sa lineup. That's the, the usual suspects, Alfred Batino. Um, Sedur, the deadly scorers of Sedurifa oh, and oh, Jeff oh, Manday oh. and Jamparen. So, um, Meralco Bolts looking to uh, have a, a nice conference here, Chiki. Pang-anin na naroon po natin, Meralco, Poncho Terra Firma, about his chart. We'll turn you over now to our hype man, Benji Santiago. All right, folks, let's get you ready for our next game. And you're still enjoying every bit of the action happening right here at the Ayala Mall Circuit. This is PBA 3X3, and we're glad to be back here. We're glad to be back mismo. Para makita ninyo muli at ma-excite kayo sa mga ball games. Here are the two teams. Let's introduce first, Meralco Bolts. From Cebu, number seven, Alfred Bartino. Also from Cebu, number 17, Joseph Sanorifa. From Victoria City, Negros Occidental, number 30, Jeff Matai. From Caloca, number 31, JJ Malangi. Coach of the Meralco Bolts is Patrick Pran. And the other team on the floor, Dera Firma, 3x3. From the Gupan Pangasina, number one, Jason D. From Marbel, South Cotabato, number seven, Trey Durandes. From Asin Loxa Bales, number 12, Jerry Maya Taladua. From Rob Blon, number 20, Jordan Rios. Coach of Terra Firma, 3 XC, Coach Raymond Tionko. And our referees, Shane Spies and Carlo Vergara. According to coach Patrick Fran, the Meralco Bolts have been practicing since September 4 pa and although they had a good run last conference, their mindset is to get better every game. Coach said they worked on their two-point shooting at ang in-emphasize niya ay ang free throws ng players dahil maraming beses na crucial free throws could have given them the lead if not the actual win. Meralco Bolts versus Terra Firma 3x3. It gets going in five. Four, three, X3, PBA, La Casa de Tablo. Paki Migan Cancha, PBA, 3X3, Season 3, Second Conference, live and on demand on Filipinas Live app. Anytime, anywhere. Download and subscribe now for only 149 pesos per month. At ako na magsasabi sa inyo, maganda o yan dahil nakasubscribe din ako. Yan. Testimony of uh, Mr. Chiki. Reyes, Chiqui uh, and Meralco Boss, uh, they are uh, le a legitimate 3x3 team, but we're looking at uh, Jeremiah Taladua. They're a firm, one of those teams na looking for their first uh, leg championship here. Contrary to that, uh, the Meralco Boss has several, na, Chiqui, ah, diba? Has several right. leg champions. Na. Because Batino. of uh, Alfred Batino, diba? Yun ang, uh, yun ang uh, talagang hold over nila. At uh, Joseph Sedurima, we got a block here, Chiqui. And no basket there for uh, Jeremiah Taladu. I'm shaking my head here because looking at that size of uh, Jeremiah here reminds me so much of the 80s nung uh, kabataan natin, yung wrestling team, yung British Bulldog, Bushwhackers. Sino ba? Yung malalaki. <laughs> Di ba yung... Kala ko magpapangalan ka na naman ng isang sasakyan, yung tren o truck. No, I mean, and, and the good thing for Jeremiah is he can carry his weight. Ay, oo. Oh. Napakatulit. Oo. Oh, oh. Pero pag hawak niyo... Malakas pa nga tumalo niyo, athletic, malapad ng pangangatawan, no? Pag hawak niyo yung bola, parang nagbubong ang holin, di ba? <laughs> But ano eh, di ba? Parang para sa akin, hindi talaga kompleto hanggang, di ba? You're still looking for your first leg championship, di ba? Yes. That's Tera Firma. Jeremiah Talento, there must be some frustration there. Pero, di ba? Patuloy yung ano. Patuloy lang ang laban. Try to get that, uh, again, the first leg championship. On the line, we got this... Uh... Manlalaro from Victoria's Negros Occidental. Lumiling ko sa pangalang Jeff Manday. Nakapos doon na ng isa. 
Kasama niya mga isang deadly scorer din si Dodong, no? Sa Buano naman itong si uh, Joseph Senduripa. That's a deadly one-two punch ng mga scorer para sa mga oh, robots. Uh, Chiki, ha? You bet, you bet. Jason underneath and he scores after getting that slight nudge. Oh! Ah, talagang matindi yung bantay na dito. Bangkaan yung Jeff Matay. JJ Manlang, it's no stranger to the 3x3. We've been covering him uh, for a long time now. Big two-pointer para sa score na Joseph Sadripa, Chicks. Lamang Ameralco, 3-1. Rios, wala. Manlang, it secures the board. I'm looking at that D versus Mandai matchup. Kanina pa nagpapanggaan yan. Seduripa, back to back twos. At tingin ko, Joseph Seduripa, pagka tumitingin siya kay Andre Duremdes, nakakita siya ng dugo. Parang uh, may fresh meat na batang bata. The Remdes with a nice left hand to the layup. Parang talagang predator ang datingan. Ano? <laughs> pating! Ayan, uh, isa siyang pating si Joseph Seduripa. He sees fresh meat in this young boy, uh, Duremdes. So, Tinira niya ng dos puntos, ina-atake niya. Uh, got a foul here. Got fouled here by, uh, by Andre Duremdes, of course, second-generation player, uh, Chiki. I, I would hear that from you guys, iba yung mga veterano. Unahin mo na, sisindakin mo na agad. I mean, it's, 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 no, it's real talk, di ba? That's true. That's Kasi true. veterano kayo, huwag mo papuporamahin yung uh, young gun. Tama ka. Eh, parang uh, si, parang uh, si warrior eh, di ba? Eh, malaki yung Andre Durantes eh. So talagang, in, eh, talagang uh, nasyuta na siya na ilang beses nung netong scorer na Joseph Seduripa. Not that time though. Jeremiah is back by the way on the floor. Rios has it. Step back. Bigay kay Jeremiah. Balik kay Rios. Good play sana. Di underneath. Jason, wala. Patino. Sisipat ng dos. Sa Maralco Balls, racing to a 6-2 start kaga through the efforts of, uh, of course, uh, Joseph Seduripa. Four points already for Seduripa. He'll take a breather. He's such a... Well, that's uh, Taladu on your screen. Uh, Joseph Seduripa is such a terrific uh, uh, leader on the floor. In, oh, in the face of... Uh, of Jeff Manday, kanina-kanina lang kasi missed something sa kanilang depensa. So, talaga hindi mag-hesitate na pagsabihan niya mga boys niya as an uh, airball. Magmula kay Duremdes, we're going to side of Peralco, Chick. Because uh, Sedorifa knows, quick game ito. Yeah. Di ba, sampung minuto. Ang reputation na yun, di ba? Oo, uh, ang gusto mo makauna ka talaga. Gusto mo umabot ka ng second day. There he is, on your screen. See, he, he recognizes it's a 10-minute game. Ang bilis na mga pangyayari dito. Di ba, there's really no time to slack off or, uh, di ba, mag-relax. Wala kang oras para gawin yan. And he knows that. Joseph Sedorima. I won't be surprised if he'll be coming back anytime soon. Ah, yeah. 30 second break. Apat ang lamang dito ng Meralco. 6-2. Jason. Bigay sa loob kay Jeremiah na wala. Pinulot ni Alfred ang bola. Shot lock na ito na. Matino. Gets it to Manday. Manday. Five to shoot. JJ has it. JJ takes it. It's a two ball. It's good. Wow. Veterano yan. Boss eh, di ba? JJ Manlangit. Chantry uh, Durantes para mga 6'4 then is a big boy, Tapatina, you know? Oh. Oh. At, alam mo, ako yung napa-nag-cringe eh. <laughs> Kasi, eh, pag nag nagka, nagkatamaan yung dalawa eh, Taladua, but this is the two-pointer of JJ Manlang, it's nothing but the bottom of the net. Taladua and Batino. Parang mga buhay na ba ito mag-i-spark and mag-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i
jump shot. Joseph said, Rifa, ang ganda naman ng cut. So, nagkikwento ko pa, nagkikwento ko pa lang, may mangyayari na kagad yan, no? layup ni uh, Jeff Matay. Classic give and go yun. Tapos, oh. pinawi ni Jordan Rios. Scoring aspect up, 11-7, still in favor of Meralco. Jeff, contra Pelo, ginamit ang kaliwa, pasok. Just taking what the defense gives you, di ba? Yun ang open, eh. Kanyang kaliwang kamay. Ganda naman ang layup ng uh, scorer na Jeff Manday. This is a, uh, this is a deadly line. Uh, para sa akin, that's a deadly line. Yung binanggit mo, no? Oo. Oh. Oh. Capitex looks good. Capitex is intact. Jory Napoles in the gang. De Peralco is intact. TNT, no Almond Vosotros uh, dito sa leg na to. So, titignan natin sa bandang duro. Andre, upset dun sa kanyang uh, attempt sa inanim dahil pasok na dapat yun eh. Andre Turemdes, of course. Uh, anak ng PBA MVP and Kenneth Turemdes. Ang original uh, KD. Yan. Diba? Captain, Captain Marvel. Marvel. This is growing up in a uh, basketball environment. This is a free throw though. 12-7, Meralco up by 5, nakay Sedorifa ang bola. JKK, JJ, JJ. Back to Joseph. Step back to ball. Hirap na mga tira. And these are off balance to a two-point jump shots na two-pointers. And uh, it's good defense coming from uh, Jordan Rios. Napamiss niya itong scorer na Joseph Sedorifa. Still anybody's game here. 5-0-9 remaining. Terra Firma only down by five. Jason, good pass to Rios. Back to Jason. And it's good. Give and go and then give it back to, <laughs> to uh, Jason with his nice little uh, six-footer. Sedorifa missing the two. So Terra Firma, they can go back to back with this possession. Jason, short stab. Nope. Torremdes. Oh. Ooh. D again. Wala pa rin. Sa pagkaganon, Chiki, you hang in the air ng konti and you can't, you won't get a lot of chances, di ba, from about two, three feet. Dapat sure ball. Sayang yung kay Ken Duremde. Ay, kay Kenneth uh, Duremde. Kay Andre, ano? Andre Kenneth, sorry. Andre Kenneth Duremde is his name. So now, Terra Firma, down by four again. Manlangin, 4.13 to go. Jive's baseline. It will stay with them with 4.2 on the clock. Lots of veterans on the side of uh, the Meralco Bulls. Isa na dyan. Itong si JJ Manlangin. So we go to this timeout with Meralco hanging on to a four-point lead. And again, let's talk about these two clubs, okay? Terra Firma, they're trying to look for a nice finish dito sa ating uh, konferensya. But you're going up against uh, a tough team like uh, the Meralco Bolts. Now, Patrick Magdenberg played for Meralco Bolts noong Season 3 first conference. Yan yung mga averages niya. Magaling si Pat Magdenberg. Um, kaya napili. 33rd overall nung nakaraang draft natin. He's a big boy, about 6 foot 4. Namilig siya yung kilos niya sa mga ilalim. Eh. Ganda na mga movements ni uh, Pat Magdenberg. I had no doubt na na mapipili siya nung uh, draft. So, ayun na nga po. Napili, napik. So, nga nara, nakaraang draft natin was Pat Magdenberg. Kaladua. Goes in. And look at that. He was trying to displace J.J. Manlangit. Yeah. J.J. Manlangit trying to stand his ground against the... Uh, a raging truck, if you will, Jeremiah Taladua. Ang tawag mo si Thanos at si Baby Thanos. <laughs> si Thanos meets his twin. <laughs> diba? Alapad ng pangangatawa. That's a 200-pounder right there. Mga 6'1 lang. Mga 6 foot, uh, six foot lang. Pero easily 210 pounds is Jeremiah Taladua. Again, reminds me of a former PBA player in Winnie Arboleda. Diba? Ayun, oh nga, no? Ayun ang kahulma niyan. Arboleda. One Good reference. Taladua has it. They're down by three. They need his scoring here. Taladua goes in, kick out. Jason for the two. Book it. Book it indeed. Makes it a one point ball game. Big two pointer. Magpulaki uh, Jason Tan. Matai! 
Voilà. Ouh, Kalawit the rebound there by Jeff. By Jeff, my rather. Terra Firma with a go for the lead. Not that time. Mandai kick out to Alfred. Batino, two point shot. It's oh, good. Wow. He won't fire up a lot of those, but he, the boy, Paisa is a but he makes it that Alfred Batino pinawe. Pinawe, Jeremiah Tolandua. Two point shoot out here. Melasco hang on to a one point lead, 250 to go. Batino, Ipilaso, Kinapita Kala Nakwasiwas, offensive foul, Sapul Sapuka, Sidorendes. Oh my goodness. Chicken wing indeed. Eto, quick spin. Tinapon yung shoulder. Boom. Ah, yung second pa pala. <laughs> Aray, sorry. Dalawa ang ano. Parang nangyari sa akin yung kay Sunny Kabato. Hindi lang isa tao. Tama mo. Dalawa, tato eh. Papapap. Pa, pa. My goodness, ang hirap na tayo. Papa, kung bakit? Uh, yun yun eh. Sire. Meron ka ng isang siko. Aray, boom. Ko. Tapos meron ka ba? Aray ko. May isang ataw pa sa mukha. My goodness. They're still up by one, Drago Balls, uh, six. Jason, or rather, Rios goes in. Good luck by Joseph. D. Wow. Throws it. Voila. But look at that, Rios going after that. Oh, good luck by Mandai. Terrific hustle, Magbulati to Jordan Rios to keep that possession alive. Para sa Terra Firma, Chix. 2.29 remaining. 15 fouls for Meralco, 14 fouls for Terra Firma, lamang ng isang bolts. Again, both squads, first game. Dito sa day number one, looking to impact na kagad, get impact na kagad. Makakuha ng panalo kagad dito. Manday! Patay! Ganda nun. Manday, patay indeed. Peralco up by three. Taladua, bustling his way in. Nayap, wala. Good Lord. Rip the rebound right there is uh, Jeff Mandai. Inside Get to Alfred, pass. foul given up by Taladua. Ang galing. But it's split second lang. Yung seal, chicks, and dyan yan eh. And dyan yan sa may three-point area, di ba? So yung window mo na maipasa yun, ang galing, nakakita ka agad na was it Mandai. It dumps the pass ka agad to Alfred Patino nung uh, pagka-seal. Tama ka, balit lang yung uh, bintana Super. na yan. Na yung Less open, than a open second, window na yan. Yes. Last two minutes, we're in the twilight zone. Set rebound. Goes up for the two. Wala. Rebound to Jordan. Dalabas si Rios yan. Hanapin muna dito ka Kapeno. Gets it to the left. Oh, oh, Good one oh, from behind. Oh, to the left. Patrick gets the shot. It's good. Okay. So we like the fighting heart of Andre Duremdes here. Diba sinupalpal siya initially ni Jayman lang. It did not stop. Continued to play. Gets a bucket right here against Jamal Lang. At ang maganda doon yung tira niya, using the vernacular that, isinubo niya yung kanyang right forearm doon sa... Oh, yung pang protection, ano? Sa harap ng mukha ng defender. Maiilang ka talaga eh. Oo. Pag ginanon sa'yo. At saka, well, recognizing that Jamal Lang is a, di ba, the top defender, is a veteran. So, eto, iniumang ng... Hindi lang pa saan ang siko niya, to Rem just gets that bucket. 17-16, marahal ko pa yung point. Mandai dancing, out to Cedripa, two ball, wala, rebound to Remdes, chance for Terra Firma to tie or take the lead. Chance to steal one, Terra Firma against this legitimate Peralco ball squad, Chiki. To Remdes, could not tie it. Double on the ball, Naka is Cedripa, they go to Jeff, 106 to go. Matangit, step back, two ball, no. Mantai has it. Under a minute left to play. Multiple possessions. Peralco. They have to get that rebound. Terra Firma. Sedorifa. Fall away. Oh it's good. Oh my goodness. High off the glass. Joseph Sedorifa. Only one possession. One possession ball game. And Rios could not tie it. 39.6. Over the bottom. <laughs> it's Jordan Rios. That's how... Uh, there's a sense of urgency to try to get win number one here. A high off the glass, natira ni Joseph Senorifa. Para billiards lang, you know? Diba? But, yeah, it's a nice two-point date para sa Meralco Balls. Anybody's ball game, I say, I would say, Chiki. 18-16, yung foul situation. Meralco with six fouls. Terra Firma, one foul to give. Yeah. 
Ganda. Very nice odds for both squads. Diba? Five team fouls lamang para sa Terra Firma. Meralco, on the other hand, cannot foul na here dahil uh, dalawang free throw ang ititira ng Terra Firma once that happens. So, wala akong bibitaw sa inyo, ha? Dahil mamaya mayroon pa tayong pitong laro. Ah, tama ba? O, oh, pitong laro after this one. Samahan niyo po si Andre ko, si Coach Jude Roque. Jude. Sila naman po ang uh, redeliebo sa amin dito because... I do believe what we're seeing right now is an indication of how the competition will be. Di dito sa conference ang ito, no? Dahil sabi mo nga maraming bagong buka, but then again, the veterans here, a lot of them are in tip-top shape. Oh, ma. Yes, sir. At uh, meron pang report si uh, Ella kanina, di ba, they've been practicing for more than a month na yung mga teams. Teka, titignan natin dito kung sino ang last touch. Ito yung uh, Oo nga, no? si Jordan Rios will go uh, mag-over the back of the dito. Talagang hinahapol niya ng todo-todo. Uh, Pero dapat prior-prior dahil uh -huh. titignan natin dun sa may uh, Jason uh, Tan pa lang at saka JJ Manlangit. So, sino ang uh, last touch? Mukhang... In what we saw, parang dumaan kay Jason, pero maaaring nahawakan pa ni JJ. Pero? Pero alpha ball. Okay, so it's going to stay with the balls. One big stop if you're Terra Firma. They have less than 40 seconds here. So first game pa lang nila ito, dahil nga apat ng kumpunan sa pool C. Yeah. Mas may chance, ano, yung four teams, ano? I mean, you have three games. Yun nga, apat kayo dyan. Sa pool nyo, di ba? So, you just kahit mag one win and two, huwag ka mag zero three. Automatic out ka doon. Mag one win and two losses ka. Pag may kaparehas ka, then you check the scorecard. Yes. Di ba yung accumulated scores po natin? Yes. Ito check lang yan. Kung sino pinakamataas, yun po mag-advance sa ating quarterfinals. Siyempre, final eight yun. So, tatagatlo sa pool B and pool C, tapos dalawa sa pool A. Here we go, James. Yun yung mabigat, yun yung mabigat. Yes. 25 takes to go. Cedorifa goes in, kick out to Jeff. Jeff, out to Joseph. Shot na kanuan, Cedorifa. No. Good tap by Manday to Patino. Chicky like TNT, they just play with a lot of character. Kaya I'm talking about Terra Firma probably stealing one from this legitimate Meralco Bolt squad. Ten seconds to go, Patino. Holding on to that leather and a foul given up here by Taladua. Right, they just know what to do. I would say, <laughs> presence of mind in Jeff Mandai. Yeah. I was about to say, tapping that ball to Alfred Matinos. Those little things. This is what gives you the W's, di ba? Yun lang. Di na ako abot, pero tapik na lang. Di ba? Tapping it to a friend, a teammate. Open. Exactly. Three-point lead. And this is game. This is a two-possession advantage para sa bots. And 3.7 na natitira. So this is Meralco's free throws pa si Joseph Cedorita. Tayo umabot sa pitong team fouls ng Terra Firma, di ba? Dalawang free throws pa yan. This gentleman here hailing from Cebu. Pasok yung una. Joseph Dodong Cedorita. Pag ito na yung pasok niya, the 3.7 will no longer be played. Dahil 21 ang Meralco if he sinks this one in. Eh, Joseph Cedri, one of the top scorers dito sa ating 3x3. And there it is. And there you go. You did not jinx yourself. Yes, sir. 21-16, Menalco Bolts getting this one. 21-16, but wala ka namang itatapon sa laro ng Terra Firma. Ganda rin. Oh, well, hinahalin tulad natin ng Meralco Bolts sa mga, di ba, the TNTs, the Cabotex teams, the teams up there. The deadly scorers in Joseph Sadurima and uh, uh, Jeff Mandai. Nice collective effort, but the uh, best player can only be one. Isalam. And that is Joseph Sadurima with his eight points, four rebounds, terrific leadership.
magmula kay Joseph Cedoripa. Joseph Cedoripa, ang ating chosen best player of the game kasama ang Bumeralco Bolts. Nakangko sila ng panalo. Up next, Gavit X Braves. Concha Pioneer, last to seal katibay sa continuing coverage ng inyong 2023 PBA 3X3. Lakas ang tatlo. Samahan niyo po si Andre Ko and Coach Jude Roque. Paalam.
umaga. Magandang magandang hapon sa inyo lahat and welcome to the Ayala Mall Circuit Makati. Six games down, seven games to go dito sa leg one. Day one of the second conference, season three of the PBA 3X3. Magandang hapon sa inyo lahat. My name is Andre Ko, together with Coach Jude Roque. Good afternoon, Coach. Uh, Good afternoon. And we're back. Yes, uh, very exciting uh, first day of the uh, second conference of Ayan. season three. And again, okay. napaka, <laughs> oh, diba, nagbabalik tayo after a, quite a long break. But of course, napakaganda ng basketball natin. Uh, for the first six games, as I said, meron pa tayong pitong laro dito sa ating day one of leg one. And take, let's take a look, Coach, at the standings ng ating Pool A, where three teams are in Pool A, Blackwater, Cavitex, and Pioneer. Yes, as we can see in the team standings, Blackwater with one win and one loss. Cavitex with one win and uh, Pioneer with one loss. So, makikita natin yung mga points din ng bawat kapunan. And these two teams are going up against each other for their second game of the day. Cavitex Braves against the Pioneer Elastisir Katibais. But let's take a look at the Cavitex Braves and their last conference. Napakaganda ng kanilang uh, first conference dito sa Season 3, Coach Duke. Yes, of course, uh, they, they got uh, first place in the first conference. Ayan, uh, makikita natin. And, uh, maganda yung achievements nila and they seem to be getting better diba, as the, the season uh, progresses. Kaya maganda for them. Ang dami nga nilang uh, runners-up. Second place sila nung uh, leg 6 and in the grand finals. Pero punta naman tayo po sa Pioneer Elastosil Katibay. They had a couple of uh, second place finishes. Dun sa Season 3 First Conference in Legs 3 and 5. But a quarter finalist rin po sila. Season 3 First Conference Grand Final. So alam natin, mabigat rin talaga tong Pioneer Elastos ni Katibais. That's true. No? Maganda yung roster nila and uh, they have some uh, additions also. At uh, same thing, no? they, they seem to be getting better uh, sa season. But of course, uh, Cavitex Braves with Tonino Gonzaga, Joy and Paul. See, they're the guys that are, we're going to take a look at. But a uh, name that's not on the list, dahil na draft siya, ay si Dominic Fajardo. Yes, that's true. Six-time leg winner. So he has the experience and uh, he has shown that he is one of the, the pillars of this team. At uh, yun nga, nabanggit mga na na-drop siya noong nakarang uh, PBA draft. And Dominic Fajardo hailing from Bulacan. Yan, mga... Bulacan from Bulacan State University. Congratulations to Dominic Fajardo who got drafted to the PBA. But right now, we're going to be uh, taking a break as we're going to be starting our game in a short while.
Here we go. Moving on to our next game. Yep. To bring you more excitement for today. Leg one, day one, palaman tayo. And ang ating dalawang teams on the floor right now. Unahin muna natin pakilala Cavitex Baroy. From McCollin City, Jersey Zero, Tornado Gonzaga. From Santa Barbara, Pangasinan, number seven, Marion Magat. From Daragal Boy, number 15, Jordan Napolis. From Baguio City, number 17, Ken Ighalo. Coach of Capitex Braves, Coach Kyle Slow. And they're going to be doing battle versus Pioneer Elas to Seal Katibas. From Tala, number six, Reggie Moreno. From Kalatagan Bataga, number 10, Enric Kaunan. From Marikina City, number 23, Ken Mokon. From San Pablo, Laguna, number 28, Dennis Villamore. Coach of Pioneer, La Cecil Catiba, it's Coach Lester Del Rosario. And a referee, Kenny Halik and Ovet Leggy. PBA 3X3 is back. This is your courtside reporter, Ayana Perlas. Now, for the Cavitex, Cavitex Braves, of course, they scored 22-13 to 13 against Blackwater earlier. And honestly, head coach Kyle Slau mentioned that it might have just been a lucky game for them. He was not expecting them to play that well. But hopefully, it served as a wake-up call for them to be more consistent in the next games to come. Now, all, all they did today to come out successful was try out new 3X3 combinations, have an actual good mindset, and focus in the game as much as possible. It's Cavitex Brave taking on Pioneer Elastasil Katibas in five, four, three, X3, PBA, La Paz, not the floor. And again, Salata no, no, no. Welcome back to the PBA 3X3. And catch the PBA 3x3 season, three second conference, live and on demand on Filipinas Live app. Anytime, anywhere, download and subscribe now for only 149 pesos per month. Again, good afternoon, everybody. As Jory Napolis hits on his first layup. Kasama niyo po ngayon hapon. On they go together with Coach Jules Roque. Mainit ang panimula ng ating uh, dalawang kupo na, Coach. Yes, Villa uh, Moore just hit a, a two-point shot. So, great start for Pioneer. Kailangan nila bumawi. They lost uh, earlier this morning. Oh, that's back-to-back -back twos for uh, Pioneer. So, what a great start. That's an early four-point lead para dito sa Pioneer. Dito pa naman, check for Villa Moore. Tigan pa, four-point goal for Cavitex. And kanina, Coach, pinag-uusapan natin na nawanan sila one of their pillars nito Cavitex Braves in uh, Dominic Fajardo. Kita alam yes. naman natin, he was a big part of why they were runners-up in that last conference. How does changing yung ganong isang tao lang mawawala sa team? Does that change the chemistry of a team already? Well, yes. no, Malaking uh, effect, especially if you don't have a very long time to prepare. Alam naman natin tong uh, PBA 3X3, tuloy-tuloy ito eh, no? Napaka-ikli nung break. And um, of course, in the sport of 3X3, it's not so much uh, tactical, no? It's, it's more on reading your teammates, yung magkaamuyan, no? Kung tawagin. So malaking bagay si Dominic. Alam naman natin the intangibles that Dominic Pajardo oh. does for this team. Sorry, miss. Para dito sa Pioneer, last to see Kadiba. So after a hot start, both teams have been cold in their last few possessions. Pero, syempre for 3x3, sabi natin, Coach, malaking kawalan si Dominic. Pero, congratulations kay Dominic Pajardo dahil yes. na-draft siya along with another, a lot of other 3x3 players na umangat sa 5 on 5 Yes, actually, a lot of them um, got known dito sa 3x3, no? Some of them, uh, kumbaga, they made a name for themselves, eh, dito sa 3x3, eh, di ba? So, nakatulong yon sa pag-drop sa kanila. 
na nakita sila sa radar nga ng mga 5.5 yes. teams as Kennedy Cajo gets the second chance opportunity to drop. Morido takes the contact. Wow. Oh. At sabi nila, Morido did not clear. You have to have two feet outside the three-point area. Morido isang paalang ay nilabas. And going back to your point, though, Coach, about the 3 xp kita natin, not both feet set outside. A lot of the three extreme players na draft sila to the five on five, so it's really uh, no, a valid or a really good venue for you to showcase your skills. Yes. No? Para ma draft ka sa five on five. Plus, yung PBA three x three is very competitive. Eh. So, kung minsan di lang naman yung skills ang tinitik na ng coaches, they're looking at the the heart, the passion, di ba? And dito sa three x three, you can see all players are very passionate with their with the way they play. Okay, nahahasa ka talaga dito sa physicality oh, oh. ng PBA 3X3. Bako pagdating sa 5x5, wow! Yes. Ang sarap dito. <laughs> Tsaka yung, yung competitive spirit, Andre, no? dito makikita mo, Correct. hindi ka pwede pumetik sa 3x3 because it's a 10-minute game. So talagang buhos ka. Every time you step on the floor, you give your 100%. And it looks really good. So if you're a uh, coach scouting for a new player, May kita mo sa kanila yung puso talaga nila when they play. And meanwhile, other players such oh, as nice this play. guy, Ighalo and Napoles, mga ano na had made a name for themselves. Yes. Here at PBA 3x3, kung baga sinonymous na sila, to si Jory Napoles, for TNT, Alcon Vosotros. At uh, kita naman natin, Morido. Even ito si Kenneth Mokon, who Kenneth just uh, scored well. on a layup. He was a long-time part of our Team B sa San Beda. Of course, he's the older brother of JB Mokon ng Phoenix. Pero dito, mas nakilala siya sa 3x3. Because uh, bagay sa kanya, is very aggressive, he's quick. So, yung ganun. And there's some players who are out of place sila sa... Parang you don't know what to place them in 5.5. Are they a 3? Are they a 4? Are they a 2? Pagdating yes. sa 3x3, that doesn't matter. You, you have to play uh, multiple positions. So, oh, tama ka doon, Andre. So, a player like Jory Napoles, kaya siya perfect for this, ano, matangkad, can dribble the ball. He yeah. has a lot of skills as well. Can shoot from the outside. As well as this guy, William Moore, had two early. As we saw, a couple of attempts. At unti-unti, coach, gumapag ng pabalik sa larong ito, ang Cavitex. Yes. Well, they're the, the more seeded team in this matchup. Of course, na bakit nga natin kanina, di ba, earlier that uh, they have a great record here sa PBA 3x3. So, mas experience itong team ng NLEX. I mean, ng Cavitex. Of course, they're being led by this guy. Nice. Look at that. experience. Yes. Jory Napoli is drawing the foul. Yes. Yung mga ganun moves, um, you can easily develop that in a 3x3 game because, uh, first of all, you get a lot of touches. And then you get a lot of opportunity for one-on-one -on -one moves. Ayan, kagaya niyan. Na-develop ni Jore yan. Kakalaro dito sa PBA 3x3. And I really posted about that also on my social media coach. I was talking about how the 3x3 is like one of the best ways to get into the 5 on 5 na now. And I think more more players should be excited to play. Diba? Makita natin dito sa 3x3. Tama ka doon, Andre. Actually, I'm very happy that uh, the PBA uh, is really supporting the 3x3 game because it's it's also a growing sport uh, internationally. Nagiging na recognized na oh, sa Asian Games yes. with 3x3 na. They're already talking about it sa Olympics. Yes. Kasi para for a while, it was a... Uh, I don't know what the exact term is. Was it an exhibition sport? Parang yes, ganun parang siya. ganun lang siya. But exhibition now, sport, yes. I think they're considering already to put to put it in as a medal sport already dahil kita naman natin how it's grown yes. throughout the world. This is why I hope also on the grassroots level, ma develop on 3x3. I hope even in the barangay level, they start uh, doing a lot of 3 on 3x3. Tournaments. Kami sa kanto dati, Coach. Maraming 3x3. Ay, marami. <laughs> oh. Kaya lang yun, walang rules eh. Ito kasi meron kakaibang rules on 3x3. Very different from uh, 5 on 5. It's actually a totally, almost a totally different game sometimes yes, when you watch it. Yes, it is. Yes. Which is why we'd like to have more organized 3x3 tournaments. The younger. Yes. Para they, they are familiar with the rules, yung mga ganon. Importante. That's a very good idea, no? lalo na for basketball in the Philippines. And you can't just, you can't have enough basketball in the Philippines. Oh, wala. Dito sa... Ooh. Ooh. That's a tough fall. Na, nadulas si Igalo. 
And you know, like for for instance, uh, countries like Mongolia, they were never considered a basketball powerhouse. Pero pagdating sa 3x3, they're one of the best in the world, no? So nagfocus sila sa 3x3. So pwede yun eh, pwede yung ganon na uh, specialization. Alam naman natin the dominant countries like Serbia, in the 3x3, and yes. a lot of the European countries. Bokon kicks it out. Kabalikay Bokon. So things have been uh, slowing down the pace here after a really hot start by both teams. Two point lead for the Pioneer. Gonzaga wow. drives inside. And uh, Torino Gonzaga continues to score for Gavitex. Well, once, once he gets that first big step, no, iiwan ka na ni Tonino, especially when he goes to the left. Tonino gets blocked by Halo. Napoles, okay, Gonzaga. Tonino attacking Bokon, takes the contact, can't tie the game. Sa kanya pa rin babalik. Put back goes inside. Para yes. Tonino Gonzaga. Sayang yun, no? that would have been a good defense by Bokon kasi he forced Tonino to his weak side, eh, sa right. Meanwhile, Morino makakabawi. Good defense, but the foul is called on uh, Reggie Morino. And uh, quick break time, 444, first time out. As uh, Jory Napoles, we've been talking about this guy. And uh, as I said, Coach, aside from Alpon Vosotros, I think Jory Napoles is like the other face of PBA 3x3. That's right. Sobrang ganda ng nilalaro ni Jore and he's had international experience too as part of the bronze medalist in the SEA Games. And then, uh, yun, um, you know, if he continues to play like this, teams from the PBA will, will start looking at him. Kasi maganda yung height niya, plus he can play outside and inside. And you know, I think people have already, I'm sure... Pwede na pang paibon, paibon ulit ang story. Oh, oh, Pero oh, oh. parang nakahanap siya ng uh, his home here. Yes. His comfort level here in the PBA 3x3. Napakarami lang talaga ang players na magagaling dito sa Pilipinas. Eh. Hindi kasha sa mga teams ng PBA. But uh, there's really a lot of talent and Jore is certainly one of them. Uh, look at that. Nice post move inside. Tied the ball game at 8. Balik ang bola sa Cavitex. Trying to take advantage of their size. Kita naman natin size advantage. Ighalo missing. Sa kanya pa rin babalik. Drops nice. it off. Beautiful play for Cavitex. Yes. Well, you're right also. Cavitex really has a, a big size advantage in this matchup. Ang ganda ng height nila eh. That doesn't go in. Cavitex, meanwhile, after being down by four early in this game, up by one. Magat inside and again in the size advantage of yes. Magat. Nara recognize nila do, you know, they're really looking at the mismatches here. You can mistake Magat for Napoles when you look at them on the court. Oh. Mas matangkad lang na, lang kaunte si Magat kay Napoles. But very similar build. And again, Cavitex, one of the favorites here. Higher seeded team against Pioneer last week at Device. 10 to 8, 343 remaining in this first game. For this seventh game, I mean, first game para sa ating coach. Pero yes. seven, pumpito na to today. Galo inside, Maga shows us the jumper, short. William Moore, atake, kicks it out. Morido, Morido can't tie the game. Yun, sayang yung mga wide open shots na yun. Ooh, big shot! Everything Halo drains the three. Yes, and that wasn't open. He was contested by Morido. Nice move. That's inside by William Moore. Zaga looking for Ighalo. They go under the screen one more time. Ighalo almost. Morido babawi sa tres. Yes, finally a uh, two-point shot for Morido again. Zaga with a crossover. Nabitawan ng bola. Dito sa 3x3, hindi ka pwedeng pumikit eh, no? <laughs> Ang bilis ng action, Andre. Again, pagka pasok pala ng bola, quick kick out to oh. the outside. It's Morito, training his first two-pointer of the game. But that's why it's very exciting. That's why um, it it's great for fans to come here, watch the games live. Talagang 
non-stop action. Ano gusto ko talaga na sa mall tayo. So we bring the action yes, to the yes. fans. And as you can see on the screen right now, we have a lot of fans of our teams already watching us here in Ayala Mall Circuit Makati. Kaya mga nag enjoy ng basketball natin dito. And nakikilala rin itong mga 3x3 players. Yes, yes. Tsaka maraming mga former players that they come to to just to watch, ayan, makikita natin. Nagpapahinga no? today, Gian Abrigo, yes. a pioneer not in the lineup for this leg. Ayan, isa pa yan, mga exciting players sa uh, 3x3, si Abrigo. Meanwhile, oh. agawang bola, Morido can't get the bucket, but he gets fouled. Yes. And he will shoot for one. Sayang yun, no? Bonus uh, free throw sana. But anyway, that was uh, still a good play. Uh, ganda nung seal ng Morido, eh, using his wide body Plus, he has the space to operate inside. So, one shot for Reggie Morido. Ooh, in and out. And sa mga hindi nakakaalam, minsan, nakakapanibago rin because the ball is a bit smaller yes. than the 5-on-5 five five ball. So, mga iba, a lot of players have to get used to that ball. Minsan, akala mo, shoot na sa, sa normal ball. Pero dito, lumalagpas eh. Correct. <laughs> Morido, putting on the moves. Ooh! Try to draw the foul. Ooh, they do! He does draw the foul against Napoles. Well, smart move by Morido. Napakagat niya si Napoles doon, no? Sayang, but it, it would have been great defense already by NLEX. They, they're allowing the one-on-one. -on -one. There's no help defense. Kumbaga, siya challenge yung one-on-one uh, -on -one defense ni Napoles. Pero kumagat siya sa fake ni Morido. Let's see if that's two shots or more ilalabas. Oh, they say that the clock expired first oh. before the ball. Yeah, babalik sa kabitek sa ball. Oh, so very, big break. Very unfortunate for uh, Pioneer. That's a big break for uh, Kavitex. Pero ito, they turn the ball over trying to get uh -oh. the ball inside to Magat. Yes, great top by uh, Kenneth Mokon to force that turnover. And uh, this is still a very close uh, ball game. Only one point separating the two teams. And we have, we've had overtimes already today. Oh. TNT and uh, McFasolver earlier had an overtime game. Look at wow. that move, William Moore. Everything but the shot. Oh, spin move yun, no? A la Kobe. What a move by William Moore. Oh. And that's a move that we used to not see from Dennis William Moore. We, we know he's more of a big guy when he started dito sa 3x3. Pero ngayon, kita mo, may mga ganun galaw na si Villamor. Yun eh. Kailangan mo i-develop talaga, Andre. If you want to to uh, prolong your career in the 3x3, kailangan mo mag-develop ng skills. Jore, look at that. Putting on the moves. Layup over Villamor. Jore has that quickness na mahirap talaga ang sabayan eh. Morito naman. Showing us the smarts, stopping on a dive, taking a contact, and gets the layup. Ighalo, he may pass up. Akanyan dos, William Moore, third one. Doesn't go for William Moore. Action picking up here. Nice, nice. pass inside. Magat, easy oh. shot inside. Miscommunication on the defense by Pioneer. Short for Morido. Two-point lead for sa Cavitex. A bit over a minute remaining in this ball game. The ball is nagiinit na dito oh. against the free line, free throw line jumper to go. And this is now the biggest lead of the Braves. Morido, short na naman para kay Morido. He's been off the mark in this game. Medyo pagod na yung Pioneer and uh, yung Cavitex. Yung same intensity ng defense is there, no? So Pioneer. Having a hard time getting the open looks. And again, mas malalaki tong Cavitex. The height Correct. really a factor against Pioneer. Malalaki at mahaba at Ooh. athletic pa. Another great play. Very similar to what happened earlier. Oh, good. Sidestep wow. by Kenneth Mokon. Bawian dito ang bawat kupunan. Gonzaga inside. Everything but the layup for Tonino. Babawi naman. Mokon. Oh. Dinukot sa kabila. Pinahirapan. Nice. This time, drops it off, and that's a tip dunk. Para dito sa Pioneer. Grabe yung energy ni Kenneth Mokon dito. Pero ito na nga, not a lot of time left for Pioneer. Jory can put on the pressure with a score here, oh. and he gets the banker. Yes. 
big shot by uh, Napoles. And Mokon air balls that last attempt, and that might be the ball game. Take a look at this. Nice crossover and drop pass. And they get that easy tip dunk, pero Napoles. This might be the nail in the coffin in this ball game for Jory Napoles. Mokon has to foul. Well, it was a great start by the Pioneer Elasto Seal in this game. No, parang kinapos na lang ng huli because of the high intensity game. Uh, they got a little tired towards the end. No, nagkaroon ng miscommunication on defense, and do nagkaroon ng caution itong uh, Cavitex. And it's penalty situation. Mokon has no choice but to foul Gonzaga. Ball shoot two. But coach, 5.9 seconds remaining. Not a lot of time for Pioneer. Yes. Mahirap ng uh, makabangon pa dito ang uh, Pioneer. But again, it was a much better showing than uh, their earlier game. So they're getting better, So which is a good sign for Pioneer Elastosil. But a disappointing first day for them. They're going to go down 0-2 yes. today. As uh, Gavitex wins this one as they let time run off. That doesn't count para kay Mokon. And dyan ang tatapos ang uh, larong ito. Gavitex Braves comes from behind and dominates by the Elastosia Katibais in this game. 18-14. to 14. I think na natin ang ating best player of all game. Kenneth Ikhalo with an all-around performance here in this ballgame post shoot. Yes, a big step up uh, from Kennedy Gallo, 6.6 .6 rebounds. Of course, he, he was elevated from the reserve list, so lifting his team uh, to get the W today. Great job. Player out of uh, Papua, Kennedy Gallo. Congratulations. Best player of the ball game, and up next, we have more basketball coming your way. Makasolver Tech Central against Northport Batafier. Dito lang yan sa PBA 3x3, lakas ng tatlo. Babalik tayo dito sa PBA 3x3. Lakas ng tatlo. Okay, we have our eighth game of the day. Makasolver Tech Central going up against the North Port Batang Pierre. Tingnan natin ang Pool B. Makasolver losing their game against TNT. Overtime game yun. Meanwhile, North Port also losing the first game against San Miguel. And uh, kita natin, one of the tougher groups dito sa ating uh, leg one day one. Yes, it is uh, one of the tougher groups. In fact, sinabi mo nga kanina, yung MACFA Solver, which is a new team, uh, lost in overtime to the top team, yung TNT. Ganon na uh, kaganda yung group na yan. At ito na nga, MACFA Solver Tech Central against more for Batang Pier. Let's turn it over right now to our marker for our lineups. And now, introducing the two teams starting with... Macfasolo Tech Central! 
from Lubao Pampanga, number two, Brandon Ramirez. From Bungi Loco Sorte, number seven, DH to Malip. From Antipolo, number eight, Nico Salva. From Casa City, number 32, Yutian Andrada. Coach Matt Fasolva, Tech Central, Coach Anton Altamirano. Going up against Northport Bottom Pierre. From Montaneta, Pangasina, number four, John Bowser. From Tagbila, on Sunday, number eight, Dexter Zamora. From Bulacan, number 11, Dwayne Cabasho. From Kesson City, number 26, J.R. Alabanza. Coach of Northport, Bata Pierre, Michael Oliver. And our referees, Charlie Amparado and Carlo Vergara. For the MACFA solvers, it was a close game against TNT Tropang Giga, pero proud and satisfied pa rin si head coach Anton Altamirano. According to coach, hopefully that game would be a wake-up call for them to show their true skills kasi alam naman nila that they are more than prepared as a 3x3 team, most especially after competing in Cebu for another 3x3 international conference. They experience more pace, more physicality, which means they are more than prepared for today. MACFA solver, Tech Central versus... Northport, Batman Pierre, in five, four, three, and three, PBA, lock up, lock up, and catch the PBA 3x3 Season 3, Second Conference, live and on demand on Filipinas Live app anytime, anywhere. Download and subscribe now for only 149 pesos per month. As Salva misses on the first shot from the outside. But we'll get the point your coach just said Ayana in her report that uh, they competed in Cebu Masters. This uh, Macfa Solver with this lineup. And magandang tune up yun for PBA 3x3. Oh yes. Uh, it always helps no, if you have uh, sort of a pre-season tournament. Kasi nagkakaroon ng experience yung team. And uh, to play together competitively, that helps a lot. Especially with this team losing uh, one of their uh, big players in uh, Datu. Yes. Alam naman natin yung line of Very familiar faces, Salva, Andrada, Tumalim. They had Datu with that last conference. But now being replaced by Ramirez. So again, magandang uh, experience yun. Let's see. They competed well against the defending champions. So tingnan natin yung papakita nila dito. Well, they have a, a very tall team. No? Si Nico Salva being one of the shorter guys in the team. So that's that's a pretty tall team. Kasi yung uh, new guy nila, ito, papasok sa loob si Brandon Ramirez, is pretty big too. Is tall maybe, and wide. Tall and wide, <laughs> yes. Plus he can shoot from the outside. This guy can shoot. They were running plays for him to shoot from the outside in that last game. Yes. Kita natin. Very highly skilled to si Ramirez. And very mobile as well. But matatawag siya dito ng foul. Ito yung coach na tinatabihan ko. Pag, pag na-drive sa akin, hindi ko nababantayan, coach. <laughs> <laughs> Oo. Oh. Parang, parang masakit eh. Parang si, ano, um, si Tonino. Ganun. Like Tonino. Lapat-lapat na like Alfred bilis. Like Alfred Patino. Mga ayaw oh. harangan pag drive sa akin sa loob. And I love that he's switching on to the smaller guy. In the, but look at that! Layup goes in for Northport. So, Jen, naman ang advantage ni Dexter Zamora, yung speed niya no, against uh, a bigger defender. Take a look at this. Dinukot sa ilalim. Zamora not allowing Ramirez to catch up. Yes, but very short stint for Ramirez. He now goes to the bench uh, for Tomale. Oh, nice play. Oh, that's a trademark play of oh. Coach Anton Altamirano. Pero makakabawi ka agad dito. Capacho gets that shot to go. Early fouls being called on both teams. Of course, advantage kasi ang galing mamasa ni Nico Salva eh, is one of the the smarter uh, you know combo players that we have. Talagang kita niya yung mga libre. Plus also the Macfa Solver team has good spacing all the time, so it's easier to pass the ball. And here's Nico Salva once again. 
They go to Ramirez inside. That's going to be a foul of Papasha. So referees calling it early. Both teams two fouls in the first two minutes. Well, not easy to guard Ramirez at the post. No, sabi mo nga napakalapad eh. Parang uh, football player. Oh, they read that pass from Salva perfectly. Tomale, meanwhile, gets the basketball against Zamora. Iigo Tomale nice. uses the right. Well, he's got a, a size advantage over Dexter Zamora. So, tama yung ginawa niya. Oh, that's no, Zamora. Nabawihan siya. Ginamit yung uh, balikat. Yes. Nice strong move by Zamora inside Ramirez. Dalawa na kabantay. Oh. And he gets fouled. Again with a great pass from Nico Salva. I mean, Nico, whenever he he has the ball, his, his first look is always his teammates. Who's open, who's rolling inside. But he's got offensive skills as well. So hindi siya madaling bantayan because he's, he's so smart. Nico Salva, one of those players, coach, that you can't speed up. No, he plays at his own pace all the time. Meanwhile, wow, Ramirez gets his own rebound, spins, and puts the basket back home. Yes, so strong, Brandon Ramirez getting his own miss from the free throw line, and then uh, scoring on a putback. Look at this. Sa kanya mo magsakabola, inikutan. Oh, oh. Gets the Parang ang bigat, no? But that spin was a pretty quick uh, move. And I have to say, Coach, uh, Ramirez makes Alabanza small. And Alabanza is not a small player. He's not. He's about 6'6". <laughs> six, six. But beside Ramirez, parang nawawala si uh, J.R. Alabanza. Oh, oh. <laughs> and speaking of tall guys, Yutin Andrada, also one of the taller players here. Tomalip steps back. shoots a lefty. Two-pointer is good for T.H. Tomalip. A top shot from Tomalip, but it went in. Nice move by JR. Ooh, Tomalip gets the rebound. Wala na kabantay kay Tomalip. Andrada hands it off to Malip. Same spot. Ramirez shoots a two. Laya Andrada is there. Can't get the basket. Zamora. And I have to say, Coach, Usually, sa PBA 3x3, medyo pinapakawala ng physicality. Eh. Yes. But in this ball game, we see that the referees are really calling it a bit close dahil medyo nagkakagiitan talaga itong mga players. Yes. Natin. Wag lang excessive, wag lang to the point na talagang magkakasakitan or mag-aaway because we don't wanna see that either, no? But yes, it's more physical in the 3x3 game because of the urgency nung laro. Kasi nga 10-minute game eh. So, alam mo yun, everybody's uh, in high gear. Kaya nagiging ganun. As we saw Kapasho shoot over to Malib. Salva kicks it out. TH. One more time, no. Rebound. Pupunta dito. Fourth court. Kapasho. Against Salva. Kapasha's been playing well. Puts the ball on the floor. Look at the defense of TH Tumalip. And TH Tumalip, one of the top blocking players in PBA uh, Tricks. In the top shot blocking guard. Small guy, para dito sa PBA uh, Tricks 3. Plus, teammate niya si Yutian Andrada, who is one of the best shot blockers. And kita mo naman, he just blocks that shot oh, oh. by Kapasha. Five four, close game, no scoring affair in this ball game. Ramirez crossover. Look at that ball handling skills of Ramirez. Na bitaw ng bola, but he gets called. He gets the foul call. Alabanza not happy. Pagkita ng team foul nyan ng Northport. Ito, may kita natin sa replay yung sinasabi mong ball handling skills ni Brandon Ramirez. No? Very um, uh, deceiving yung kanyang build kasi. No? It's looking like he's just an inside operator. But, uh, but actually, this guy played uh, uh, small forward and big forward uh, during his college days in Toronto, sa Canada. I almost recruited this guy. Eh. Hindi lang natuloy. Uh, but yeah, he, he can really shoot. He, can, he has a small small man skills 
ball game now. Tied at six after that big two pointer by Northport. Look at that. He has a good looking shot as yes. well. Dila may pasok yun. Zamora against Andrada using that speed. Zamora, yung malang na ipit. Miscommunication turnover. Good defense by Union. Oh, sayang no. Ang ganda sana nung uh, idea ni Dexter Zamora that that was a good bounce pass. Hindi lang na timing yung cut ni um, of Northport down low. That was Bauzon. Bauzon, yes. Trying to sneak it inside. Pumaba kasi yung book ni Bauzon. <laughs> Shorter dati. Oh, oh. And again, we're so happy, Coach, to be back. Basketball took a break a bit. Hindi naman break, never naman nag-break ang basketball sa Pilipinas. Oh, oh. But the PBA and other leagues took a break. But now... Everything, all the college leagues, PBA yes. is back. Actually, we, we took a break for uh, a higher stage in basketball, oh. which is the Asian Games and the World Cup, of course. What a great hosting of the World Cup, di ba? Ang galing, uh, very impressive. Pero so, tuloy-tuloy ang basketball. Yung pinakita natin sa China dahil nag-goal, ang gilas naman doon. Oh, yes, yes, <laughs> certainly, certainly. Uh, we're back as the, the top Asian team. In basketball. After 61 years. Grabe, no? Ganun katagal. Hindi ko rin na, na uh, realize na ganun na pala katagal sa Asian Games. Oh, a nice screen from Alabanza. Napaku dun. Mamakas over. Oh, Lamides wow. gets taken out. What a block by Alabanza. Yes, great timing by JR Alabanza. Ang haba din kasi ng kalamay ni JR. Take a look at this, Ramirez. Drives Alabanza. Putata! No, clean block upstairs. Wow. What great action we're seeing here. Good defense by both teams. 7 to 6. Ambaba na scoring natin dito. Uh -oh. But almost all the games today, uh, in, in this morning, and daming close games. Two overtime games. Diba puro ticket ticket. And now we're seeing another great game. Take a look at this. This was the. Launch of the Macfast Solver PBA 3x3 team. At uh, again, coached by Coach Anton Altamirado. Yes. Full si force sila kayo dito. Oh nga. Si Coach Anton Altamirado has become a specialist, no? Sa 3x3 basketball. Of course, his father, Coach Eric, was uh, a former PBA uh, head coach. At nakakasama rin natin dito sa PBA yes. as a panelist also. Coach, coach E? I don't want to say that I'm with Coach E. I'm not going to say that. for a while. Oh, coach okay. E. Actually, I'm going to train with Coach E. Oh, for diba? sure. For na sure. Coaches na nga eh. Nico Salva, of course, who's on the floor right now, is one of them. Okay, let's see that. Oh, great block. What a block. Alabanza showing us some great defense in this game. Paubos na rin kasi yung oras eh. So Nico had to take that shot. Capasho. Capasho. Floater. No. Rebound. Andrada. Two-point lead pa rin para sa North Ford. Salva has been quiet offensively. They go to Tumalim. Tumalim na is fake. Tabitao ng bola. Sa kanya pa rin. Has to put it up. Tumalim almost get the one-legged shot to go. Ganda pinapakita dito, Kapasho inside. Nice. Kapasho seals to Malib and gets it to go. What a steal by Pauzon. Energy going the side of North oh. Ford. And they foul Kapasho on the two. Yes, two free throws pa. So slowly, North Ford is pulling away here. They're up by three already after a very tight uh, game. Kapasyo, alam naman natin yung pamilya rin ng mga Kapasyo. A lot oh, of uh, good basketball players in that, uh, in that family. Yes. Magkapatid nga sila dati, magkakampi pa sila dito sa Northport. Of course, the, their dad, si Coach Glenn Kapasyo. Uh, also, one of the PBA greats. Exactly, alam natin yan. But now, syempre, it's Quinn and Gab Kapasyo playing sa 3x3. Yuti and Andrada nice inside. Move. Oh, sayang. Five-point lead by North Ford. Sense of urgency right now para sa Macpasolver. 
Bauzon contra Tumalip. Sumamit sa ere. No rebound, Tumalip. Ramirez shoots a three. He's been trying. Masyado malakas. That's going to be a foul against North Court. So both teams on the verge of penalty sa PBA 3x3 or sa 3x3 in general. Pagdating na pang pitong foul, two free throws na yun. Yes, that's true. So this is now a comfortable five-point lead no, for Northport. Kaya medyo may urgency na on the part of uh, Macfa Solver. Kaya they're trying to, to take more two-point shots. Salva, wow. look at that. That's uh, one of his uh, Kobe-like moves. Yes. Paborito player naman yun, Vigo <laughs> Salva. Zamora, want to shoot. Does he get it wow. off? That counts for Zamora. Na double na ng score dito ng uh, Macfa Solver. They're really struggling on offense. Ramirez powers himself inside. Alabanza, five seconds on the shot clock. This has been their man so far. Zamora makes oh, the big wow. two. That was against uh, Nico Salva. Makapawi dito, Ramirez, Zamora, one more time. Thought about it. What was that? Take the contact and the basket. Wow. Zamora taking over this game. Yes. So after that big two-point shot, he follows it up with another great uh, drive here, and then he gets a bonus free throw pa off that foul by Brandon Ramirez. Ang matindi dito, coach. Penalty na. So this is going to be two shots yes. for Zamora. And that this burst might be uh, the burst that Northport needed to take care of this ball game. Yes, it might be enough no, with, with the limited time that we have. So what a big run staged by Northport. More specifically, by Zamora alone. <laughs> oh, oh. But it all started with the defense of JR Alabanza. Exactly. No? Remember those two back-to-back -back blocks? Tumalip, shoots from the outside. Hindi talaga makaharap na butas ang uh, magpa-solver from the outside. Oh, it's just pa. not their day so far. Oh, oh. Andrada gets a putback to fall. Zamora again, he's cooking right now. And he gets fouled by Salva. That's going to be two shots more for Dexter Zamora. Well, that's a, a mismatch in terms of speed. And Dexter Zamora knows this. Uh, no matter how good Nico Salva is defensively, he's just not quick enough to, to defend him outside. And that may be the weakness of this Macfa Solver team. No? They have the size. But they don't have usually the quickness. Yes. Especially without their reserve players in Louis Vigil, in Ayl Banal. Medyo na walang sila ng guardia dito sa Correct. lineup nila. Correct. Yun. Tama ka doon. Kasi si Tumalip lang talaga ang legit na guard dito sa roster na to. Take a look at that. Fourth fourth. I haven't seen them dominate a game as much as uh, they did today in this ball game. And this is uh, against a really good team in Bakpa Solver. At naubusan na ng oras dito, but they get the steal to Mali. Back-to-back layup. This is good for TH. There's some mini rally here being staged by uh, Mac Pasolver. But if you're Northport, all you gotta do is use up some time here. But they turn the ball over again. Salva for two. Salva makes the oh. two! So pwede pa, mahabol pa. Oh, that's an offensive foul, sabi nila, against Zamora. So the ball will hit back to Macfa Solver. So may oras pa dito. Oh. Simple, simple na naman kailangan gawin dito ng Macfa Solver. Go make shots. <laughs> yes. Well, that was a big uh, two-point shot by Nico Salva. Because if that had missed, medyo malabo na ang pag-asa nila dito. But that shot gave them a chance here. There's a slight opening pa sa bukas pintuan. Bukas pa ng konti. Yes, bukas pa. Pwede pa yan. There's a timeout call on the floor. What a big shot by Nico Salva, who's been quiet for most of this game offensively. Parang he's uh, relegated himself to setting up his team. Yes. But ngayon, kinakailangan nila yung offense niya. Penalty well, situation for both teams. Oh, oh. Well, one thing going for teams that are behind, we only have a 12-second shot clock here. Eh. So talagang yung, yung team with the ball needs to rush a little bit. So there's time to make a comeback. 
and Ramirez really can't find the bottom of the net with those two point shots. Pero bola pa rin dito ng Mac Solver. And a penalty, they can actually choose to drive inside and might yes. get the foul call and stop the clock as well. We go back to Salva. Salva shoots a two. Nico, no, Ramirez inside. Powers his way through. That's going to be two shots for Brandon Ramirez. Well, those are, are important offensive rebounds. It gives you a chance in this game. So now you have to convert on your free throws. And that stops the clock as well. Yes. And pagdating ng pagsampung foul, that's going to be two shots plus possession. So let's see. Ramirez first has to make his free throws. The problem when you're behind in the 3x3 game is you you need to to make a quick shot. Hindi mo pwedeng gamitin yun all 12 seconds eh, kasi naghahabol ka. Especially when there's below one minute left in the game clock. Yung alang Ramirez missing on his two pointers. He gets the ball back. And what a steal! Of course, who gets the steal? It's Zamora who just leaves Ramirez in the dust. And that could be it, Andre. Wow! But Salva makes another two. Pero yung kukulangan sa oras dito. Yes. Ang makfasolver. Zamora, what a play! Ooh, Alabanza misses. Nico, Naipen, Ramirez shoots a two. That is good by Ramirez, making it a four-point game. But time is running out here. A little too late as Zamora finishes the game. And they still call a foul. So that should be two more shots dahil Na tawaga pa siya ng foul doon. Let's see if they make, make him shoot the two. Kasi importante yun, di ba? May scoring tayo. Yes. They count the total points allowed. Pero mukhang tinapos sa ilaro. And wow, what a ball game for this man on screen. Dexter Zamora taking care of Makfa Solver Tech Central. As he just dominates this ball game from start to finish. And Northport Batang Pierre with an impressive very impressive victory against uh, Makta Solver and 21 16. And our final score natin, Dexter Zamora. Let's take a look at his stats. Dahil kita natin, binuha talaga ni Opensa para dito sa Northport. Well, he was the one that initiated that big run no? from a close ball game. Siya talaga yung nagpalamang eh. So 14 points. Wow, 14 points. Of 21. Two, rebounds, two steals. <laughs> What a great job by Dexter Zamora. And high efficiency, 8 out of 10 from the field. Better move on na tayo sa susunod na laro. Pure Foods TJ Tyrants against Terra Firma. Coming up next, dito lang yan sa PBA 3x3. Lakas ng tatlo. Again, nandito po tayo sa Ayala Mall Circuit in Makati City as we have the 
day one, like one, second conference of this third season ng PBA 3x3, lakas ng tatlo. As we have another great matchup coming up next. As we take a look at Pool C, and dito Miracle of Pure Foods, but again, Ebra and Terra Firma, Coach Jude. Yes, uh, well, Pure Foods will be playing in this next game against Terra Firma. They had a big win earlier today. And yung Terra Firma naman, uh, natalo kanina, no? So, you can see there. This is also a pretty good uh, uh, group, no? Dito sa ating uh, 3x3. And we should look forward to another exciting game here. And yan na po ang next matchup natin. Pure Foods TJ Titans against the Terra Firma 3x3. Dito lang yan sa PBA 3x3. Lakas ng tatlo. Let's turn it over right now to Benji for our lineups. Another game that we are going to enjoy. And we got the two teams on the floor right now. Let's introduce first Pure Foods TJ Titans. From South Cotabato, number 10, Christian Lodrico Rivera. From Luciana Laguna, number 18, J.R. Flores. From Calamba Laguna, number 20, Christian Bunya. From Guagua, Pampanga, number 25, Martin. Gozel. Coach of Pure Food, CJ Titans, Coach Tony Boy Espinosa. And the other team on the floor, Terra Firma 3x3. From the Gupan Pangasina, number one, Jason D. From Marvel, South Cotabato, number seven, Gray Durandes. From Asin Loxambales, number 12, Jeremiah Talandua. From Romblon, number 20, Jordan Rios. Coach of Terra Firma, 3 Coach Raymond Tionco. And our referees, James Pies and Clarence Bautista. Two months off meant two months of hard training for the Terra Firma 3x3. Now, their game against Morocco may have been a tight one for them, pero ang dahil daw dito ay bago yung plays nila, bago yung sistema nila, and of course, yung playing style nila for this conference. Now, they want to try fastening the pace of their games because their team is currently focusing on their smaller players, and hopefully, as the games go by, they will be getting the hang of it. Pure Food CJ Titans! Terra Firma 3x3! It starts in 5, 4, 3x3! PBA! La Costa de And catch the PBA 3x3 Season 3, Second Conference, live and on demand on Filipinas Live app anytime, anywhere. Download and subscribe now for only 149 pesos per month. At ito, Pure Food CJ Titans coach against Terra Firma 3x3. Itong Pure Foods naman, sabi natin maraming na-draft sa 3x3. Ang kwento naman sa kanila, yung parang main player na Manila, bumalik, nakabalik sa 5 on 5 Talking about Joseph Eriobu. Yes, that's true. no So, of course, they had a great win uh, earlier. Kaya maganda rin ang, ano, ang uh, simula nitong uh, Pure Foods this uh, conference. Pero kita naman natin, one of their players, Christian Budiak, was also drafted in uh, the PBA draft this past month. So again, isa pa yung player na galing 3x3 na nagpakita rin ng gilas dito sa PBA 3x3 as uh, first two points goes to Terra Firma. Meanwhile, Pure Foods gets a layup. Inside naman, Doremdes using his power. Andre Doremdes makes that shot inside. Yes, Doremdes with a good size, no? Eh? Of course, this kid can shoot. But right now, he's, uh, he's showing us his uh, prowess from the inside. D gets the rebound. Back-to-back -back basket for Remdes, who's a splitting image, minus oh, the hair oh, of his dad. He's not the son of Kenneth Remdes. He's not the son of Kenneth Remdes. He's the son of Kenneth Remdes. Of course, uh, his father, the legendary Kenneth Remdes, one of the best ever scorers in the league. Terra Firma can't get the shot to go. Bunya gets the rebound. Go zoom sa labas. 
Shoots a two. Ties the game at four. Yes, great shot from the corner. Dees, titira sa labas. No. Rivera. Binalik kay Gozo. Wala na kabantay. Back to back. Gozo, no. Gozum, one more time. So, ganun kabilis, no? Lamang yung terra firma. But biglaan, just like that, Pure Foods now leads by one. Yes. It was a, a quick start by Terra Firma. Ganda nung opening play nila eh. Kaya lang uh, the energy of uh, Pure Foods has, has uh, allowed them to to get the lead here after just two minutes. Five to four, blistering start by both teams. Rivera shoots, almost makes it. Battle for the board. Terra Firma can't save it. Pure Foods looks like they're going to maintain possession. Rodrigo Rivera, the leader of this team now. Along with Bunya, Graflores, and Gozu. Graflores shoots from the outside. Ooh! Oh! Bango oh. para kay Raflores. Lunes nga naman, bukas talaga no. ang <laughs> Three-point lead now by oh, Pure great, Foods. Great shot fake by Taladua, but he misses the shot. That's a one-legged sidestep two-pointer attempt by Jeremiah Taladua. Take a look at this. Di ba tinatawag yan? Dapat sabihin mo na boarding. <laughs> yes. Hindi <laughs> daw counted pag di mo sinabi. <laughs> TJ Titans gets the basketball back. But Flores. It's a ball on the floor. Popostian si Duremde. Shoots a fade. No. Rebound. Talatua. D. Challenging Bunya. Bunya with the block. Well, not a good idea to drive against a much taller guy. What a shot by Duremdes, fading away. Shot clock expiring, makes it anyway. Shades of his dad, huh? Yung tira niya na yun. Bunyag wants to post up. They go to Gozu. Shot is good! Para kay Gozu! Oh! Duremdes tried to go for the... That was a wild layup. shot. Oh, wild shot yun. Take a look at this. The Flores. Wala ng oras for Gozum. Hand in his face. Beats the shot clock for two. Ball is with Terra Firma. Down by four. Medyo na pako na dito, coach. Terra Firma had a oh. two-point lead. Five to three. Giving up the 6-0 run to Pure Foods. Inside the Flores using that size and soft touch. Get the basket plus the foul. Yes, well, uh, mismatch on all three positions in terms of size, Andre. No, yung lalaki nung uh, Pure Foods TJ Titans dito. Eh. Talagan Titans sila. Living up to their name, eh, no? So, Rock Flores being the, the biggest of them and uh, using his uh, built to gain advantage dun sa poste. Even si Rivera has good size on him for a guard. Meanwhile, oh, yes. he has size. Ito si Tadaluwa. Trying to use that size. Missing. Putback is good. Para kay Rios. Sa Flores. Sa labas, wala na naman for Gozu. Inside. Nice passing para sa Terra Firma. Yes, and a great cut by Jordan Rios. Inside. Traveling ang matataw dito. Yes, Terra Firma just needs to, to make some good stops here. Uh, they have the... They have the talent, no? as we can see here, dito sa 3x3. May size dis disadvantage lang talaga sila. 
Talagang Zua inside. Oh. Talking about size. <laughs> Look at the physicality. Oh, Miranda oh, Zua yeah. and Rodrigo <laughs> Rivera. Meanwhile, Munya taking advantage of the smaller defender in Rios. Doremdes, binagigay Talandua, steps back, fades away, Talandua, no, rebound by Bunyag. Bunyag, aatake. Oh. Ooh. That's a blocking foul against Terra Firma. Yeah, I think he's lucky to get a blocking call there kasi he lowered his shoulder. Ayan, may kita natin, no? Pero gumagalaw. Gumagalaw kasi, kasi yeah, he, yun lang. Rios uh, should have uh, held this ground there. Good call by the referee. Mas nasaktan yung flooring natin doon. Oo. Oh. Kaysa sa kalila. <laughs> the Flores. To Rivera, driving against Rios. Look at the physicality. Losing control of the basketball. Binagay kay Rios. Rios against Rob Flores. Binalik. So Remdes leans in and gets the basket. Hindi sinasadya, no, yung pasa na yun. Pumito referee natin. Looks like they're gonna throw a warning against Dreyd Remdes. Dahil napatulo siya sa referee after that uh, shot. Oo, bawal yun. You cannot point a finger to the referee. Luckily, he did get called for uh, a technical. Are calling a technical foul. Yes. Against Dre Dorimdes. So. That, that's, ano eh, that's automatic Andre eh. Ganda pa naman ang pangalan niya. Oh. Si Andre <laughs> Oh nga. <laughs> but yes, that's automatic, no? In, in almost any uh, league. Any sport, whether, actually. Yeah, whether it's the PBA or the FIBA, nasa rules talaga yun that if you... If you point a finger to the referee, that's an automatic technical. That's something that uh, Terra Firma doesn't need right now. Yes. Dahil, uh, Pure Foods is inching closer to that magic 21-point mark. Oh, tsaka tatlo na lang yun lamang kanina. Ang laki nung hinabol nila. So sayang, bumalik sa apat. Inside, Bunyag. Ooh, Taladua looks like he hurt himself on that play, holding on to his right knee. Looks like he's okay. Shoots a two. Bunyag gets a rebound. Rivera putting on the moves. And we have another foul against Terra Firma. And again, if that's another foul on Terra Firma, pang anim na yan. Meanwhile, Pierfoot's TJ Titans, zero fouls in this ball game. Well, some urgency on the part of Terra Firma. They're, they're playing more physical defense now. Kasi nga sila yung nagahabol, no? Uh, however, they are in uh, in foul trouble here with already 16 fouls. Essentially, penalty na to. Oh, uh, penalty na to. Terra Firma. And again, four minutes pa natin dito. A lot of time. For I mean, foods. it's good to be aggressive defensively, but you also have to be smart. Especially dito sa 3x3, Dre, you have to be a smart player. You can't give up silly fouls like that. Eh. Yung mga tiki-tack fouls na yes. would put in the penalty early. Dahil masakit mapunta sa penalty dito. You're gonna give away two points each Correct. time. Correct. Flores, nice moves. Hook shot, no. Sa kanya pa rin ang bola against Dorendes. He has a size and strength advantage here. Nice pass against Gozum. Gozum can't get it to go. Rebound. Mabubuta kay D. D tries the Pinoy step, draws the foul, and will shoot one shot. Yes, a uh, great attack there by uh, Jason D. Kasi nga, nauubos na yung uh, oras, and uh, that uh, explosive drive allowed him to, to get that foul. Fourteen to ten. Gozum has been on fire from the outside. Misses that time. Babalik kay Rob Flores. Rivera shoots a two. Wala pa rin. Rebound. Ends up with Durandes. D puts the ball on the floor. At matatawagan ang foul dito si Rivera. That's only the second team foul. 
for Pure Foods, so they have been uh, able to to uh, play great defense without having to give up a lot of fouls, and that could be a key in this game. Rios, good nice steal by Bunyag. I have to say, malakas ang dugong mapuwa dito sa Pure Foods TJ Titans with Ruff Flores and Bunyag oh, coming, oh, up, coming out of that uh, Mapuwa Cardinals program. Oh, malalaki rin ito eh. No, Bunyag putting on the moves. Ooh, somebody's on the floor. At mga Bunyag natamaan doon. Si Rios in the face. Well, you mentioned about Ruff Flores and uh, Bunyag, former Mapuwa Cardinals. Of course, your father, the legendary uh, Mapua Cardinal. Ay, naging coach nila. Kaya oh, na, oh. Na, napagalitan doon. <laughs> Kaya pala, and I was gonna say kasi, Andre, that these two guys, although they're playing the big position, they can shoot. Kasi nga pala yung father mo ang uh, coach nila. Who is one of the best shooters ever in the country. And look at this. Bunyag. Ayun, inadvertent elbow. Oh, to yeah. To the face of Rios. But speaking of you, sabi mo, what you're shooting? Kasi isa lang naman advice talaga lagi ng mong father ko about shooting. Lagi na siya sabi, itutok mo lang. <laughs> <laughs> Tama naman, di ba? Zamora. Oh, sorry, sorry. This is uh, Rios. Natapilok on that play as oh, well. Oh, ayun. Pinapagpag niya. Gusto well, pa ba yun, coach? Pinapagpag. Eh, baka sakaling ma <laughs> mawala yung sakit. But it's still a... Oh, there's still a lot of time in this game. No? Kailangan si si Rios dito. Bunya gets the rebound. Using that size advantage. But yeah, I, I remember these two guys, eh, Ra Flores and uh, Bunyag. Nakalaban ng uh, oh, oh. Sendeda. Yes. And they can and really... And nakalaban tinahal ng Sendeda. <laughs> well, ano eh, they're a hard matchup kasi they both can shoot kahit malalaki. Very mobile base. Oo. Oh, oh. Ang ganda ng shooting form talaga. Kaya nga dito sa 3x3, you cannot be one-dimensional eh. Correct. That will show your all-around skills. Oh, oh. Kaya malaking bagay na you can shoot from the outside, you can score inside. So Lentes, no. Even the small, no. even the guards, kita natin, even Vosotros likes to post up yes. mga maliliit. Kailangan mapakita mo rin yung ganong skills. Oo. Oh, oh. Eh si Vosotros talagang scorer eh. Nice move by Christian Buniag. And that's one thing you like to see, physicality from Christian Buniag. Yes. Wow, great defense huh, by Bunyag. Because this is a guy, and speaking of great defense, Ruff Flores taking it away from Duremdes. Inside again, Bunyag spins. What a move! Malang, throws it up and misses. May bangga pa nga doon, no? Hindi na natawag. Kung pag-uusapan natin physicalan, yan ang mahanap po kay Jeremiah Talandua. Oh, yes, yes. He's just been giving shoulders to everybody in this game. And kita mo naman, kano kalapad tong si Jeremiah Taladua. Ang laki ng katawan eh, no? So he doesn't care what your height is. Basta babanggay ka niya. Looks more like a power lifter than a baller, no? Like a hoop, than a hooper. This, uh, this guy, Jeremiah Taladua. Yung kanyang Taladua. build, yes, yes. Like a power lifter talaga eh. Yung batang NCAA din niya. And that's a foul by Duretes. Definitely caught the entire arm of Rivera. And that's going to be two shots for Pure Foods. Great move by Rivera using that quick uh, crossover. And then the, the penetration there. He draws a foul from Duretes. Duretes has been doing a lot of complaining in this uh, ball game. Natawagin na nga siya ng technicals. Oh, that's, this is why you have to be really smart here. Your team is down by five, and uh, medyo na ubus na yung oras. You cannot afford another technical. Just keep your focus, play defense, and when you get the opportunity sa offense, and try to make some quick shots. Still a bit of time here for Terra Firma to come back. Rivera makes both free throws. For who not in 17 to 10. Four points away, a beautiful Taladua atake. Oh, sorry, miss. So, Taladua. 
there's going to be a foul on Rivera on the rebound. Going to the Terra but just a 13 foul on Pure Foods TJ Titans. Usually, coach means that the 3x3 is going to be a lot of Pure Foods. Sometimes they give up the layup to get a quicker shot uh -oh. on the other side. I think that's what the game plan is here, but Terra Firma again failing to hit from the outside. Yes, they haven't been uh, too successful from the two-point arc. Yun yung problema rin ang Terra Firma eh. So they're trying to get their points inside, but they're having a hard time kasi nga ang lalaki ng uh, pure foods. Flores, Poposte. Hook shot, no. Rebound to Rendes. Outside, Taladua hands it off. Rios. Binalik, wide open, Taladua. Short. Wala pa rin sa loob. Oh, they didn't recognize Gozu was leaking out already for that two, but they're using as much time as they can here. Good defense. Wala kay Rios. Out of bounds. Tito si Rivera. That's going to be Terra Firma basketball. Oh, I thought he called the foul. Wala pa lang foul. Yeah, we have a timeout called here, 134. Six point lead, still a chance. Sabi mo kanina, coach, bukas pa ang pinto. Yes. Pwede pa. But uh, they have to, to plan well here. Hopefully, they get uh, at least one two point shot here. Ang pahirap lang dito, coach. May pagod na eh. Pagod na. Well, tapos nagahabol ka pa. That's gonna be a tough climb for Terra Firma. Rios may have some bola. Duremdes hands it off to Rios. That's Pulls a good play. Two. That's a good play. Oh. Can't get it to go. Raflores gets it. Kicks it out to Gozu. Gozu. Inside, Munyag. Nice. Gets the layup. That's a tough shot by Christian Munyag. Shot doesn't go. What a move by Munyag. Inside again. Tips away. Robert Capola, Rios wide open for two. Wala pa rin talaga oh. para dito kay Rios. Malas na rin, ano? Those are open looks. Bodies on the floor. Munyag, another one inside. You have to credit the play of Christian Munyag. Very active defense and doing a lot on offense. Getting himself to wide open positions. Yes. Gandano taking the contact from Duremdes. Ito naman. Gozu gets the pass and inside once again for Munyag. Meanwhile, Pure Foods can end it with a two. Rob Flores, Nilinia, fires. No. D, shoots to the outside. That gets oh, blocked by Raflores. Yes. Ooh, Duremdes is down on the floor, holding on to his right ankle. So, mo na injury dito. So, dalawa na na tapilok para dito sa Terra Firma 3x3. So, the biggest key here for Pure Foods is really their defense. No, talagang hinahabol nila yung shots. And they're able to also to somehow stifle the penetrations. Kahit si, si Bunyag, I'm very impressed with the way he defended a guard coming from the outside. Nakakasabay siya. Very active yung ano niya, oh, oh. against the guards, no? And then, sa haba ng galamay niya, ang hirap tumira sa labas, eh. Plus, of course, Terra Firma really shot poorly in this game and that didn't help their cause. And with 23.2 seconds remaining, Purfoods will cruise their second victory yes. of the day. Meanwhile, Terra Firma will lose one more game. Bozu against Talandua. Bunya thought about it. <laughs> he gets pushed. Referee's letting that one go. Oh. na lang. Taladua, titira sa labas, wala talaga para dito sa Terra Firma. And Dorendes gets caught by Bunya. A little too late for Terra Firma. But they had a good start. Dorendes and a couple of shots simula yung alang na ubusa lang ha. Oh. They started with a really nice play, like a, a back screen and then Libre for the layup. Um, and then some quick penetrations, pero iba yung defense ng uh, Pure Foods. They're, they're very much like their 5-on-5 five five team, diba? They're known for their defense. So yun yung in-apply nila dito sa 3x3. Rivera. 
Hindi ba ito ay tapos. Pero dyan ang katapos ng ating laro. 19-12. Terra Firma led it 5-3 early in this ballgame. But giving up a big run. And Pure Food CD Titans cruises to this victory against the Terra Firma 3x3. All-around effort by all of the guys here from the Pure Foods TJ Titans. Pero syempre, meron tayo ating best player of the ball game. Walang iba, kundi si Martin Gossom, Coach Jude. Yes, well, Gossom made some uh, really great shots, no? Both inside and outside as you take a look at the three-point shot. He ended with six points, four rebounds, and three assists. So great all-around game for Gossom. And the Pure Foods TJ Titans, perfect slate for day one. But up next, we still have more basketball to be played. Sammy Galbierman, go up against the TNT Triple Giga. Dito lang against the PBA 3x3. Lakas ng tatlo. Welcome back to more PBA 3x3 action. And wherever you guys are watching, Filipinas Live, or whatever channel you guys are watching, thank you for joining us deep as a PBA 3x3 as we take a look, Coach Jude, at will be. Well, you, you can see in, their, in your standings, TNT and San Miguel both uh, will be matching up today. They had one wins each uh, earlier, so this is uh, a game of uh, undefeated teams. So it should be really exciting. And this is a game to uh, see Cusino will, who will end up on top of the standings of who will be Dito in day one. As we take a look at the, the last confidence ng uh, San Miguel Beerman, of course, kita mo naman. Second place season three, conference legs. Iba iba, you know, fourth place, but they're consistently battling dun sa mga knockout rounds natin, Coach Jude. Yes, they're pretty steady with a lot of uh, veteran players there. And, uh, especially don't see Ken Bono is also one of the standouts in the PBA 3x3. Meanwhile, sa kabila naman, TNT Triple Giga. Ano pang masasabi natin dito sa T TNT Triple Giga? 13 time first place leg winner and grand champion ng napakaraming ano natin, seasons and legs natin. <laughs> well, that's true. Of course, yun, yun TNT, they're the, they're the barometer. Dito sa PBA 3x3, they're the perennial champion, the, the gold standard here. And uh, despite having some few lineup changes, they still uh, mostly win it no? Yung, uh, per conference. Sila pa rin, ba? Season 1, third conference champion. Season 2, first, second, third. Sila ang oh, first oh. team to win that Grand Slam. Grand Slam, yes. Tapos yung bago tayo mag-break, yung season 3, first conference, sila na naman yes. ang the Grand Champions doon. So, ang masasabi natin, napakarami na nilang uh, uh, prize money. Na <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> Pero magbabalik tayo as we have a great matchup coming up your way. We have the TNT Triple Giga going up against San Miguel Beerman. Dito lang yan sa PBA 3x3. Lakas ng tatlo.
All right, we continue and so much more. We just uh, really made sure that everything is say okay so that everybody's going to be safe. And right now, introducing first, San Miguel Beerman. From Antipolo, number one, John Apasible. From Iloilo City, number 16, JP Balanchon. From Cebu, number 22, Bonbert Arong. From Iloilo City, number 25, Ken Bolo. Coach of the San Miguel Beerman, Coach Boise Zamar. And the other team, TNT, Wimple Giga. From Alonga Ball, number eight, Ping Eximiliano. From Nueva Ecija, number nine, Samboy De Leon. From Malabon, number 25, Matt Salem. From Davao, number 29, Brian Mendoza. Coach of TNT Triple Giga, Coach Mao Belen. And our officials, Charlie Amparado and Carlo Vergara. As we can see, Almond Vasotros of the TNT Triple Giga is not seeing action in this first day of our first leg. And that is because head coach Mao Belen decided to extend his rest for his lower back and foot injuries to fully recover. Now, these injuries have actually been recurring, but they worsened during the PBA on tour last July. Now, coach Mao does not see this or his absence as a liability, though, because he knows that long term this is what will help them, and her two new players are actually balancing them out. San Miguel Beerman, TNT Triple Giga. Action starts in five, four, three, and three. PBA, La Fosse Santo. Catch the PBA 3x3 season three, second conference, live and on demand on Philippines Live anytime, anywhere. Download and subscribe now for only 149 pesos per month. At uh, ito, napakaganda matchup, Coach Jude San Miguel Beerman against the TNT Triple Giga. Yes, uh, of course, both undefeated teams. And a uh, great start for San Miguel. Wow! Open Excellent. shot by, oh, by Pelenchon, kaso nabawi agad ni Pink. Hot start. Meanwhile, Mendoza against Bono. Oh. And so far, Mendoza winning that matchup. Great defense, oh. huh? despite the mismatch. Ryan Mendoza, and he won in the Bono. That's a two point lead by TNT. Wow. What a move! Gets the basket plus the foul. Oh, grabe yung galaw na yon ni Montbert Arong. Former uh, FEU Tamarao. Wow, look at that move. Spin move. Wala nang nagawa si Mendoza. No? Tinaas na lang yung kamay. Oo. Oh, oh. Well, that's his strong side, no? Going to the left. Itong si uh, Monbert. Arong for the end one. Opportunity at the line. Short. Let's see where the ball will go. Bong TNT basketball. And again, sabi nga ni, uh, nila kanina sa report, TNT Triple Giga playing without their main man. Right, yes. And Almond Vosotros. They have Salem taking his place right now. Pero coach, gusto ko lang point out since it, nagbabalik tayo after that one conference. A couple of players naman na notable players of TNT Triple Giga. Third overall pick in the draft. Played for TNT Triple Giga in Luis Villegas. Oh, yeah. Number three overall, tama ka. Gandhi yes, Luis Villegas. Luis Villegas, oh, wow. I mean, that's... Uh, diba, naglaro sa 3x3 yun. Oo. Oh, oh. They had a big lineup with Villegas and uh, Lervin Flores, who's not playing as well today. Correct. Pero si Villegas, ha, imagine, not only um, was he picked in the first round, he was picked third overall. Ang, ang ano nun, kumbaga, that's, uh, that's elite when it comes to the draft. The product rin yan dito ng, uh, ng 3x3. Si along with Keith Datu, fourth naman yun. Yes. Magkasunod. Oo, oh, oh. tama si Keith Datu. And that makes Rain or Shine interesting to watch when uh, the PBA Final 5 returns. Dahil dalawang 6 in 6 7 yun na naman yun. Oh. And both can shoot from the outside. 
can put the ball on the floor as well. Meanwhile, speaking, speaking of shooting, inside of a sea blitz. Salem gets the basket plus the foul. Oh, that, that's a great positioning by uh, Matt Salem over a smaller uh, Montbert Arong. Of course, Matt Salem is more known for his three-point shots, but this time, he saw a big uh, size advantage there, so he just sealed uh, Montbert. Great to see Matt Salem back to 3x3, playing yes. for a couple of other 3x3 teams before. But now finding a new home here. So oh! Wow, that's another in one. Oh, that, that quick uh, first step by uh, Montbert Arong versus Ping X Caminiano, I believe former teammates sa FEU. But uh, he had that uh, that first step at naiwan na doon si Ping. Ping, of course, is a very respectable defender oh, yeah, known, on the ball. Known defender yan sa PBA 5.5. Mas masasabi mo, mas kilala talaga siya doon sa defense niya before yes. when he used to play for the 5 and 5. But now showing he can shoot with the ball on the floor. Nice pick by Salem. Extra pass, wide open. Mendoza makes the two. Great play, no? Nagpapasa talaga sila eh. See, it's important sa 3x3 that you know how to read the defense and that's exactly what TNT did here. Look at uh, Salem when he saw that somebody's closing out. Extra pass to the wide open Brian Mendoza. Good, better, best. Eh, no? Yes. Maganda na yung shot. Mas maganda yung ping niya, pero mas maganda yung pass niya sa kakampi niya. Yes, that's intelligent basketball. Right. Oh, no! Inside, they go to their big guy. Pick and roll. Nice tap. They couldn't save it. Ball will stay with San Miguel. But uh, good defense still. Preventing that uh, layup from John Apasibli on that cut. Shot shot. Using the bonus read. Bodies oh. on the floor. Two, no. Rebound Apasibli inside. Apasibli, one of the better rebounders here. Uh, 3x3. Yes, Mendoza on fire, taking another two. Yes, Brian Mendoza making that two-point shot despite that uh, challenge. Ito naman, specialist sa ilalim, itong si uh, Ken Bono. Ken Bono gets warned for delaying the game. Samboy. Samboy, challenging Bono. Oh, and he gets fouled by Big Ken Bono. Doesn't like the ball. That's going to be a free throw for Samboy De Leon. Well, Samboy De Leon had the right idea using his speed against uh, Ken Bono attacking the basket. Again, that's your only chance against Ken Bono. Oh. Or if you're... If you can shoot from the outside, because Ken is not, is not really going to challenge your shot. Sabi ko nga si Ken Bono yung sinasabi ko, sa 5 on 5 na lang tayo magkatuusan. Yung siya yung mga kalaro ko sa 3x3 na hindi ko matigil-tigil dahil <laughs> just dominates inside. <laughs> Mahirap talaga pigilan ito si Ken. But wow. Son. Sasabihin ko sana dapat pinasa kay Ken. He had that uh, great positioning pero pumasok yung two-point shot ni JP Belenchon. And look at that defense by Aro. Whoa, oh. what a move. Benchon showing us handles here. He gets fouled. Wow. He gets the basket plus the foul. Wow. I, I've never seen JP Belenchon make that move before. But you gotta take a look at that. You, you know, he used to to coach against this guy. He played for Letran. He's known for his three-point shot. But this time, he had some attack moves. So... I guess that developed here in the 3x3. That three point lead by TNT has been erased. At lamang na nangisa dito, San Miguel Beerman. Well, the intensity picking up here in this game. Ang binis naman ng scoring natin in this ball game. Yes. Of course, not only are these uh, two teams competitive, they, they also, they're both uh, proud 
teams in the PBA. Kaya malaki din ang stake dito. Salem outside, no. Ooh, nice one by Ping. Gets the basket and ties it. Oh. Ang bilis. Ang bilis ng kamay ni Ping eh. They said, Ping is saying na nahawakan na ni Bono. That's not how it goes here. Let's see. Uh, I don't think so. Walang possession for uh, San Miguel. Yeah, this is the right call. Wala pa possession San Miguel. Si Ping was just too quick. Nice play inside. Nice. Look at that by the Beerman. So great pass also from Ken Bono. Very smart play by the Beerman. But that nice hands by Bono and better finish oh. by Aro. Well, great move also by uh, Arong uh, without the ball, recognizing uh, what the defense is giving up. TNT meanwhile turns the ball over. Kaya dito sa 3x3, Andre, talagang dapat yung footwork mo maganda eh. Because there's a lot of opportunities to score if, if your footwork is really good. Oh no, outside. No, look at that, the battle for the basketball. Really chasing the basketball. The yeah, team will now have possession. One point ball game. Hindi pa tayo ng dito sa oras natin. More than halfway through na tayo in yes. this game. Ooh. That's a technical foul on uh, Coach Mao. For coaching and Coach Mao, you can hear from the second floor. And again, you know, mahirap sa 3x3. You don't have a coach to tell you what to do. Yes. Kayo kayo lang to. Tama. So yun. Uh, just, just for the fans to know that are watching, wala pong coach dito sa loob ng court. Pwede manood yung coach from afar, but they cannot coach. So sila sila lang talaga ito. So whenever there's a time timeout, it's just the players talking among themselves. Oh, oh sorry, miss. Maray Aro, Eximiliano, two is good. That's uh, clean as a whistle. That shot by uh, Ping Excaminiano. Shot inside, a possible layup is good. Good pick and roll play. There's a foul called on the rebound. All game tied at 14. Oh, oh. <laughs> well, great action that we're seeing uh, between these two teams. Oh, that's another great pass by TNT to a better shot. No, yun, yun yung character ni tong, uh, TNT. That's why they're the best in the league right now because of their ability to read the defense well. Speaking of reading, look at that. Mendoza nice. with another two. Nakabawi naman dito. San Miguel, atake ulit. Mendoza to Salem. Goes to Sapoy. Sapoy! No! Rebound by Salem. One more time. They go back to Salem. Salem attacking. Takes a contact. That's going to be one shot for Matt Salem. Yes, that's a clear bump by JP Belenchon. So uh, Salem will earn a free throw shot here. And San Miguel Beerman now in penalty. Salem. No, one point game. They go down low. Bono, size advantage. Bono, oh. advantage. That's a rare miss for Ken Bono. Salem inside, Minanga. Salem will shoot two. Yes. situation of Utayo. And I still can't believe it, Coach. 4.55 ba natin tira dito sa game na ito? Oo nga. So this is quite an uh, early penalty situation for the San Miguel Beermen. And it's a tight contest. This could be a big factor against them. And 
Kasi Pero nga, two free throws, no? Yes. Again, para sa kaalaman ng mga nanonood sa 3x3 po, pagka more than six team fouls na two free throws ang ibibigay sa kalaban. So, eto po, seven uh, team fouls na itong uh, San Miguel Beer Men. Apat pa lang for TNT. And it's a crucial point in the game dahil pal palapit sa 21 na ang TNT Triple Giga. As you can see, these two teams so far undefeated in the standings. Yes, you can see both are 1-0 pero magkaiba yung points. No? So, again, um, it's, it's different sa 3x3 because there are other factors that come in. No? It's not just the the wins and the losses, there's also the the points that you accumulate uh, sa, sa scores. May seeding yun eh. Oh. Oh. Salem will shoot two. First one goes in for Matt Salem. Four points away to get to 21. Second like free throw, Salem makes oh, both 18 to 15 a hockey score. Ooh, wow! The look on the inalim. Aro with a beautiful play. Oh, Ina kabawi dito. Oh, the body is on the floor. Oh, 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 oh wow! Look at Ex Caminiano go. Grabe yung energy ni Ping Ex Caminiano is all over the place. Aro took a hit on that play, pero walang foul yun. Oh, oh wala, wala tawag eh. They're trying to get to the ball. Natamaan lang dun si Aro. Incidental contact. Yes. But did you see Ping? Look at this. Oh, this was the, the shot. Wow, the acrobatic shot by uh, Montbert Aro. But in the next play, G, uh, Ping chased the ball. He hit the ad. And then siya pa yung nakahabol dun sa bola. Miguel still not out of this. Bono makes it interesting. 19 to 17. Dami pang oras. Oh, oh. They just shouldn't allow a two from TNT. But this guy's been on fire. Ryan misses. Go back to Salem. Salem hands it off. Mendoza all the time in the world. Wala pa rin para kay Ryan Mendoza. They go down low. Bono leans in. Hook shot. Oh, sorry, miss. Gets the ball back. Isa pa wala pa rin. Wow. Wow. Two point. Oh, wow. In and out. And daming subok. And daming tries for San Miguel. Meanwhile, Ximignano can't make it. A possible layup. One point game. You don't normally see Ken Bono miss those, uh, those uh, close, close to the basket. Tinapos ni Mendoza. Fourth two pointer of the game. And just like that, TNT. Takes down the San Miguel Beerman. What a big shot because look at this. JP Belenchon was right there to challenge that shot. Pero swoosh pa rin for Brian Mendoza. At paikot pa lang dun si Brian, Brian Mendoza. Makes it anyway. TNT reigns supreme still here in this ball game against the San Miguel Beerman. As uh, we take a look at our best player in the ball game. Again. We're not surprised it's this guy, Ryan Mendoza. Yes, uh, a lot of uh, big shots in this game. Plus those uh, quick penetrations by Ryan Mendoza. He's starting to become the best uh, scorer in this team in the absence of uh, Almon Vosotros. And up next, we have our next game. We have the Morocco Box 3x3 against Barangay Nebra. Ito lang against PBA 3x3. Lakas ng tatlo.
Pulse ng tatlo. Susunod na laro, Pool C. As you have the Meralco Bolts against Barangay Ginebra. San Miguel Meralco winning their first matchup. Meanwhile, Barangay Ginebra naman dropping their first matchup of the day, Coach Jude. Yes, well, uh, anytime you uh, match up Meralco and Ginebra, you can expect uh, a really uh, Fireworks, spectacular. Yeah. Yes. Oh, oh. yes, so it doesn't matter if Ginebra lost their game earlier. You can be sure they're going to be playing hard. Let's turn it over right now to Benji Santiago for our lineups. All right, get ready for our next game. And as we continue, we got the two teams. Let's introduce first Meralco Bowls. From Cebu, number seven, Alfred Bontino. Also from Cebu, number 17, Joseph Senarifa. From Victoria City, Negros Occidental, number 30, Jeff Mandai. From Caloja, number 31, JJ Malangit. Coach of the Monaco Bolts, Coach Patrick Fran. They're going to be going up against Balangay Hinebla San Miguel. From Quezon City, number one, JJ Espaniola. From Isabis Oriental, number 12, Nicole Ubaldi. From Cagayan de Oro, number 15, Ralph Salcedo. From Digo, Stavo del Sur, number 42, Leon Montel. Coach of Barangay Hinebra, San Miguel, Coach Kirk Collier. And our referees, Kenny Hollig and Clarence Bautista. We all know Barangay Hinebra for being a very strong 3x3 team. And for today, ang struggle down nila ay nawalan sila ng shooters at medyo may lapses pa rin sila sa depensa nila. But even with these struggles, of course, there is still a bright side and that was their ball movement and energy. Now, assistant coach Jam asked them to focus on what they're good at, most especially that they will be going against a very physical Meralco and they do not have the size advantage in this match. Meralco Bolts versus Malangay Hidebla San Miguel. It all begins in five, four, three, and three. Vive La Casta Tapo. And once again, Cast the BBA 3x3 Season 3 Second Conference live and on demand on the Filipinas Live app anytime, anywhere. Download and subscribe now for only 149 pesos per month. Meralco Bolts getting the first point of this ball game. Against Barangay Hinebra, coach na masasabi natin medyo new look itong Barangay Hinebra. Of course, Alcendros there, but most of their players like iba na. Dahil dalawa sa kanila, na-draft rin. Talking about Ralph Ku, was the 23rd overall pick, second round. Meanwhile, Kim Aurin was drafted by uh, Barangay Hinebra, but signed with TNT naman. That's true. No, of course, uh, those two guys that you mentioned, Ku, and uh, Aurin, they're, they're two of their uh, veteran players dito sa 3XP. Kaya totoong sinabi mo nga, bagong, halos bagong team ito. So again, exciting to see these new faces dito sa PBA 3X3. Meanwhile, speaking of faces, dito naman sa Meralco, opposite naman. Old faces na panto oh, sa 3X3. Yes. Batino, Manlangit. Of course, uh, Sedurifa, yes. yeah, makilala na natin yan. Tsaka si Manday, yes. They're, they're veteran players for Meralco. Of course, Meralco considered one of the powerhouses here sa PBA 3X3. Sedurifa always one of the top scorers sa PBA 3X3. Jeff Manday also played to sa PBA on tour for Meralco. Coach, so again, got his feet wet to sa... 5-5 Yes, as uh, Leon Martel scores for Ginebra. Leon is uh, a product of uh, the University of Perpetual Health. Uh, strong guy underneath the basket. Uh, great offensive rebounder as well. So he is a good addition for uh, Barangay Ginebra 3x3. Dino, meanwhile, shoots it. Song touch, but Dino makes the shot. Ito si Alfred Patino really impresses me here in the 3x3. Nag-blossom uh, nag itong player nito eh. Coming from uh, uh, more of a role player to becoming a, a good scorer. 
Yes. Sabi nga niya, he lost a lot of weight, added a lot of skill. Yes. But, you know, uh, about that, trying to use his strength to no avail. Okay, Nebra, sa loob. Oh, Ponce kicks it out. Inside. Ball will stay. With Barangay Nebra with 3.4 seconds remaining sa shot clock natin. Well, yes, si Ryan Batino nga, he has really developed his game dito sa 3x3. More better ball handling, even uh, good perimeter shooting. And he's also a, a, a great uh, director for his team, no? Ang galing makakita ng open man. And he's one of the leaders as well of this team. Uh, very vocal itong si Alfred Batino for this team. Mandai, meanwhile, We've seen that from him before, all the moves of Jeff Mandai. Spagnola makes the two! Wow, nice looking uh, two-point shot from JJ Espanola. Setorifa taking his time. Minilike Mandai, Mandai gets the step, gets fouled. Mandai will shoot from yes. the free throw line. Very quick player Jeff Mandai is. He scored on a layup earlier and this time he was able to see an opening, took it, and was able to draw the foul. Take a look at this, Espanola. Hand in his face. Beautiful looking shot, Malaki Espanola. Ito naman po si Jeff Manday. Marami nang has crossed a lot of guys. This <laughs> PBA 3x3. Oh, yes. Maraming ankles na ang sumakit dahil kay Jeff Manday. He's, he's a very, handlers. yeah, very good ball handler plus very active player, quick feet. And get up on the way he challenged that shot, ang bilis. Let's see and where the, the ball will end up. Yes, uh, that somehow bothered the uh, the shot of uh, Espanola who hit a two-point shot earlier. So great defense uh, by the Bolts. But Hinebra will retain possession here. Good defense by Mandai. Inside. Martel, nice looking. Mid range jumper. Yes. Good shot by Leon Martel. He's, he's playing well in this game. Long yet no. Rebound by Maragay Nebra. And from Miralco, no? Playing against new faces sa Hinebra, hindi mo pa alam masyado yung taro eh. Ng mga yes. bago players na to. So, bit of an adjustment period for Meralco in defending Barangay Hinebra. Yes. But what I like about Barangay Hinebra is they're, they're very active. Everybody's moving, even without the ball. So, it's uh, it makes the, the defense a, a bit harder. No? So, dun, dun nakakakuha ng uh, opportunities itong uh, Barangay Hinebra. And they're making them move. Si Batino, si Manlang. Yes. And to think that the, the Bolts are very good uh, defenders, no? Talking about sila si Durifa, Manday, even Alfred Batino. Very active defense by this Barangay Nebra squad. Si Durifa, no. Rebound by Barangay Nebra. They say it's Meralco basketball. Well, of course, if you're Barangay Hinebra, you have to be inspired also by by the Barangay Hinebra 5-on-5 five five team, which is one of the better def the defensive teams in the league. Kaya ganyan din sila dumipensa, no? A lot of energy, a lot of effort. NSD nga, sabi nila, never is a day ang mantra nito. Barangay Hinebra, meanwhile, manlaki, it looks like he gets known for a foul of that rebound dahil Lumipad na lang uh -oh. yung uh, Barangay Nebra. I think that was uh, Espanyola who got pushed by Manlangit. Well, that's a good call of uh, a rebound. No? Nawala sa posisyon eh, si Espanyola. Espanyola, quick trigger. Oh, they get the offensive board. Nice defense by Sidorifa. Manlangit sneaks it in, Manday. Oh, look at the active defense naman dito ng Barangay Nebra. Balde. Ball movement by Barangay Nebra. Five seconds on the shot clock. Quick two. Almost. Mantay. Kailangan ilabas ang bola. 
Jeff Mandai, gonna get Jason Zorifa, five seconds on the shot clock. Joseph Manlami attacks the shoot. Both teams now going cold. Salcedo. Magano ka mapapasan, atake na lang. Hook shot, Salcedo, no. Well, both teams are, are showing excellent defense. Lockett gets fouled. Sa baba daw, that's not a shooting foul. So, foul will stay. Halos walang open shot, no? Be because of the way uh, both teams are playing um, really stinky defense. Very active, eh, no? Active oh, oh. Defense. And again, these are good scorers for Meralto, Manday, Batino, and Sedorifa. Pero yes. hirap na hirap sila against the defense of this Baragay Never squad. Batino. Oh! Nice spin move. And that's what I love about Andre Badino. Napakalaki niya, Coach, pero kita mo nung kano ka soft yung footwork niya, no? Tama. Hindi siya ganito dati. Kasi he, he played for our team sa D-League before, sa PBA D-League. He wasn't this agile. Yung footwork, hindi pa ganyan. And like you said, he's, uh, he's lighter now. Dati kasi talagang heavy itong si Ryan Badino. So obviously, he worked hard in this game. Look at that. B.A. Batino gets it inside. And gets the layup to go. Espanola in and out. Bola pa rin para kay Nebra. Nilinis pa ang ating ring. Sedorifa hindi makabawi. Uh, uh, Joseph Sedorifa has been pulled to start this game. All the time in the world for Barangay Nebra. Can't take advantage. Salcedo, naagawan dito ni Jeff Manday. Binigay kay Batino sa loob. Balik kay Manday. Extra pass, Joseph. They get it to Manday. Manday sneaks the layup in. No. Martel, binigay kay Espanyola. Look at the footwork by Martel. Wow. Nice move. Everything but the shot. Batino saves it. Sedorifa, Rigege Batino. Batino takes a contact and he gets fouled. That's going to be two shot, uh, one shot for the Meralto Bolts. But good idea for Alfred Batino, taking it strong to the basket and uh, drawing the contact. So dito talaga, you have to play smart, especially if uh, you're up against a, a very aggressive uh, defensive team. And despite the lead, Coach, of but again, Ebra, in spite of the lead, six fouls to sila. So Meralgo can take advantage of that foul situation. Oh, oh. this is a, a low-scoring game no? because of the way both teams are playing defense. But the big difference is, yun nga, nabanggit mo nga, Andre, na may six fouls na yung Barangay Hinebra. So they have to be a little careful now because they don't want to send the, the balls to the free throw line. Na may dalawang free throws na ibibigay because of the penalty situation. You know, Coach, something I just want to point out that I've noticed from the players throughout the day. Naalala ko na nagsisimula pala tayo ng PBA 3 A lot of the players, when they take half time ng ganito in one game, hindi na mong pagod na pagod na. Ngayon, pinapanood kay Meralgo, just walk into the bench, nakatayo, para hindi pa pinapawisan. You can see how much they've adjusted their conditioning to play dito sa 3x3. That's a great point, Andre. Kasi... Sobrang intense nung game eh. Sobrang taas eh. Hindi sila nagpe-petics. Pero hindi sila pagod. That means they worked on their conditioning like you said. And that's a testament to the way these players are working hard. Even during the very short break. Ang ikli na nga nung break mo. Pero they, they still work. Because you have to keep this type of uh, stamina. And I think that's something that you know, the other players, that it's a bad, 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 Something they have to adjust to, na man, yung physicality and yes. the pace. Ng yes. Yes. Of course, there it helps that they're young. I guess, like ito si Leon Martel, halos kakalabas lang niya ng college, so he's very young and he's quite strong. Although hindi niya napigilan don. You drive the uh, Alfred Batino. And Alfred Batino starting to take over. That's four straight points for Batino. They have now a two-point lead. And yung ngayon, you can't simulate, coach, yung intensity na totoong laro. Oo, oh, oh, diba? 
kahit sabihin mo sa practice, iba pa rin yung ganito. You're up against real competition already. Meanwhile, Martel ties the game with a two. Oo, oh, madami ng uh, points itong uh, si Leon Martel. But I was gonna add, Andre, to, to your point, no, with um, yung kanilang stamina. It also helps that... Uh, you're smart with your substitution. Kailang ka upo, di ba yung ganon? And remember, they don't have their coach on the floor. So sila sila lang. So I guess pag nakaramdam kang konti pagod, magpasab ka na, no? To keep uh, fresh legs inside. Look at that. Malangit. Inuwa lang yun from the defense. Malangit. This time gets fouled. And that's gonna be two shots. And that's the activity of the Meralco Bolts players just giving them this foul and opportunity at the line. Yes, Manlangit not giving up on the ball, no. He just kept on getting those uh, offensive boards and and that's an uh, excellent effort on his part. And that's also a clear foul from uh, Leon Martel because he lowered his arms, eh. Automatic yan sa basketball. Once you lower your arm at tumama yan, even if the offensive player initiated the contact, Tatawagan ka. So you have to have your arms straight, upwards, vertical, if you're the defensive player. But kahit na mas physical dito sa PBA 3x3, tatawag pa rin nila yun. Yes, yes. Kasi nga may contact. Yes. So malangit. One out of two. Para kay Nebra. Get the basketball. One point game. Drive inside. Good defense by Malangit. See where it will go. Mukhang bola pa rin dito. Numerado Volts. Jeff Mantay. Leading by one against Barangay Nebra. 3.14 remaining in this ball game. Sidorifa. Joseph. Tough shot. Wala pa rin para kay Sidorifa. He hasn't found the mark in this game. Well, that was great defense by Ubaldo ha, on uh, Sidorifa. What a move. Oh. Gets it to roll in. Ties it at 11. Oh. Ganda ng laban na to. Sedorifa, he has to go now. And he gets fouled. Just smart play by Sedorifa. Hindi siya makashoot sa labas. Drawing the foul. That's going to be two shots for Joseph Sedorifa. And this has been a, a really highly physical game. Uh, but in a nice way, no? Wala namang nagsasakitan eh. It's just a lot of bumping, you know. Which is... The way it's supposed to be. That's 3x3 basketball for you. Joseph Sedorifa shooting two. Baka dito na mahanap yung shooting stroke niya. He's been off the mark this game. And nothing like seeing the ball go through the net, the back coach. Yes. It's a, it's a great relief if you're having a, a uh, bad shooting day. So it, it somehow lifts your spirit and then it helps you in your next uh, attempts. But how coach, I never get bad shooting days. Never. You don't? No, I never. <laughs> when, I'm not surprised, Andre. I mean, growing up with a great fortune cookie, dapat naman. Kasi pag ikaw hindi makashoot, nakakahiya. Sabi nila, coach, you never have bad shooting days if you never shoot the basketball. But I mean, I mean... Man, your your father is is. Uh, Never found the shot he doesn't like. He doesn't like. He doesn't have the prettiest shot. May bantay but, mo wala is a good shot. Pero grabe, it's so hard to defend against your dad. Sabi nga nila, sabi. I, I never watched him, pero from the things that I've seen, tulong at that, that's another foul. So that's gonna be two more free throws for Meralco. And Barangay Nebra has to be careful. Yes. Dahil one foul na lang, it's going to be two free throws plus possession. Oh, oh. yeah. It's like a technical. So, so it's short, no? Pagiging physical nila on defense. Yes. Game. And that's huge, no? If, if, if you get to nine team fouls, ang bigat nun, especially when you're behind and then there's just uh, two minutes and 20 seconds. Imagine fouling, giving two free throws, tapos ball possession pa. Ang hirap nung ganun situation. So, um, they played excellent defense. They were very aggressive. Kaya lang, they were not able to control their fouls. Pero yung nga lang, nakabawi ka agad dito, Espanyola. Making another two, tabla na naman po tayo. Manday, 
Binigay sa baba kay Batino. Back to Manday. Jeff for two. Manday, no. Rebound by Barangay Nebra. A chance to take the lead. That's going to be a foul on the two-point shot. And Barangay Nebra will shoot two. So this is a golden opportunity for Barangay Nebra to seize the lead Ooh, with two free that. throws coming up. Malasaktan si Espanyola on that play. Looks to be good though. Oh, Tough ball. oh definite foul. Yes. Against Patino. Up and down lang to si Espanyola in his spot. Yeah, he, he hit the, the leg. Itong si Alfred Patino hit the leg of, uh, of uh, Espanyola on that uh, contest on that close out but anyway like we said no two free throws two shots for Espanyola and ito na nga Naralco both already also in the penalty so both teams have to be careful with their fouls and again for a team with new faces ang ganda na pinapakita dito mm -hmm. ng uh, Barangay Ginebra Espanola. Oh, wow! By Espanola. Sinanjanya at ang emission second free throw. He loves that corner. Cedorifa naman, maakabawe. Look at this. Inside, drops it off. Espanola, one more time. Feeling it. Espanola with another two. Wow. Wow. Verago on the verge of losing this game. Matino inside. Sorry, miss. They get it. They want to go to their man. Espanola fade away. No. Matino Ooh. gets it. Sendoripa, binalik paloob kay Matino. Leans in. Basket is good. But again, Nebra can win it with a two. Ubalde. Valde attacks, layup, no. Oh, babalik ang bola sa Barangay Nebra. Layup inside, wala. Sendoripa gets the basket. Sendoripa, binigay na lang. They want to kick it out quickly. Wide open, two for the win. Wala yun. Matino needed to clear it. Yes. Laps in uh, mental laps soon from Alfred Batino clearly oh. getting the basketball. Well, that was a, a wasted opportunity there because they had the basket, no? May chance sila. They're only down by two. There's enough time in the game. But that was a wasted uh, possession for the Pokes. Pagod na yun, good eh. No? Mm -hmm. pagod na yun for Alfred Batino as it's been an intense game. But Baragay Nebra, two points away from winning this game against the Meralco Balls 3x3. Pero pwede pa rin to. Mahaba pa to. Yeah, there's still four possessions here left sa time. So, the Balls just need to, to make some stops here and then quick baskets. Barangay Nebra naman has been on fire from the outside courtesy of Espanyola. Nice play oh. inside. Perfectly executed play mula sa Barangay Nebra. And that could be it, Andre. That was a great play. Malangit can change things. Wala. Mandai outside too. Mandai makes oh. it interesting. Yeah, may have spoken too soon. Barangay needs just one point for the move. What a pass. Nice. And that is ball game. Barangay Ginebra wins this one against the Miracle Bulls. Wow, what a very impressive debut for this uh, young team. I mean, these are mostly new players for Barangay Ginebra, but they were able to slay a giant here in the PBA 3x3 in the Miracle Bulls. Wow, and a lot of their plays were passing like that. Napakaganda ball movement mula sa Barangay Ginebra. Wow, and, what a finish. Yes, and it was also their defense. I mean, great defense against a veteran uh, experienced team like the Moralco Bulls. Again, playing with foul trouble for most of the game. Barginebra comes from behind and wins this one against Meralco Bulls. Sabi mo nga, in a giant like Meralco Bulls. And let's take a look 
that are best player in the ball game, John Española. Yes, uh, John Española, nine points, two rebounds, but it was his back-to-back two-point shots that really turned the tables in this game. Kaya siya ang nararapat na best player of the game. John Española, the best player in the ball game. And we still have more basketball to be played up next. North for Batambera against TNT. Triple Giga dito sa PBA 3x3. Lakas ng tatlo. And this is the PBA 3x3, Lakas ng Tatlo. Season 3, first conference, oh, second conference, like one, day one. Dito po tayo sa Ayala Mall Circuit, Makati, for a great day of basketball. Tingnan natin natin Pool B, TNT, playing their third game of the day, as well as the Northport Batampier, with a record of 1-1 one and one so far. Well, yes, uh, Northport, of course, coming off an inspiring win earlier versus the MACFA solvers. So they could carry that uh, motivated game in this matchup against, of course, uh, the perennial champions, uh, TNT. So let's see how they perform here. Meanwhile, TNT playing without their main man, Alfons Zotros. Up next, Northport Batampier, TNT Triple Giga. Let's turn it over right now to Benji Santiago for our liners. All right. All set. Well, we're getting ready for you for another game. All right, let's introduce the two teams that we have on the floor. Starting off with Northport Batampier. From Ordenet Pangasina, number four, John L. Balzol. From Tagbilaran City, number eight, Daxer Zalbala. From Bulacan, number 11, Gwaine Capacho. From Quezon City, number 26, J.R. Alabanza. Coach of Northport, Patapia, Coach Michael Oliver. And introducing TNT Triple Giga. From along the ball, number eight, Ping Eximiniano. From Duarmaisia, number nine, Samboy Delion. From Malabon, number 25, Matt Salem. From Davao, number 29, Brian Mendoza. Coach of TNT Triple Giga, Coach Mao Villan. And our officials, James Pies and Ovet Arlegi. 
in the last conference for Northport, the first three legs were winless. Pero ngayon, first leg pa lang may panalo na. According to Coach Mike, he is very happy with his team's improvement in terms of communication and chemistry. And he is also very happy that finally, they have the height care of JR Ablanza. And with this, may their first win ignite the fire and help them get more wins in this conference. Northport Batam Pierre versus DNT Triple King in five, four, three, and three. PBA Locos Tatablo. That's the PBA 3x3 season three, second conference live and on demand on Filipinas Live app. Anytime, anywhere, download and subscribe now for only 149 pesos per month. TNT Triple Giga against Northport. Both teams, coach, pangatlong laro na nila today. Yes. Uh, of course, uh, like we mentioned earlier, TNT without Almon Vosotros, I mean, the, the best player in the 3x3. But that didn't bother them. They still were able to get two wins already in as many games. And uh, they're gunning for a third straight win in and this so, game against Northport. And so far, coach, the absence of Almond Vosotros has opened up the game of Grahit Mendoza. He's yes. been just dominating this uh, this day for the DNT Triple Giga. Yes, that's true. Lumabas yung laro ng iba, no? That's normally the case naman when, when uh, your best scorer is not able to play. Um, other players get the opportunity to step up. Northport with the basketball for a steam foul called on TNT. Look at that seal. Sail up inside immediately to Deleo. Ganun kabilis yung uh, passing ng TNT. Yes, and a great defense by uh, Matt Salem. Meanwhile, for Northport naman, it was Dexter Zamora in that last game. He had 14 points, oh. coach, for uh, Northport Batang Pierre. Ang hirap gawin nun, ah, nung 14 points. Uh, nagulat din ako when they flashed his uh, final number. Hindi ko akalain ng 14 points siya. Zamora. One on one against De Leon. No, put back. No. Rebound goes to De Leon. Samboy, atake. Samboy takes the contact. Put back is good. Inside for TNT. Yes, again, using his size advantage over Dexter Zamora, taking it strong to the basket. Dexter Zamora, no. Put back, Pauzon. Binigay nila kay Gryan. Gryan has been on fire from the outside. This time, no. De Leon leans in. Wala pa rin. Samboy reverses. Good. Plus the foul para kay Samboy De Leon. Well, they're unable to, to block out Samboy De Leon. Getting that offensive rebound and the putback. Energy-wise, so far in favor of uh, TNT Triple Giga. Yes, they're off to a quick start here. Five to one lead by TNT. Yun lang ang problema when when TNT gets a, a good start, medyo comfortable lead. Ang hirap magbule ni. Eh. Like a snowball, eh, no? Oh. Very intense to uh, magaling mag-alaga ng lead ng TNT. Because they're playing it really smart. So that's a, that's a, a, a good uh, credit to the coach, si Mau Bilet. Samboy gets fouled at the rim. And that's going to be another free throw for Samboy Dele. Pero kita mo yun, it's a story siya. Dahil coach, kita ko, sabi niya, libre si Salem. Yes. Wide open in the corner. Union emphasis nila. They have to spot the best opportunity to score, the best scorer in the play. And of course, kita natin coach sa taas lang natin ng coaching staff ng TNT. Yes. Coach Mau Belen and of course RDO. RDO. Parang yun pwede pa mag 3x3 oh, no coach. <laughs> Oo naman. Pwede pa mag si RDO sa 3x3. Pagkailangan doon ng ano replacement. In, hindi lang pwede. He could he could still be uh, dominant. Uh, Oo, oh, dominant here. Because he's the type of player that can also play inside and outside. Can shoot from the outside, yes. can post up inside. Alabanza having a hard time catching that basketball. Napayuman, that's going to be traveling against yes. Alabanza. Yeah, he forced that shot that time. Dalawa yung nakapayong sa kanya eh. Which means there was an open teammate outside. 
Ayun, no? dalawa si, si Pink at si Salem. Eh. Meanwhile, TNT gets a quick shot for Pink Eximiliano. 6-2, fast start. Pink coming from behind. Look at the activity of Pink. Grabe. Grayan, wala nakabantay. Beats his defender. Extra pass, Salem. Shoots a two. Shot to for Matt Salem. And look at that, Eximiliano again, first to the basketball. Ito si Pink nakarami atang kape to eh, kanina pa. Hyper eh. <laughs> Oo, oh, hyper eh. Salem one more time. Matt Salem drains the two. Wow, and, and this is now a big six-point lead for TNT very early in the game. Zamora. And that's a take foul from Grayan to bring in Samboy De Leon. Take a look at this. What an extra pass by Grayan Mendoza. And Salem, that's what he does. Yes. College pa lang yan. Talagang Matt Salem is known for those uh, three-point shots. At dito sa, sa 3x3, two-point shot. That's another foul against TNT. Alabaza trying to take advantage of his size. Number four on TNT. Pang-apat na ang TNT Triple Giga. Capacho to Zamora. Zamora attacks inside. Di naawa. Bola, bola. Ball go back to Grime Mendoza. May halo na rin malas, no? Some are good shots, pero Ooh, they just don't fall. Eximiliano with another two. Back-to-back. -back. Shots from the outside for TNT. Nice. Alabanza, nakakabawi para sa North Court. Basket plus the foul. Yes, to stop the bleeding there, no? Uh, JR Alabanza with a great uh, post move, which he is known for. And uh, a bonus free throw here, na napaka importante for the North Port Batam Pier. Alabanza. Completes the two point play. Six point lead pa rin to para sa TNT. Nagmamadali na rin ang TNT. Dahil alam nila, last game na lil of the day. Salem sneaks inside! It's just so precise, no? The way they, they run their offense. Ang ganda ng timing. A flop will be called on uh, Matt Salem. So that's a warning for flopping. And back-to-back uh, -back baskets for uh, JR Alabanza. Trying to dodge a charge, but flopping may the towel don't okay, Salem. Goes out to Salem. To Sapoy. Sapoy. Good defense. Mula kay Zamora. Good defense. Uy, pinatulap nila ang bola. Bauzon overshoots the pass. No. Sayang yung possession na yun. No? Nawala tuloy yung epekto nung good defense ni Dexter, Dexter Zamora. He stayed with Samboy De Leon. So hindi nakakuha ng uh, good shot doon. Wall will stay with TNT. Samboy also gets called for a warning. So back-to-back -back warnings yan para sa TNT. Ryan shoots a two. Mendoza, no. Eximinian almost got it. They go to Zamora. Ooh, look at the activity of Eximiliano. He's already given them a couple of extra possessions. And he takes another two. Oh, wow. I mean, both offense and defense, Ping has been brilliant in this game. Wala ka na masasabi dito ang Ping Eximiliano today. They go down low, Salem. Post up, too easy for Matt Salem. Zamora, papawin sa labas. I mean, this is a 3x3 clinic that uh, TNT is running here. Salem, fade away, no. Bauzon, binigay kay Capacho. Just beautiful basketball, though. Yes. Mula sa TNT, triple giga. They're showing bakit sila ang grand champion ng PBA 3x3. And look at that defense. Nasaraduan doon si Zamora. Salem, lines it up. Salem, wala. Bauzon. Shoots it? No. Medyo napapagod na ang itsura ng North Court dito. Yes. Not a lot of ball movement. Meanwhile, Eximiliano gets the foul. Oh! Gets oh, the foul yes. again! Yes! 
Good call as well. There was a bump on that penetration. Well, I, I was gonna add, Andre, um, of course, uh, Almon Vosot was being the best scorer in the league. He's been always the, the, the top scorer of TNT. Correct. But in his absence, what we're seeing is great ball movement on the part of TNT. Something that's, that's really uh, amazing to see because it's a beautiful game of passing and moving. Very unselfish, eh? No? Oh, oh. Kasi syempre, if Almond is there, and we all know whenever Almond gets the ball, he has that ability to take a shot, even if it's a tough shot. But we're not seeing that now without him. What we're seeing is unpredictability uh, in the offense of TNT. Because now, hindi mo na mahulaan kanino pupunta yung bola. And again, it's just beautiful basketball para dito sa TNT Triple Giga as, as uh, Eximiliano misses on that one. Reverse layup, wala para kay Alabanza. Papaso inside, binigay na lang ng TNT. Samboy, nobody guarding him. Finds up the two. May may pasok dito ni Samboy. 15 to 9, malaki pa rin kalabangan ng TNT. Inside, Alabanza loses control. Ball will go back to TNT. Yes, another turnover for Northport. Mahaba pa naman yung oras dito, but they have to make some stops. And then they have to execute on their offense bago dahan-dahan maubos ang oras. Sabi nga nila, Coach, easier said than done against a team like oh. TNT. Bing. One more time for Eximiliano. He's the man so far. Kanina sabi natin, it is Brian Mendoza. And what a great point, Coach. It's everybody contributing here oh, for TNT. And look at those active hands. No? They're, they're also playing defense. Wow, look at that. The activity of TNT is not giving up on the basketball. So, ang hirap, di ba? Ang hirap mahulaan sinong i-score for TNT because all of them are capable. Plus, they're, they're making all the right decisions. No? A lot of their shots are good shots. Halos wala kang makita ang pilit na tira eh, sa TNT. TNT gets their sixth foul though. So, malapit na sila sa penalty. Marami pang oras to. 3.54. Tabasho okay. to Alabanza. Usually, TNT usually binibigay na lang nila. Like with that one. And they run out to the three-point arc. Taylor takes it out. De Leon, nice fake. Oh. Oh. A bit too fancy for De Leon. Oh. Well, they have a commanding lead, but still, you can't uh, make fancy um, actions like that. It could be costly. Still no good on that two-point attempt. So, medyo maalat din ang uh, outside shooting ng Northport. Mendoza. Ooh, nice wow. play by Mendoza, not lifting his pivot foot. And Eximiliano almost got another steal. I mean, si Ping talaga. He's, he's all Everywhere. over the place. Grabe. Akala mo malinis yung pasa mo, biglang nandun siya para tapikin eh. Look at this. Oh. Not lifting that pivot foot. Great move. Kay Mendoza. Trying to be the closer here for TNT Triple Giga. Alabanza, meanwhile, inside, posting up. Uh -oh. That's going to be another foul. That's going to be two free throws for Northport. Yeah, over the limit na itong uh, TNT. Oh. Oh. I thought they called the foul. Third over pala. Oh, nga. Samboy, Ping, puts the ball on the floor, takes a contact, wala, kapas over the board. Inside, Alabanza, they just gave away that shot, dahil alam nila, lamang na sila dito. Samboy, gets fouled. Marami pang fouls na pwede gamitin dito, North yes. Fort Batang Pier. Well, they, they, they're now uh, feeling the urgency eh, to make uh, defensive stops. Kailangan unti-unti nila mapababa itong uh, kalamangan. Nice pass inside. Ping was all alone. Again, that was reading the defense well for TNT. And again, smart play by TNT. Just not fouling anymore. 
to finish the game almost by Bing. Parang lahat ng tira ni Bing mo ang babasok. Yes, ang ganda ng ano ng arc. Good defense, better offense. Mula kay Bing kapaso. That's gonna be. Let's see, is that a foul? A warning on Dexter. The Mora delay of game warning. And Northport calls a timeout. Yeah, they need to, to talk about uh, a plan on how to erase this deficit given the uh, only two minutes and 20 seconds remaining in the game. So, pagka ganito, kailangan meron din parang coach no, among the players that probably the, the coach assigned. As you can see, Coach Malbinan and RDO watching from the second floor. They can win this with a two. Yes. Samboy. They want to look for Graya. They go to Salem. Inside, De Leon tries to make. Spins. Traveling for shot clock violation. Either way, ball will go back to Northport. Yes, that's a good stop for Northport off a timeout. And now they need to execute on their offense. Kapasho. Bauzon fires to two. Bauzon, no. Sa kanya pa rin babalik. Bauzon. Put back is good. May oras pa dito. But Salem can end this. Tinapos na ba? That's Salem. Ends this ballgame. 21-14. Wow. And just like that, no? TNT is able to, to get the bucket that they need. And TNT comes away day one without a loss. Malinis, TNT 3-0 in this ball game. And today, dito sa day one leg one ng ating uh, second conference, tingnan natin ating best player of the ball game. Walang iba kundi si Ping Eximiliano. Sasabihin ko na, Coach, napaka-deserving nito ni Ping Eximiliano. Oh, natin. definitely. It would be a crime not to pick him as the best player. Nine points, two steals, and three out of four from the two-point arc. Plus, of course, his excellent defense. Just everywhere on the court of Ping Eximiliano. At susunod ang ating huling laro for day one. Last game of the day, Meralco against Pierpus TJ Taita. Dito lang yan sa PBA 3x3. Lakas ng tatlo. Yes, well, Purefoods has been very impressive today, you know, uh, at the start of the second conference. 
two wins already. Um, both really good wins, very impressive, uh, especially on the defensive end. But they're up against one of the top teams also in the 3x3, and that's the Meralco Bolt. So it should be another um, thrilling game no, with this matchup. Inserted over right now to Ben Lee for our lineups. All right, we go down into our final game for today, saving the best for last, as they say. And last but not the least, of course. Introducing first, Meralco Bolts! From Cebu, number seven, Alfred Batino! Another player from Cebu, number 17, Joseph Sanderifa! From Victoria City, Negros Occidental, number 30, Jeff Mandai! And from Kalaoka, number 31, JJ Malagit! Coach of the Monaco Wolves, Coach Patrick Fran! Here we go, let's introduce Jim Bates, DJ Titans! From South Cotabato, number 10, Christian Lodrigo Rivera! From Laguna, number 18, J.R. Flores. From Calamba, Laguna, number 20, Christian Bunya. From Guagua, Pampanga, number 25, Martin Gozo. Coach of Putin, CJ Titans, coach Tony Boy Espinosa. And the referees, Charlie Aparado and Carlo Delgada. So far, so good for the Pure Food CJ Titans. And according to Coach Tony Boy, he is very satisfied with how his team is playing. Just the fact that they were able to match Barangay Hinebra's fast-paced energy is already enough. They had good defense, but the only thing that they need to improve on now are their fouls. Giving up a total of 11 fouls in that game against Barangay Hinebra. Beralco Bolts versus Pure Food CJ Titans in five. Four, three, and three, PBA La Casa de Catch the PBA 3X3 Season 3 Second Conference live and on demand. Open a Venus Live app anytime, anywhere. Download and subscribe now for only 149 pesos per month. Uh, ito, huling laro po natin. Paul Kakat, ang nangyari dito. Batino, Fowling, Rivera. Sabi nga nila, save the best for last. This is one of the best matchups yes. of the day. Meralgo and Pure Foods. Yes, uh, Rivera with that strong drive. Of course, Ryan Badino was there to challenge, but he, but he was called for a foul. And um, like we mentioned earlier, this is a great start for uh, the Pure Foods TJ Titans in the 3x3. So far, undefeated after two games. Pero this is probably their biggest challenge no, against uh, the Beralco Bolts. But, you know, everything but the layup. They wanted it to Munya. He's going to get it. Meanwhile, Gozu gets the two. Gozu has been uh, really great today, uh, even in his earlier games. You know, lines up the two. Babawi Babs. The Makakabawi is Alfred Batino. Rivera saves it on Mandai. And uh, we were praising uh, Purefoots earlier, the way they played defense, Diba. So, um, again, both teams are known for their defense, so we can expect a highly defensive game as well. Rivera gets it to Rifa. Steps back. Fires a shot. No. Mandai. He was ice cold in that last game. Yes. Nice. Extra nice. pass by Mandai. First point of the game for Semeralco. Gozu drops it off. Munya get finish. Sedorifa. Back to Mandai. No. Batino attacking. Gets the foul. Plus the basket. What a play by Alfred Batino. Yes, uh, what a great fake, uh, fake move by uh, Ryan Batino. Uh, and uh, his man there was surprised that he took it strong to the basket. So late reaction by Munya, foul counted. And that's going to be bonus para dito kay Alfred Batino. Of course, um, 
the Bolts have the advantage in terms of experience and in terms of, well, they should have the chemistry advantage being uh, playing together for a longer time than uh, Pure Foods. Pero sabi nga natin, Pure Foods has been impressive today with two wins already. Ang maganda yung addition ni J.R. Raflores, eh, diba? Oh. For this team. But Bozo misses that reverse layup. Mukhang bola pa rin dito ng Pure Foods. And it is Pure Foods basketball. Itong balls naman, gigil, uh, makabawi, no? Doon sa earlier loss nila to uh, Barangay Hinebra. Nasilat sila doon. Nasilat sila, sila, sila roon, yes. And then, kuminan doon. Parang Ginebra goes to meanwhile, losing control of the basketball. Si Torifa slows things down again. Goes to Manlangin. Binigay kay Manday. Manday fires away. Manday, no. So, Flores, binigay kay Rivera. Inside, hinahawakan niya si Torifa. Si Rafa Flores. Nice move nice. by oh, Tierra yes. Flores. Beautiful move. Langit naman, babawi dito. And that's gonna be a foul on Bozo. I really like it when the big guys score off a hook shot. Nakakamiss eh, no? Oo. <laughs> yung, yung hook shot or the, the jump hook, they're very effective eh. They're hard to block. This is why big men, when, whenever they get the position inside, they have to develop that shot. Sabi naman, lost art na ngayon eh. Minsan oh. yung hook shot for big guys. Because everybody wants to shoot. <laughs> like this guy. Nice defense by Bunya. Forcing that shot clock violation. Or at least you jump hook. It doesn't have to be hook shot a la Karim Abdul. No? But in the World Cup, we saw uh, most of the teams, the big guys, nila, diba? Ang gagaling sa mga one hand jump hook. Eh. It's basic for them. Again, you have to know how to make it when it's pinigay sa yun, diba? Oh. Flores takes it out. Gozum for two. Gozum gets the ball back. Sa kanya pa rin. Gozum finishes. Two point lead para sa Pure Foods. It's uncharacteristic for Joseph Sedoriva not blocking out his man after taking a shot. Dino turns the corner attacking. Good defense by Punyan. Flores steps back for two. Wala. Patino, low scoring affair. Manlangit. Siya naman daw si step back. Hindi rin ba ipasok ni Manlangit? Bozo leans in. Two, no. Both teams missing from the outside. Medyo trigger happy ang mga teams natin ngayon. Both teams trying to shoot on the outside. Of Flores, binigay kay Bunyag. Big guy. Masyado malakas. So both teams really just missing from the outside right eh. now. I think they're taking uh, too much from the outside, both teams. May bagot na coach. Sedorifa sneaks it into Batino. Batino gets fouled. That's going to be a free throw for Alfred Batino. So, uh, Alfred Batino using experience there to draw that foul. Pero tama ka, pagod na rin. No? This is their their last game. Third game na rin. Third ito. game na din. No? May halo na rin pagod. Sabi nga nila, may bukas pa itong mga teams na to. Oo. Oh. Sipping lang yung parang hindi napapagod. Walang kapagod-pagod. Eximiliano, <laughs> grabe kanina, no? Offense, defense, lahat pinakita sa atin ni Pink Eximiliano. Batino makes the free throw, 4 to 3. Parang may battery eh. <laughs> si Pink. Mataas yung, ano niya, yung battery capacity. Oh. Oh. Ito rin, isa pa. Rivera, another energizer bunny. Itong si... Yes, yes, he is. Rivera. Plus, he's very skilled. Ang ganda ng... Uh the ball handling nito eh. Ako naman coach, I'm really looking a bit more from this guy. Sedorifa has really just been pulled so far in their last few games. Yes, well, one of the better players in, in the PBA 3X3 over the, the, the seasons, no? Diba ito si Joseph Sedorifa. Pero today, he's not looking for his shot even. Ito si Sedorifa. No, oh. Meanwhile, take a look at that layup by Rivera. Beautiful finish. The Flores, attacke, nice spin, reverse lift, good defense. Maraki sa Dorifa, Batino naman. Clears the ball. Nagahan ng magpapasahan. Batino with some space. Good defense mula kay Bunyag. The Flores against sa Dorifa. 
Nice pass to Munya. I guess it is. Jump shot. It's good by Christian Munya. Well, Christian Munya has that shot. No? Lalo na yung short range. Meron talaga siya. That's another foul. Both teams giving up fouls here. Nice pass by Raflores to Munya. I hesitate pa doon. Munya just decides to take it anyway. Mandai gets fouled. Thirteen foul or fifteen foul? I mean, on pure fools. Mohan will go all the way in this game, Coach Nail. A very low scoring game so far. Well, Minetio ni Eliana kanina yan sa report niya, no? That uh, Pure Foods has to to do a better job in managing their fouls. And right now, they're in the brink of a penalty. Rifa finally gets a shot from the outside. Nadinig ka, Andre. Alam natin, he was always second to Alton Vosotros yes. when it comes to scoring. Back to back. Ayan na Cedoripa, gumisig na dito. Nag-init na si Joseph Cedoripa. Rivera, nice defense by Manlangit. Babalik ang bola kay Rivera. Trying to get it to Manday. Natapik ang bola, battle for the ball. And that will go to Pure Foods. Almost a great save there. Halfway point. Merano suddenly go through the two-point lead. Napako sila sa three points kanina. Oh. Pero back-to-back takes from Sendo Ripa. Ganun kabilis, no? Yung 3x3. Parang yung kanina, no? Yung kay Espanyola. Back-to-back -back twos. So, yun yung nagpanalo for his team. Dati kalimutan, on October 22, that's this coming Sunday, the PBA USANA run. Uh, happening at 4.30 a.m. at Bridgetown, Pasig City. You can still join 3 kilometers, 5 kilometers, 10 kilometers in dog run. Yeah, very exciting PBA USANA run. I'm going to be running to uh, 22 kilometers. Wow! <laughs> You'll be, category, eh. <laughs> you'll be running alone. Balik po tayo sa laro as your boots now down by one Rivera. Putting on the dribbling clinic out to the Flores for two. Big shot. No. Rebound man lang it. Mandai against Gozu. Three seconds on the shot clock. Mandai over Gozu. No. Rebound Gozu. Well, Gossum is a pretty decent uh, defender as well uh, on the ball. That's a foul on Meralco. Uh, third team foul on the Bolts. Babalik agad si Sidorifa. Manlangit will head out. Gossum. Drives baseline, has some space over the outstretched arms of Batino. Yes. Well, na iwan niya si Manday doon, no? Sa kanyang uh, drive. Manday, look at that. That's the dribbling we know from Jeff Manday. Oh, Nakapawe si Jeff Manday. But this is a, uh, a turnover, I believe. Wow, take a look at the moves of Jeff Manday. Iniwana na lang doon si Martin Gosu. Oh, oh, napawian niya si Gosu, eh, kasi Gosu uh, earlier scored on him. Meanwhile, Sedorifa putting on the moves so far against Raf Flores. Raf Flores not giving space. Patino has to put it up. Good defense of your foods. Ngayon yung sinasabi natin, ano, the, even the big guys of Pure Foods, they can defend sa outside. No? Si Sidorifa na yun, ha? nahirapan kay Ra Flores. And then Bunyag was there to help as well. Ang ganda ng movement ni Ra Flores. No? Big guy, can light on his feet as well. Yes. Rivera, baseline, naatake. Uses the strength. Wala, Bunyag. Binaba ang bola. Again, as a big man, mahirap yun pag binaba mo yung bola. Oh, oh. Lahat kukunin yung bola sa'yo. Eh, lalo na kung si Joseph Siduri pa yung katabi mo. And so, it, it paid off for the balls, no? Si Duripa with that uh, forcing a, a jump ball, tapot na sa kanila yung possession. Malangit. Can't get it over Munyag. So, 
It's an elegant defensive ball game now. The Flores hook shot. He loves that hook shot. Nice. Gets yes, another go. Oh, oh, favorite ko yan eh. So doing it twice already in this game. Well, coach, it's very unguardable when he yes. does that. Correct. Mandai, meanwhile, wala. Munya gets it. He has to clear it. Pinalikera Flores. Mismatch. Munya over Mandai. Nice. That's a good play. Great recognition from Raflores seeing the mismatch. Meanwhile, Mandai Ooh, putting wow. all the moves. Double crossover. Oh, oh, grabe yung mga crossover na yun. And this is wow. truly turning out to be uh, the best game that we're seeing. Grabe, no defensive game, close yes. game. Still anybody's ball game. Yung nga lang, Beer Foods has to be careful with their fouls. Kanina, they had 11 fouls, coach, in that last game. So, yes. sabi nga nila, kailangan nila ipag-ingatan yun. Nice pass inside to Batino. Tie game. Yeah, na yung familiarity sa isa't isa eh, ng Meralgo Bones. The Flores, no. Rebound si Dorifa. Batino. Binigay kay Manlangit. Balik kay Sedorifa. Sedorifa, two. Yes, sir! Oh, That's a two shot. from Sedorifa. Pakatlo na yan for oh. Joseph Sedorifa. Yes, yes. Big shot by Joseph Sedorifa again. From a tight game, now they're up by two. Ooh! Oh. Foul plus the basket for Raflores. Chance to tie it at the line. Nice control of the ball. He lost it momentarily but was able to get it back and even score. This is the big shot by Sedorifa. Dying seconds of the shot clock. Still makes it. Ito naman, Raflores. Nabitawa na ang bola oh. dahil na-foul siya. Makes it anyway. Very impressive itong uh, araw na to, no, for Raflores. What an addition to this team. Nabawasan sila ng Joseph Eriobu. Na taga-mapuha rin, coach. Oo nga, no? Pinalitan nila ng taga-mapuha rin. Oo. But uh, Raflores is uh, very different in terms of Yung kanyang style. Skill set. Oh, oh, from Joseph Eriobu. Of course, Eriobu, we all know he's a scorer as well. Very athletic guy. Sira Flores, he's the athletic, eh, but quite smart. Batino gets fouled. That's going to be two free throws for Alfred Batino. Yung abu yan ng uh, Meralgo Bolts, no? Medyo paying dividends in this game. That's where the experience no, uh -oh. comes in for the Meralco Bolts. Actually, si Joseph Sedoriva, napunta na rin siya sa ibang teams eh. Pero ngayon, nakabalik with the, the Bolts, with familiar teammates. Ang talagang tumagal na dyan, si Alfred Batino. Yes. Has been there for the longest time, Coach Patrick Fran of the Meralco Bolts. Alam naman natin, always here, watching anxiously at his team. Kanina, close game rin sila. Alfred Batino makes both free throws. Not a lot of time remaining for both squads. Rivera against Sedorifa. Loses control. Jump ball. Let's see where possession will go. 1.5 seconds remaining para sa Pure Foods. By the way, Andre, you know, some of the, the coaches that we have here were also part of the uh, Philippine team that we sent to the Asian Games oh, 3 x Oh, oh, so si Patrick Fran was part of that. Ang head coach si Coach Lester Del Rosario, and of course uh, Coach Ronnie Magsano, who is part of our organizers here, is uh, the head of the 3x3 delegation. Maganda rin pinakita ng uh, 3x3 oh, yes. natin. They made it to the quarterfinals, even with a very new team. No, um, they got mostly college players. Kasi na may commitment yun mga professional players. So it was a very new team and a very young team, but they still uh, played really well. In fact, yung nag gold medal sa Asian Games 3x3, yung Chinese Taipei, tinalo nila sa elimination eh. So yung nga bilugam bola, oh, sabi eh. nila eh, no? If yes. the ball just bounced a bit differently, baka nasa gold medal game rin tayo. Yes, but still very impressive for a very young team. And uh, kudos to coach Pat Fran and to coach Lester. Speaking of uh, impressive, Patino has just made his last four free throws to create this four-point cushion. Napakalaking bagay yes. ng coach. 
Yes, because it's been really close with one point separating the game all throughout the game until now uh, with the Bolts uh, getting this four-point lead. Ball zoom, attack, spins in traffic, gets it a goal plus the foul. Well, that's a big move, especially if he converts on this free throw. They uh, they have a chance here. They really needed this bucket oh, from oh. Martin Gozu. Got That's that a tough shot. Move, Neon. Big free throw for Gozu as they've given up a couple of free throws already. Para sa, sa Meralco Bolts. Makabawi man lang sabi nila <laughs> sa free throw line the Pure Foods TJ Titans. Oh. oh. Well, of course, to see Martin Gozo in, in the games that we saw earlier, he made some uh, big two-point shots as well, no? So that's a weapon that they could use also to make a comeback here. Doesn't make the free throw. Still a three-point question for the Miracle Bolts. Says Arifa has no time. Pulls up. This is big. Misses. Rivera. Inside, nice. nice pass to Bunyag. Yes, beautiful pass. So now crunch time na po tayo. Under a minute remaining, under 50 seconds remaining. Anybody's ball game. A shot here will put on the pressure. Sedorifa. Ooh, gets the ball back. What a big possession oh, for Veralco. Yes, big possession indeed. Mandai using time. Against Bunyag. Sedorifa. No, rebound Rivera, they get tied with the two. Nothing happening here. What a tap by Mandai. That's a big defensive play by Jeff Mandai. Oh, well, it was tapped out, but they retained possession here. Kaya lang, 4.2 seconds left in their shot clock. Dami na ubus na oras dun. For uh, the Pure Foods TJ Titans, they gave up an offensive board and nothing happened on that offensive play. But they can still tie this with the two. Yes. Ito, makikita po sa screens, no? Wala pong coach yan. So itong mga players lang ang uh, bahala, magplano kung anong gagawin nila. And, and uh, for Pure Foods, they only need to work on 4.2 seconds here to come up with a, a quick shot. So, tignan natin, anong napag-usapan itong uh, apat na players, di ba, Andre? It's quite challenging, di ba? I mean... Walang mag-draw ng play, eh, no? Oh, especially pag pressure back, that's when when you need the coach to tell you what to do. Rivera, pops, no, rebound by Manlangit. I wonder if they're gonna foul. They don't have to. Dahil may mga three seconds pang natitara. If Manday makes a shot here, that's ball game. Manday... There you go, Jeff Mandai seals it with that beautiful shot, and that is the ball game. Wow, coach, what a shot by Jeff Mandai. And Jerek Tatapos, ang ating laro at ang ating day one ng PBA 3x3. Leg one, day one ng ating second conference. Take a look at Jeff Mandai here. That was, and that was a difficult shot no, against a, a taller defender in Martin Gozo. Gozo was playing excellent defense, but just better offense for Mandai. And that does it for today. Pero tingnan muna natin ang ating best player. Finally, nagising itong si Joseph Sedorifa here yes. in this ball game. Yes, and of course, uh, you, his uh, three two-point shots were instrumental in this game. Finishing with six points, five rebounds on 50% field goal shooting. At, uh, Jose Sendurifa leading Meralco Bolt to their second win of the day. They finished two and one. Dito sa kanilang pool. Congratulations to the Meralco Bolt 3x3. Pero marami pa tayong basketball bukas, coach, as uh, we will uh, determine our leg winner tomorrow. As you take a look at the schedule, sisimula po tayo maaga, 10.30 a.m. all the way to the finals in the afternoon. Pero dyan na po nagtatapos ang day one leg one of the second conference ng PBA 3x3 in behalf of Coach Jude Roque. Thank you, Coach, for joining me today. My pleasure. And my name is Sanjay Ko from the Ayala Mall Circuit, Makati. Thank you for joining us. Ito ang PBA 3x3, lakas ng tatlo.
sama-sama tayo Maglalaro at mag-mission tayo Yung tayo dito Everybody let's go This cup With the side on a drive, but there's the doors of the back. With the side on a drive, but there's the doors of the back. Next to me, the four to shoot. That a three. That's a goes. Over. I'm not going to get used to this. Hey, how about that?
Joseph! 